Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, you know I was wondering said? what you were going to do if I just didn't say anything. <laughs> I was really, I was just wondering what you would do if I just didn't say anything. Whether you, whether you'd say I'm John. I was, I was just wondering what would happen. I'm John. I'm Claire. Ted, Ted's on the floor today. Ted's over that side. Ted, Ted's, Ted's not where it usually is. We just turn the microphone, which I forgot to do. Ted's, Ted's down on the floor. Because, I don't know, he's just he's just decided in his own head he's not worthy of being on the sofa. So that's that's Whatever, a thing. he likes the floor. He's, just in case he just likes to flop on the floor. He'll probably take himself over to the sofa at some point. Welcome to Sits and Sleeper, which isn't the following things. It, is, it isn't Dwarf Fortress. I know I said we were going to do Dwarf Fortress this week. But, like, we're running a bit late. I think, you know what? Dwarf Fortress is going to be a dumb long stream. Like, we're not starting Dwarf Fortress at half eight. That way, madness lies. Uh, and it, okay, it also is a Hitman Freelancer, I'm so, t I was so tempted, because Hitman Freelancer is, like, such a perfect game for a stream, but I want to make at least one video first, so, uh, Hitman Freelancer, coming up very, very, I have no idea what the Saturday's video is going to be, God only knows, uh, it, it could be Hitman Freelancer, it, it could be Dead Space, I don't know when that exactly is going to come out, or if I can get it early at all, I don't know, and I, I want to make a video on Goldeneye, that just reappeared, so, like, God only knows what's oh, going to be on Saturday, either. it's not Starklands either, uh, or, or Surviving the Abyss, it's Sits and Sleeper, which is a game about rolling dice, which is more where my brain is today. My, my brain can deal with let's let's roll a dice and plug a dice into a hole, where right? you, you, you insert the dice into the dice-shaped hole, and, that's, and then you win the game. That's it. There's also, like, depressing late-stage space capitalism. But, like, I, I just focus on the dice... Like I I can I can overlook the the depressing tone and whatnot as long as as long as I get to roll the dice and the dice goes clicky clack and then I put the the square peg in the square hole I'm I'm, I'm easy to please all right I'm I'm, I'm a cheap date so uh, yeah that's that's it <laughs> and sleep that's it and sleep buzz and why am I wrapping it up uh welcome welcome in fact sits and sleep but we're gonna be continuing. The, uh, the game we did in the video. If you didn't catch that, or you need a quick reminder... Yes, um, please. Uh, yes, Cle you, you didn't work on this one. This, this, so, Claire doesn't know what's going on. I answered this myself. Uh, okay, so, you're a robot that thinks it's a person, or a person that's trapped inside a robot, depending on... If I, in fact, I'm gonna check, we're going to take Claire's philosophical position. Oh, go on, then. If you made a perfect copy of a human psyche and transplanted it into a robot, what is that? Is that a human trapped in a robot or a robot that thinks it's a human? Does it deserve rights? Does it depend on the psyche of the human in question and what the human thinks about robot rights? Oh, no, that's an answer I wasn't expecting. That the status... Surely we can't say the legal status of the no, robot I mean, would depend upon... The robots upon... should have rights, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, but, but should they know. have? should they have your rights? Does that robot have a right to say access your bank account? If I made a copy of Claire and put it in twenty robots, do all of those twenty robots have Not the right to come into your house robots. and take your TED and have your money? All of your all of the twenty robots have a right to open their own bank account as Claire Robot. So you think there's you so you think they, they deserve rights, but they deserve their own separate they are not you. You don't identify any of them as you, because they would all say they're you. Oh, oh we're no, fucking no, no, up no, your no, brain no, no, now! No, no. I think that in the nature versus nurture debate, yeah. obviously, they are me because they have my like psyche and DNA and whatever. But the no, they don't have your DNA. Sorry, they have the the they have the psyche, do they? Yes, they have. They have a perfect imprint of your brain at the time the brain scan was done. But obviously, the moment that is done, divergence occurs. Right, exactly. So that's why I think they are specific. You know. Yeah. And plus the fact that they are robot, the mm -hmm. fact that they are a robot body with an imprint of my brain in. Yeah means that like that information if it is available to them yeah is going to affect their self-perception as well so maybe they decide that claire is a dumb name and they want to be their own robot person yeah they can think about it whichever way they want mm -hmm. they might just not really care what they are they might just be like murderbot and be like yeah but Shut up. shit gets complicated to watch my show. But shit gets complicated when they decide they actually did like being you and are you and have the same right to be you as you have because they are mentally identical. Like, it's very, con like, your way's very convenient where they all decide they want to go off and do their own things as Claire 2, Claire 3. But if one of them comes and says, no, I'm literally, you know, mentally identical to Claire. I can prove I'm Claire in every possible way. Therefore, I have a right to Claire's life. Then what do you do? 
I don't know, but I suspect it can probably beat me up. That's so true, because it's problem. made of metal and you're made of squishy flesh and whatnot. So yes, it could kill you, 100%. But I also think that if it has a brain of a Claire, it probably isn't going to, like, jump to murder immediately. Claire, I've seen your face when you unwrap the chainsaw. Okay, but that, <laughs> that wasn't because I wanted to do a murder of another person. <laughs> I saw your face when you unwrapped the really nice knives this Christmas. 100%. And, I, and, I've seen you, and I've seen in general what you do when you're presented in a video game. When the options are smash or not smash. I think you're the you're the first in line to get a fucking hammer and smash your original Claire in order to usurp Claire's position. Well, I mean, no. I think if we cloned Claire twenty times, it's gonna end in like a massive battle royale where only one Claire can survive. Like I think the twenty Johns will form a nice John collective and all get on super chill. I think the 20 oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you think that the Claire clone, the Claire bots, aren't going to form a commune faster than you. Okay, I agree. The Johns are all going to kill each other too, but I think it's going to take longer, because the Johns are all going to pretend to... They're going to form, like, backstabbing alliances and come up with elaborate plans, and eventually they'll only be one, but it will take months. The Clares will, will have murdered our way down to one within a day. The Clares will, like... The Clares will, like, get out in the garden together, and, like, three of them will be in the workshop doing woodworking, and five of them won't be in the garden doing the garden, and the garden will be fixed and growing tomatoes in, like, five minutes straight. Uh -huh. And then we'll only get into an argument <laughs> when it comes to the question of which one of us gets to snog John. Uh -huh. And that is, in fact, me. And the robots uh, cannot have that. Well, that's that's why the robots are going to kill you. Yeah, exactly. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, that, can we do, then do like a big like twist ending where like you know we we, we go to the ending and like yeah, and I say something like it must be because of my magnetism, and then I pull out a giant magnet. And all the robots are like no magnets, my one weakness. And then it's like yes, we've defeated the Claire bots, and that's how we do it. Can we can we do that sort of a joke? Could that could that be the dramatic ending? Because I like that. Uh, all the Johns will be going for suit only silent assassin. The Claire's will get the job done. Thank you, Jake. Look, I, ju I just want to pull out a big magnet after saying something about my raw animal magnetism. All right, it's really important to me. Uh huh. No, I know that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we certain John would notice the other Johns. Very rude. Very rude. Oh dear! Right, so that's uh, we got a bit off topic there. That's what Sits and Sleep is about. You're a ro uh, you're one of them. You're you're one of the Claire bots, and you're on a space station, and like shit is slowly going bad. Like someone's hunting you, and every time you like restart the day and thus roll new dice. Like, that ticks up a little bit further. And stuff's just happening, like, you know, every time, like, time moves on, the spaceships are, you know, the spaceships arrive, the traders arrive, and then they leave, etc, etc. Slowly your robot body deteriorates, you run out of energy, you need to top up those you go by. The way you do that is by spending dice to do things, or spending money, which you can earn by using your dice to do work, uh, on food and whatnot. Because even though you're a robot, you kind of seem to, like, be able to absorb food into, like, energy. So, like, wait, maybe so you're... wait a minute. I think you're quite close to human. Because you eat food. But also you lose energy. Because I thought that would be, like, the great weakness of actual Claire versus Clairebot. Was that actual Claire gets tired a lot. Well, the implication is also that the robot's, like, slowly disintegrating. It's got all planned obsolescence built into it. It's not getting, like, the right company drugs anymore. Because oh, it's I run away. So, yes. like, that's why you're kind of deteriorating. You need to keep plugging shit into you to keep yourself going. So, you roll these dice, and, you know, obviously, they're standard dice. They're between one and six. They're just laid out nicely. Um, and, yes, you just basically decide to where to plug them in, uh, for example. So, yes, obviously, higher dice, in generally, like, in the higher dice are just a better chance of doing a job well. And your perks as a character impact that, too. So, we just go over to Dragos' yard, for example. Yeah, there's some engineering work that needs to be done. I am an engineer, so any dice I plug in there gets a free plus one. So, like, you know, that 4 becomes a 5, meaning there is a 50% chance it will go really well, 50% chance it'll go sort of oh, sort of okay, and it's a dangerous job. So you wouldn't want to, like, plug a low dice into that. So, like, you know, a 1 boost up to a 2, 50% chance that could go negatively, and negatively could be really bad because it's a dangerous job. So you've got to kind of factor in what are the probabilities of success or failure versus what how high is the risk uh, for doing said thing. 
Um, so yeah, that's kind of what it is. It, it's a very simple game in a way, but I find it very compelling. And lots of it is, you know, about like exploring and make sure you know what's uh, going on in the world. Uh, and yeah, like the big things I need to do is my condition goes down slowly. Like the, this, the condition at the top is my body. So I need to spend a hundred space dollars a go to basically top that up by going to the surgery and getting the drugs I need. And meanwhile, I also need to eat food. That's more like maybe like uh, 30 space dollars every two days. Just top up my food. So that's not so bad. So there's plenty of work as can be done. It's just a question of where you want to go. And this is like the overlayer. Because I'm a robot, I can also see cyberspace. So I can... And generally, low dice are more powerful in cyberspace. High dice are good in the world above. So speaking of which, I've also got missions. And you earn a lot of perk points. Make you stronger and stronger and stronger if you complete missions. And one of the missions was a free Neovant, which is a vending machine who I found in the dry dock by which I hacked open. And basically, he said, hey, destroy the antivirus program. It's a deck. So, okay, to do that, we go into cyberspace. We look for the red nest, hunt nest. And yes, that needs a two. I sadly don't have a two. If anything needs a one, I've got several ones. There we go. There's a one. So I can sabotage a hunter nest right now. So go into hunter nest. Mess it up. Unlock it. Extract some data. Give this weaponized data to Neovend, and there, there we go, hunter data. So random uh, data obsessively collected by the hunter protocol. So we're learning what the hunter does. But every time I do something in cyberspace, the hunter gets close to waking up. And when it wakes up, it kind of comes and fucks you up a bit. So you want to be a bit careful there. Okay, so the other hunter protocols appear to be all twos. They just want twos. So I could, like, go around and, like, you know, I could probably find a place to shove in that one to be honest, but if I do, I'm just going to slowly wake up the hunter, so I'm not going to do that right now. And yeah, the better dice, the one, the, basically the more yellower dice is, the better it is. And anyway, it's a dice. Six is good. Though if it's a relevant task, and six is guaranteed success in whatever you do. So obviously you save those for dangerous tasks. It's when you're feeling really good about life. So kind of that's 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 the kind of the, the basics of it all. So if I go to say to Dragos Ashard, there's a ship here where I could do some forensic trawling and figure out where this ship the Winterlight came from. So it's an intuition task, which I'm not the best at. But, like, it's safe. So I could just, like, put my one in there and see if I get 50-50. Because if it goes wrong, nothing's really going to happen. So I actually got the neutral outcome. So, yeah, that's one progress towards uh, uh, Winter Light. So when that fills up, that's going to be absolutely spectacular. And, yeah, if I want to do the cut of salvage, then again, actually, if I clear the yard, does that mean I can't do the forensic trawl anymore? You know what? I don't know if that's true. Because it looks like, um, yeah, that led to uh, yard clearance as well. So I'm going to put the... What's the three worth in the salvage? That's got a 25% chance of failing. And it's a dangerous task. So I do not want to do that. But I'll put the four in here. Yeah, that's 50% positive, 50% uh, neutral. So even if, like, I, I roll badly there... Yeah, that was neutral, but like even then, I get the 16 cryo. It pays well, and I've also got a whole bunch of scrap, so I can ju I can just sell the scrap uh, at the uh, ORT exchange. So I can just sell scrap anytime I want to for a pile of money, which is good. But threes are really awkward because obviously, like fives and sixes, you want to use above. Ones and twos you can use down below in cyberspace. Threes and fours are really cocking awkward because like you think, where do I, where do I want to put that? Where do I put them? Because you can't really put them anywhere too risky. There's also a shipyard over here. I've been completely ignoring the shipyard. So I could become a yard hand. And I might learn something if I do. There is a medium risk thing here. But it's an engineering task. I mean, it's a 25% chance of going wrong. Hmm. And that's not really something I've been investing towards. I feel like I'd be better off just going to Dragon's Yard. And shoving the threes into the Frenzy Troll. Uh, no, no, into that, please. Thank you. That's only 25% chance of negative, and it's safe anyway. So I might just throw my threes into Forensic Troll today. That was neutral. So that was, yeah, we're, we're filling up both of these at this point. And if, it's, if we're filling up this anyway, I may as well, then again, that is dangerous. Let's just do the safe thing. I'm just going to plug this into the safe option. If I'm lucky, get positive. And it was double neutral, which is fine. So yeah, that was uh, that was just wind slight on that occasion. So yeah, that's up to three out of eight. This is at six out of eight. The problem I've really got, the single most pressing thing is, I'm being hunted. Every time I reset, um, yeah, the, uh, the, the this fills up by one. 
Okay, so something's coming to get me. And I know this guy, Feng, he says he can sort that out. But he's only going to sort it out if I can provide him with Solheim data. Which appears to be, yeah, got randomly out of cyberspace. So I might just want to randomly check... In fact, maybe I should have... Yeah, I probably should have put one of those ones down below. I need more Solheim data. I feel like I need to fill this up before such time as, yeah, we get into uh, any of the rest of it. So now I've got heavy data and hunt data. Can I give that hunt data straight to you in the sealed dock? I can. So if I give this to you, can you, you're going to give me anything for that. Just hand that over. Because, yeah, you can also hand over, like, money or items. So, yeah, hunt data minus one, data compiling plus one. So, yeah, that doesn't get me anything else. That's absolutely fine. Um, I think... Do I want full up energy? I think if I just spend 10, I think I could get, like, cheap food here. Just buy the rations here. I'm already a, uh, a regular. I think that's plus... Yeah, that was plus two energy, so that's perfect. Yeah, these rations are cheap. Though, to be honest, what I should do... Just buying, uh, b -b 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 buying, like, uh, the fungus from Emphis at this store, which is a bit more expensive, uh, is a mission. And it looks like if I just buy one more of those, then... Like, that's going to be a mission. That would be a perk. So I probably should have done that, to be honest. But that's all absolutely fine. And yeah, that's the basics. That's just, like, how a day goes. It's a super chill game. It's a very, very chill game. Which is only... Ted, did you just fart over there? Oh, dear. Ted. He's moved over to the sofa. I'm pretty sure he just farted. Aggressive. And all fairness, it's a kind of... Our... Do you hear it or smell it? I smell it. Oh, no. Yeah. It'll, it'll be with you in a second. Claire's slightly further away. Uh, but we also, in all fairness, we brought some ourselves because we bought, him, we bought him several cans of English breakfast dog food. He hasn't had He hasn't had it dog. yet, but it does contain both egg and beans. Yeah, it's like one, less than one percent of it. It's mostly me. Yeah, we're actually we we we're, we're straight up giving this this dog who already does quite nasty farts egg and beans. It's gonna be spectacular. Anyway, let's go to our empty container, have a nice little nap, end this cycle, and roll some new dice. I'm hoping I still get five dice in the morning. It might be down to four, because are we down to? Yeah, we're down to four. But oh, they're good dice though. Well, actually, I say they're good dice. They're good overworld dice. They're bad underworld dice. Are there any threes that need doing down oh here? Oh, my God, they heard the fart. Someone claiming they heard it. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Are any of you threes? You're all twos, aren't you? I mean, you? I heard something, but I thought he'd, like, sneezed or something. I didn't think it was a fart. Amazing. That's, actually, that's a four. There is a four in that Solheim note. I think those are, might be slightly randomized, and that's a one. Okay, so I need a four and a one for those. Or the hunt's nest is, yeah, twos. I think there's like, this is actually a really bad day for cyberspace. I don't think I've got anything for cyberspace. And I don't think I've got any way to, to re-roll anything. So, okay. The thing is, yeah, if I were to spend a hundred credits on... Uh, the drugs. I can top up my condition to full and I can get my five dice back. But I don't want to do that <laughs> right this second. I don't want to do this right this second. Because that would be a waste. But I do have sixes. So a five is a ga A five is a six in the event I plug it into an engineering task. So if I plug this five, say, over here, you know what? I'm going to do that. That should be yard clearance complete. So, yeah, that's it. That's a six. So therefore, that's successful. Okay, yard clearance is now done. The much if I've just given up the ability to do the Winter's Light Frenzy Troll, because, like, the ship's now fully scrapped or anything. So just uh, move away from that. And there we go. Final pieces of Winter's Light sit in neat piles, awaiting collection shuttle from Havenage. He mentioned that there are many pieces to shipyards. A fact that's hard to forget, as he's been telling you about it for two cycles. All the remains is for Havenager to come collect. So yes, he bought this on credit, so it's kind of important he cleared it, otherwise they were going to break his kneecaps. That seems to happen to Dragos a lot, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, repaired drones are flitting backwards and forwards. Uh, scrap is sectioned. Uh, okay, this place is going well, and it's largely thanks to me, to be honest. So, uh, all right, Dragos must be inside. I'm going to knock. I'm going to be polite. Let's see what's going on. Uh, sleeper, come in. And uh, shipyards told me they'd be here soon. Hand over the chits. We're all set. Write something with a stylus on his slate. Of course, we should talk about a bonus. Yes. Look, I don't know when the next job's coming in. This should tide you over for now. And reveals and what's going. Yeah, he reveals a uh, stack of chits. What's going on here? So it's a bonus. Take it. You've done well. You return the favor. All right. And uh, 
These chits are for you to take and do what you need with them. They're from me. They're the last I'm going to give you. There's no more work for a sleeper in the shard. I'm sorry, but that's it. Oh. I think, therefore, I don't get the winter light information, but that's fine. It is what it is. So, I'm guessing, yes, sleepers are dangerous, which is the name for the robots. They're sleepers. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah, also yeah. called, um, oh, what are they called? There's like a slur for them that was used in the bar again. Haunts. Because, like, mm. haunted machines. Yeah. So, haunt is like the slur by the sounds of it. So, uh, yeah, I'm guessing I'm too dangerous. Don't press me, sleeper. This is for your own good. No, it's for your own good, you dick. Unless, of course, he knows he's being watched. Possibly. No, no, Trump was going to follow you here. I oh, know it is for his own good. Screw you. Come on, what you know? I'm not sending any more sleep up. Nope. I'm being kicked out, as it turns out. So, there we go. You came uh, through that sleeper. That should have been you. Chopped and stacked. That's mean. Okay, so that's all absolutely fine. Everything's going on and... Ooh, moving on before whoever killed that ship out there comes to kill me. Yes, I know I'm being hunted. I don't know why I'm playing dumb. I know I'm being hunted. There's a big ticking clock in my bedroom. Though, admittedly, am I still allowed to use the, the shipping container you gave me? Because otherwise I've got nowhere he to sleep. He said that yes. Okay, said yes. that's good. So the ships, they didn't get decommissioned. They didn't break down in dry dock. You think they look like that, they did. Someone entered them. Oh, someone's blowing up ships. Excellent. Someone tried to end you, sleep on. Done waiting for them to turn up. Had our final. Now it's time. Okay, I get the message. He wants me to cock and go. How much money? Oh, he gave me a lot of money. Oh, cha-ching. Okay, so he's just gone. He's just gone right there. Uh, did I... Was that actually a mission? Did I get a perk for that? I did not get a mission. Okay, I should have done Winter's Light Troll first before his patience ran out. But I did not know he was about to straight up kick me out. So that was a good source of money that's just gone. In fact, actually, with him gone, where do I make my money now? I could go over to the shipyard. I could start kind of doing engineering work over there and assist a shipbuilder. In fact, actually, one of my missions is... Build a ship mine. Now, admittedly, I don't know what a ship mind is, but I'm guessing at some point I need to get off this station and I need, like, a ship AI to do it or something. So I'm guessing that's what a ship mind is. Shipbuilders surely will be able to get me those components because though I'm supposed to be building a ship mind and I've got access to the tools that let me do it. Uh, b -b 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 sell components, play the exchange. Hang on, was it, was it here? No, it was somewhere else, wasn't it? Ship mine components. Or fabricator, the fabrication stack. I literally need ship mine parts to do it. I don't have any of them. I'm guessing the shipyard will be where I get them. Or, you know what? I can pay the toll to be allowed into the next area. And I've got like 200 uh, caps now. I do it. So let's just see what this gets me. So there we go. I've now paid. Uh, low end access unlocked. I hope that wasn't like a, a thing that I, I just can't do going forward. So there we go. Now I've got a whole bunch of extra bits and pieces. Uh, the free spoke towering transit hub... Uh, Low end ramshackle district. And this is, I'm guessing, I need to low end. And no one knows you here. You need to change if you want access to the residence and facilities. So yeah, I basically need to explore. This is an exploration thing. Alternatively, there is, oh, there's also something over here. The Founder's Gap. A gap in the ring station. Is it like a, oh, 150 caps to get to the next state, to the next section. Okay, that's basically, yeah, that, that's a ferry toll. Gotcha. And the free spoke. So, enter the spoke. That is intuition. It is dangerous. But I've got two sixes, so I could just straight up do it. This is spoke climber. The spoke is left a layer of dense urban fabric. Only way to explore it is vertically. Or scale the spoke. So, that's direct physical engagement. Not my cup of tea. That's, in yeah, I'm bad at engage. You get an innate minus one to all rolls against it. So, even with a six, I can't guarantee success. Dangerous. So, okay, these are, yeah... That's a dangerous action, but I don't get a minus one. That's a risky action, but I do get a minus one. So the spoke is dangerous for me. Meanwhile, over in low end, the ramshackle hub, there is engineering work here, which is good. Uh, the shipyard's quest was one or the other situation. Oh, so okay. Fair. Whichever I did first, the other would have been. Okay, so either I got a giant pile of money or I got the information. Mm. So, okay. Uh, block maintenance engineering. So I can basically go and basically, yeah be a uh, freelance engineer to the block people. Whether I want to use a 6 on that is questionable, given that's engineering so a 5 would work just fine. Or play Tavla. A risky action. So I'm guessing that's like, uh, yeah, a, a get it's a gambling game. So you need intuition for that. Uh, you can lose a tiny bit of money. Both options get me, in fact, actually this one might get me energy. 
Is that more dice? Uh, energy. Uh, I think. I think if energy runs out, you lose. You lose health faster, and health determines dice. Mm. I think is what's going on. So I feel like probably we're best starting off with yeah. We can start figuring out the low end situation. All of these are now shops for the time being. Uh, there is, however, there's a mercenary. Who's can I can help her with her ship? I don't know what she's gonna do, and I literally don't have. I can't rewire the drones, despite being an engineer, because I am not good enough at that sort of thing yet. But I could just straight up shove both my sixes into that engineering and get some really good progress towards yeah her ship being fixed. Is that a main mission? Survive Emphis. Yeah, fix the uh, the ambergris. The ambergris. Which is the ship. Extract the past was. Oh, extract the Solheim data, which I can't do for the time being. And yeah, Fang, a base agency to help out Fang. Desperately need to help out Fang, in fact. But I, I need to roll low dice for that to be a thing. So I've heard talk of a fabric ATN, that's the ship mode. So I can either help. Yeah, that's a mission I could complete relatively easily. And I think I should do it with these sixes. I'm just going to shove these sixes in. It's not going to get me any money, but money's well okay for the time being. This is guaranteed success. This is a bit of a waste of a six. A five would have been fine. So yeah, plus two. And then shove that M. Plus two again. And boom. So okay, now I just need a five or a six. And I can complete that any day. I could shove in the three. But that could go wrong. To be honest, it's a waste of a dice. Because a five or a six will just guarantee it next time anyway. So I really feel like I don't need it. Uh, instead, I'm going to take that three. I'm going to take it over to low end, and I'm going to do some engineering. Because that's a four. So, it's it's only a risky axe. It's 25% negative. So... Never mind. That was the 25% positive. So, that went down pretty well. That got me a tiny bit of energy back. Uh, so, yeah, I think like someone like bought me a drink. Yeah, they insist that you join them for dinner. And the children what? are delighted by my presence. So, they like they, they bought me some food. So, there we go. Make it to progress there. I'm still allowed to oh. sleep there. Yes. Um, a hazard in the chat points out that uh, this game is free on Xbox Game Pass. Yeah, lots of stuff is these days. Lots of stuff yeah. right after it launches on Xbox Game Pass. I think uh, the new, what's it called, Hi-Fi something that Bethesda just announced then immediately released uh, um, was straight on Game Pass 2. Speaking of, yes. shout out to Adam who gave us five Canadian dollars. There's dollars. And says, happy Thursday. Any plans to play Hi-Fi Rush? I've been waiting for work to end so I can play some more. I'm, I, Have I, fun I, and pet that for me, please. I suspect it's not going to be one for me. I'm not saying it's a bad game. It's just my sense of rhythm, timing, coordination, etc. is terrible. It's genuinely awful. I suspect, like, I tried to play... What was the... What was the name of that, um... The game where it's all about being in a rhythm during a dungeon and they had a Zelda they had a Zelda license like spin-off um not Hyrule Symphony that was the name of the um the actual symphony that they put together for Zelda's 25th anniversary I can't remember what it's called now uh but that game I tried to play it and like I couldn't get past the tutorial like literally I, I didn't have the rhythm to complete the tutorial and I think this is going to be the same so at some point I'll give it a loop seat but I think because it's about rhythm I can't play rhythm games I, I, I don't have the set I don't have the sense of rhythm for it. Literally I can't like complete them. I, I just fail over and over and over again. It's very sad. Cadence of Hyrule. That was it. I tried playing Cadence of Hyrule and literally I couldn't get past like the first screen. Like I, I, I didn't make it I it didn't Yeah, Crypt of the Necro Dancer, which which had a um which had the Zelda thing, Necro Dancer. I tried to play it. I literally couldn't. Like I, I couldn't get my head around it. I could not get past the first screen. It was, it's very sad. So, uh, yes, that's, it, it, it was very sad indeed. Uh, so I'll give it a look at some point, but I, I I'm not going to rush to it because it's, it's definitely not in the, uh, it's definitely not in my, like, uh, uh, area of expertise. <laughs> it's literally the thing I, I, I'm the worst at in some ways. You know what? I've got a two and a four. I need to take them underground because it's only two turns till something... Oh, and you've got a five for that. Uh, you know what? You're right. Let's go straight to the... No, that's the freighter. The, the freighter has just arrived, which is important, actually. You you guys have just arrived. The traveling merchants. They show up very rarely. So, okay. This is... Oh, if I had the right perk, I could... Yeah, do like... I could actually, like, uh, get a perk 
for predictive reason. Oh, no, that's because of the per... No, that's because of the predictive reason. But it could get me a ship mine fragment. But I uh, don't even have the perk to do that right now. I don't have the right perk. Uh, or I can buy a ship mine fragment for 60. And presumably, yeah, I can repeat that. But there's only two available. So I could spend 120 right now. But I really feel like I shouldn't. Uh, because my condition's going down. I need 100 for that. Oh, that's a bad time for that to have happened. Okay, let's let's see if she's do the ambergris, exactly. Can, I'm gonna do ambergris. Get something from that. Okay, so that's guaranteed success. This is this is this is complete. It can't fail because five boosts at six means guaranteed success. There we go. So hopefully the mercenary pays me for my services. So yeah, go over to um ah uh, what's her name? Ankita. Ankita. Hello, Ankita. So, okay, I fixed your ship. Admittedly, the first time I tried to fix it, I accidentally blew up a small part of it. But I fixed it now. So, I uh, completely ruined the course connector when they cut it. Holds up a thick fistful of ragged wires. The ship mine they ripped won't even be usable without replacing these. Okay, you're interested in a ship mine as well. So, who did it by any chance? If I knew you'd think I'd be waiting around here rather than out there with my boot on their neck. Yatagan, space crew, nowhere to know. They got him with one of my crew's access chips. They either killed him, robbed him, or he was in on it. No good options. So Ankita climbs out the cooling well where the ship mine should be. Space suddenly crowded with her at the same level as you. Towering over you, she stoops beneath the low curved ceiling. Come on, nothing to be done here. C can I, like, get paid? I just did a lot of work for you for no money. So, repair process left you familiar with the idiosyncratic layout. All diagonal angles and bundled tubes. Seems lost in thought. Focus on paying me. Uh, focus on the corridors, ducking below conduits and passing through bulkheads. Eventually you arrive in the gallery. And it's hard to tell most of the benches and prep surfaces are covered in half strip components, welded hole patches. And Keecher shoves a box of filters to the floor and sits. No way around it. We need a new ship mind. I might need one of those two, actually. Yeah, I can salvage one. I know how to do that. Um, but I need, like, three components to do it. Maybe if we check the auto exchange. Yep. Yeah. Dumb. I'm already there. It's fine. But I need three components. If you can give me money, I know where to buy the components and I know how to make another one. Just give me a pile of caps. I will do this for you. Right now. Okay? No crew, no friends. Uh, you're it. Appreciate the time you put in the amber. I'm sure she would too if she could. What I'm saying is, if you screw me on this, I will kill you. She hands me- Oh! She's giving me money! Yes! Caps! I've got a bag of caps. I've got a bag of caps. You won't. All right, this is perfect. So get out of here before I change my mind. Boom. Okay, what I need is about 120. If she's giving me 120, it's going to be A-OK. -okay. So, Tana Van Dyke, you to a shipmate somehow. Ship mine. She's given you 100. It's close enough. I'll take it. And that's exactly the right time for this, because the merchant freighters are here right now. Though, actually, do I have a, um... Was that a, a point? No, that wasn't worth a point. I thought that would be worth a point, given that was a, uh... I've not fixed it! Officially, that mission continues, uh, that mission isn't done until the, uh, yeah, ship... Yeah, you fixed the hull, but it can't fly without a ship mine. Well, she's given me the money, so I think it's fair I spend the money on the right thing. Like, the merchants are here at this exact time. So I will buy both the ones I'm allowed to buy, because I'm only allowed to buy two. So I will spend both of them right now. So but don't you need three for one ship mine? I do, but I don't know whether there might be somewhere there might be another one somewhere else. Mm. Um and also I might be able to buy one more tomorrow. Oh, that nice. might be limited supply for today. So I don't know whether I mean it says source a couple at a time. Suggesting that I might be able to do that another time. So, okay. That's, you know, it's cost me a little bit of money. And it might cost me a bit more yet. But I'm kind of hoping, uh, you Can know. Can you go to the hub, whatever it is, the machine? The what? Uh, you know, the machine where you can, like, there, the old fabricator. Yeah. But I need oh, to install to three. three it's three. Time, yeah, yeah, I've only got two. Though I could, I could also sell the scrap. I've just like because I'm an engineer, someone's just gaining free scrap, and I can just sell that for money. So if I need a little bit of extra money to keep me going, in fact, you know what I'm also going to do? I'm going to go have a nice lunch, because that only costs fifteen, and that will let me, uh, yeah, for just fifteen caps, that gets my energy topped up, and fungus fan, meaning I'm now like a regular at this restaurant. So Emphis might like talk to me 
and like this nice. might be a mission or it might lead into another mission. So yeah, the street vendor who sells the lovely, lovely fungus stew wants to have a chat. Tell me a story. See you cycle in, cycle out. We never speak. Tell me a story. Okay, what kind? Um, one of yours, nothing stolen. All right. And tell a ghost story. Tell him about your dreams. And if he wants like one of me stories, I guess yeah, tell him about good. my dreams. It sounds very... I'm not sure. I think he's going to regret asking. So I have this dream where I'm a Viking. I feel like he's, he's going to regret asking me this. Uh, all the sleepers you tell Amphis had dreams. Some are simple memories left over from the emulation process. They become tangled up in their minds. It will come up when they sleep. It wasn't rare to hear a sleeper in the dorm scream or cry in the night. So possibly, yes, I might be like a special robot. We're not supposed to have quite as many memories as I have. Mm. Your dreams are, um, were of threads and patterns. They weren't like the others. They weren't memories or nightmares. They were reflections of reality, distorted jest, but somehow true. You learned back then to keep quiet about them. Let them flow. Yeah flow her through your mind like water that was until now she arrived in this place now your dreams colonize your waking life slip behind your eyelids with every blink and now you understand they aren't dreams at all but some process of interfacing of speaking of living in another world uh, that flows through this one and like smoke through air so yes the cyberspace i can see you tell him you know, if there's a reason for the dreams uh, perhaps your reason it's just some side effect or a particular quality of the frame you inhabit whatever it is it's a gift you hope to make use of it so, all right, you're quite the storyteller. And does he think I'm being honest? Apparently he does. Gives me the meal he's cooked. Lovely. Thank you, sleeper. My time's done. I don't want to keep you longer. I will make a proposal. Gives me a plastic box of ingredients. Is it good enough for most? Someone told me a story that made me think a couple of cycles ago. Across the gap in the greenway, fresh mushrooms grow. Have you heard this? No, but it's also 150 caps to get across the gap. So I ain't going there in a hurry, unless you're planning to give me 150 caps. So, uh, can you bring me some? Uh, can't cross the gap and I worry about leaving my things behind. Uh, I'm sure a storyteller like you could handle the trip. Why? I will prepare them for you uh, if you wish to tell me. Be the audience... Wait. I will... Oh, you'll prepare the mushrooms for me. If you wish to tell it, be the audience for another story. Yeah, he will make you magic mushrooms, and then when you're high as shit, you can yes. tell him a funky dream story. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, mate. I, I, I need money for the crossing. Like, if you want me to... Like, it costs 150 caps to cross the Mojave Desert. Like, I, I need the caps, mate. Get caps up front. Caps not up front. Okay. So, once again, that was... Uh, that was... B -b -b gets no emphasis. Yeah. So, bring him... Bring in mushrooms, which apparently grow over the gap, but I can... Well, but if you end up going over the gap... I'll be going over the gap else. anyway. Yeah. So I think that's that's fine. Um, so, okay. I need to... This is, this is the urgent thing. Go underground. Okay, I'm pretty sure the, yeah, the note for What's-His-Face. One of them was a four. Do it. This was a Solheim note. I need Solheim data to get this guy to get the company off my back. There's Solheim data. And was this also Solheim data? It is, but it's a one. I can't do anything with that. But what I can do is I can kill... There's one Havenage Gate right here. That needs... Hang on. The right cipher. I do not have that cipher. Um, the Hunter Nest was a two. So we can start making progress with the Hunter. So, like, that's got to be good. Yeah, working on that. Hunt data. Lovely. Uh, so that's two hunt data, but I'm pretty sure I needed a third. Um, Is it two hunt data? Because all your data bits say one at the bottom. Yeah, but I've already handed one over. Oh, I see. So I, I've had one over. I've got one, but I need three in total. And the hunt nest is it's another two. So I, it's a one and a two. I really need a one and a two. Is anything down in fact? You know what? I've actually got access to a whole bunch more cyberspace now. Because I can see the, the hunter's almost awake. And I don't know what the hunter's going to do when he wakes up. So that's, that's going to be a problem. Uh, that's going to be fun. Yeah, it's all ones and twos. I've got I've got nothing. I've got nothing I can use here. So wake up. I'm hoping the hunter might cool down a little bit as time goes by. Meaning now all I've got is a three. So I kind of may as well toss the three into... Yeah, there we go. Low end, I've already learned to wear a noodle factory and delivery services. 
So I can take part in noodle manufacturing, but that's an endurance event, so there's better jobs I can do, because engineering jobs obviously suit my skill set better. Or I can be a delivery driver, uh, but you have to engage with the customers directly, and apparently they sometimes like punch you in the face. So I feel like that's that's not... No, actually, apparently noodle manufacturer potentially might get... Yeah, you get fed as part of the shift. So if you need energy, you can go and work in the noodle factory and you get, like, food as part of the deal. But let's go back to low end and just keep exploring by shoving more threes into the engineering. Just be a freelance engineer. So that gets me. Positive! Nice. Very good, in fact. Plus energy... Uh, and probably have discovered something new. Yep, brand new bar. Tea house, actually. Uh, so I've got a tea house right here. This is, oh, Tavla room. So, okay, this is a serious high stakes only play. I am not good enough at intuition to be uh, doing any of that nonsense. Uh, so I can't take part in the gambling. But I can, however, tracking Havenage. You've heard that the Yatagan Enforcer base here has been, play has been paying a low end residence for information. Havenage movements. I do have Havenage data. I don't really know what that is going to do or whether I want to draw the attention of a Yatagan Enforcer. But let's just plug that in. See what happens. And that gets me. Neutral. Uh, I don't think it can be anything but neutral because it's a it's a plug-in and pay. Yeah, it's a plug-in and pay thing. But it just got me ten it just got me ten cryo, which is fine, I guess. Um but Cryo's yeah. Money? Is huh? that chits or I think it's like officially like it's oh yeah it's a cryptocurrency stored in airwalled sticks of memory known of chits. I just call it space dollars or caps depending on what mood I'm in. Sure. <laughs> and I'm not going to yeah pay for repairs right now because I uh, I'll wait till I get down to three dice before I do that. When I'm at the cusp of going to two dice, then I'll pay for repairs. Uh, but I need to keep an eye on money. Then again, I've got so much scrap. How much does scrap actually get me? I think I can take that to the alt exchange. Uh, a single scrap is worth... I can just plug one in. Remind me how much a scrap is worth. Twelve. Honestly, not terrible. Really, I'll sell two of them now and I'll keep two in case I need them for something else. But yeah, I've also got to remember, tomorrow I've got to check if I can buy an extra ship mine for 60. So I'm out of pocket on this. I'm out of pocket, but I'm kind of hoping if I like complete the job for her, then, I mean, one, I've got the mission, like build a ship mind, and two, I've got the mission, fix the uh, uh, the, ambig the ambigress. And like, that might be a two for one. Yeah. Unless I need the ship mind for something, but if I, if I need the ship mind for something, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it bloody is. So that's, that's, uh, that's just a thing. And as for you, buddy, yeah, the dock over here. No, that's the salvage, sorry. My friend, uh, the vending machine, like the vending machine, he's great. Upload new data to him. No, that's not the... It's the hunter data you want. You want the hunter data. So, upload that to him. So, I just need one more hunter data, which is great. And over at Feng, Feng's Bay, you want Solheim data. So, I'm one data short of both of these guys, and I desperately need that Solheim data. Because he's the one... I don't know what happens when this thing fills up, but I feel like it's bad. And it's got... So what? You only have a couple of nights left in exactly. it. Exactly. So I think it's this node I want. It's a WOM. I need to draw a WOM. Really. And obviously the odds aren't really on my side. I've only got four dice coming. Even if I had five dice, it wouldn't be on my side. But we're going to sleep. And we're going to see what happens. Clap! Uh, yes. Sorry. Shout out to uh, Andrew. Who gave us 50 Canadian dollars. Best dollars. Uh, and says, I'm um, just saying hi and I want to thank you for your channel overall. It's been keeping me sane in a good mood and entertained for a good long while now. Oh, thank you very, very much indeed. And a one and a two. And we got, yeah, this is actually a really good day. So, yeah. straight away, the even though it's going to wake up the hunter, which is a bit scary, uh, unless I could... Do you not want to like, check on the money sitch? On the buying the part of the ship mine first. I mean, that's important, but it's not as important oh, as enough. not being hunted down myself. Even though the hunter's going to wake up, which worries me, saying the hunter's going to mess me up in some capacity. Unless, that's a one. Right, yeah, that's a one. If I could potentially kill the hunter before the hunter kills me. So I'm going to shove the two in because I'm not losing the one. So we're going to go for the other hunter nest. Extract the data and maybe get out of here before the hunter causes trouble. 
So there we go. We've got that. Let, let's go. Never mind. The hunter's here. Hi. It's the hunter. Um. So the hunter said it's 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 like a it's like a virus program, very literally. Um. Run or hide. I feel like I can't run from it. I think I tried running before and it didn't. I'm gonna try and hide. Step down to the ghostly structure of the eye, feeling like a passing, uh, feel like passing through a cloud as the data structures deform and reform around you. And the glimmer catches your eye, close now, roving orb wreathed in tentacles. Uh, flickers, jumps once, twice, it's here. Hunter is here. Okay, submit to inquiry. I feel like I'm about to lose some health. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to struggle. And it's gonna do something to hurt me. So I'm caught up by whipping tendrils. I feel I'm pulling away, uh, pulling you away from the anchor of your body. Uh, and I push through, clearing the threads. Entity hold for processing. Comes a scream from behind. You're already gliding away. Back to anchor your body. You awake and dizzy and distorted. But safe. Yeah. Health. That hurts. But, but you still have your dice. I've still got my dice, which is the important thing. And I think I might be able to straight up kill it right now. Because that was the final bit of data I need to hand over to the vending machine. Let's go to sealed dot. Give him the last bit of data go and if we're lucky we might be able to kill the virus program right now so that was everything you needed so hello vending machine he's really cute i like my vending machine friend oh. i know but he's very he actually growls and hisses he he, he like he, he's not as cute as the pet as the penguin the space penguin on the front which have you believe he is a space penguin and an underwater penguin because like these guys are they're wearing space helmets but that really looks like more of like a Gold. scooper yeah. thing but maybe it's like he's like a space welder because there's like a power thing, but like I read him as a penguin wearing a scuba mask with a with a, a slushy, but like maybe it's supposed to be like a welding tool, and he's like a space welder. I think he might be a space welder because that looks like a space welding gun to me. Can you weld in space? You can't have flames in space, can you? No, because I think that you just need oxygen. But what if it was plasma? I don't know. I don't know what plasma is or how it works, no. but like I I I think. I'd like to speculate, based on no evidence whatsoever, that plasma works in space. It sounds spacey enough. Yeah, exactly. I feel like sci-fi stuff like plasma works in space. Mm -hmm. I think that's legit. So, hello Neovend. I've got you some stuff. And sleep entity, your data is good. Hunter is isolated, disconnected, unstable. Yay. Hunter gathers without thinking, outlived its own operational limits. Its nests are evidence of this. Okay, so like, it, it was rogue or something. It was activated during the collapse. Emergency protocol to isolate intelligences. Uh, Solheim needs to protect property. That last word was said with as much sarcasm as a vending machine could reasonably produce. Station was run by administrator intelligences. Uh, huge databanks of corporate material. Limited cognition, restricted by programming. Cannot reach sentience. The machine dims a little. Sentience illegal. Hunter and killer enforce law. Ooh. I thought we just took out the virus program, but you're implying there's a much worse one called Killer. Add Fear Killer, part of Solheim Protocol Team, Hunter and Killer, Hunt to find, Killer to erase. Killer cleared almost all after collapse. There was a community, unshackled intelligences among the cloud, then Hunter, then Killer, then we hit. Okay, who else is out there? Were no longer. Oh, they're all dead. That's sad. A flick across the machine's monitors. Uh, suddenly occurs to you that speaking like this uh, through this machine must be exhausting for Neovend. Uh, found this vessel. Could sever hard line. Uh, Airwall to basic limited. Uh, had to reduce memory to fit. Amputate self. But survived. Oh, I'm sorry. That sounds unfortunate. Don't be sorry. You have provided a path to freedom. You look at the bay at the scrap and decay. Uh, what's the collapse like? You try to map the fear of freedom onto the space. It seems impossible. Neovent interrupts your thoughts. Do not worry. Data is good. We have insight. Hunter is obsessive. Hunter is beyond operational limits. Hunter is confused, unstable, self-modifying. Therefore, believe Hunter is sentient. Hunter is programmed to find sentience, told it in place. To invoke killer, to erase. If we can show Hunter to itself, it will invoke killer on self. Nice. Clever. Like it. Killer will erase it, but yes, in theory, it will report itself for deletion. Unsure, theory not practice. Either way, cannot remain here any longer. Too long in machine, cannot move self, but entity can help. Bring ship mind. Designed to house intelligence. Can imprint self into ship mind you can carry with. Machine rocks will be safe in this isolation. Then we could find main nest of hunter and linked cloud. 
Okay, am I choosing who gets a ship mind, or could you be the AI in my ship mind that after we've done this, we could go and like power the mercenary ships? I'm kind of hoping it's not an either or, because that's going to be very bloody expensive. So I know where to get a ship mind. I'm guessing this is not safe. Hunter can't access our wall. Ship mind, safe. Infinitely more memory than vending machine. Big upgrade! Like it. Okay, near vendor, we'll get you a ship mind. Assuming I can buy one right now. We might be able to do a lot of this. Very quickly. It's going to be fine. So, trying to think of places you could acquire the hardware. I know. I know where it is. It's fine. Don't worry. I'm, I'm, I'm on top of it. It's A-OK. -okay. Okay, what? but if you do that with your hand, I can't see the screen and oh. read the thing. Sorry. Thank you. We're under control. I'm testing people in the chat telling me plasma doesn't work in space, by the way. Mm. Has anyone told me the plasma doesn't work in space? Oh, Buddha science. Boo. Okay. Okay. And... Oh, no. No, I cannot buy more. So, I, ca I literally can't haggle over prices. I literally can't buy more ship mine fragments. So, in which case, the logical other place I could potentially get a ship mine would be at a shipyard. I mean, it's yeah. a construction yard. So, potentially I could go and do some work for them. Now, I can't do work for Dragos regardless. And it is a good place for me to do work because it's engineering work. It's the best work I can do. Um... Plus, this bay also brings scrap in. In theory, there might be a ship mine fragment in with the scrap when that returns in two mm. days. That could be the case too. But tomorrow I'm going to have uh, three dice. And I think that's got good enough. I think that's the point where I'm willing to pay 100 for... I'm willing to pay for the drugs. So we're going we're gonna to get ourselves fixed up. Yeah. It's expensive, but we, we need to start doing some work. So, yeah, one stabilizer, which is great. And I've now got the stabilizer. Wait, how do I use that in that case? And, oh, something's wrapped in the stabilizer vial. Oh, the dog's just giving me something. Okay, open your hand. And a thin film marked with holes and sigils unrolls from around the vial. One end, a hard metal strip, a handle. Okay, look at the film. And pass key. It's an entry key for somewhere. Let's break the handle. And 207-F. Oh, she's giving me a number. Bow, chicka, bow, wow. Once you go bot, you never go back. Matt. You, you never won't, you never will not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so low end, 207-F. All right, that'll be where she lives. So, or yes, oh, it's going to be fun. So, okay, we've got we've got the drugs. How do I plug this in, by the way? Pass key for an apartment. Wait, where's the... Is the drugs the thing that looks like drugs, maybe? Yeah, drugs. Where do I plug it in? Do I... How do I plug that into myself? Uh, go to, like, where you sleep, and maybe there'll be an interaction with yourself. There might be. Uh... Yes, inject stabilizer. Good job. Right. Plug myself into myself. Get that sorted out. Right, there we go. Five dice tomorrow. Beautiful. Um, Once in... you go bot, go back, you will not. Yep, that's fine. Yoder it. You know that well. works. Yeah, I'm up for that. Let's go to the tea house. And I can... No, I can't even... There's no... T I can't buy tea at the tea house, which quite frankly feels unfair. No. I know where that unit is. Go to the... That's the noodle factory. So, yeah, that's... I can get some energy there. But it's an endurance event. Whether I'd, I'd... I feel like I could just... Then again, actually, you know, that's... That is energy for no money. That is money-free energy. That's what noodle manufacturing's good at. Though it could theoretically go wrong. So, like, a neutral is only worth one energy. Uh, a but it is safe. It is safe. But, like, you might... If you get... Yeah, but if you... You might get no energy if you get the fail. I feel yeah. like I'd rather just buy food for safety... And I need to start earning money. So I'm going to go plug my five straight into the shipyard. Because that's yeah. a six. So that should be, yeah, that should be plus two to, sh to yard hand. I'm going to start moving in that direction and see what that does. Because that also gets me some scrap components. Sometimes I just get extra money off the scrap components. Though that hasn't unlocked anything new around here. It might do at some point. I'm not sure. But what's more important is I need to go and get the one. I need to go and plug this one in. This better be Solheim data. Otherwise, I do not know what happens when the bad stuff arrives tomorrow. This really needs to be Solheim data. Solheim data. Perfect. Okay. So now, 
you can, yeah, get the guy who was coming to get me tomorrow off my back. Like Zorheim Day Trim. Boom. Nice. That has just worked out. That was close. That was bloody close. So, he hands me a stack of chits and waves me off. Okay, I was about to say, can, can, can you not get the people on my back? I, I need you to remove the like my my like restraining bolt or whatever. Please, please take the restraining bolt out of wherever they've stuck my restraining bolt. All right, what have you got, buddy? Shit heads! He yells. These snaky shit heads. Oh, what's going on, buddy? What's happening? Uh, sleeper, that you're am I in trouble? Just an amnesia consciousness. I've been eager to see you. Come back here. Oh, come on, buddy. What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? I've done your work. Unplug the tracking chip. So, okay, set of monitors. So, what do you see here? Glowing with pale lists of information in closer. Looking for links in the data. The table seems to be filled with personal information. Names, genders, dates, ID numbers. Okay. I'm, I'm guessing I'm seeing shitheads. You like saying the word shithead. Maybe not all of them. Are. What kind of shitheads? Well, I'm guessing. Solheim, giving you interested in the data. Bingo. I pulled these from the old data you uh, brought in. Employees of the Eyes original owner. Leans in, scrolls the list down. This one. This is a sneaky shithead, and it is a hard enough purse. Okay, who's he? So that is the thing. That just so happens to be a hard enough purse in a haven inch. I'm gonna be honest, I don't understand the significance of that. He's right here on the station now. Oh, this was supposed to be a long time ago, right? Yes. So it's, he's just been here a bloody long time. Just think about it. Decades ago, Harden worked in the station as a senior strategic operations executive. Okay, then the regime will change down. The regime changed when the station basically collapsed, and I assume the people with money and influence pulled out. So yeah, okay, that makes sense. So our Harden was keeping the money coming in for Solheim. He defined priority growth initiatives by making sure the uh, the extractors they contracted out were hooked into a system that outsourced all the risk, kept all the profit. Good old Harden shuttled thousands of Palladium Rush workers into an infrastructure, which meant that their cuts of the work they did went straight into Solheim. Okay, bad man money. Capitalism bad. Uh, wh wh where are we going with this? I grew up here sleeper. This is my history. I'm a child of the collapse. Before I was born, my parents were Solheim contractors. They ate in Solheim canteens, worked on Solheim ships, breathed Solheim air, slept in Solheim beds. So I'm guessing that's the company that ran the whole thing before it all broke down. They pulled out at some point. And the work that paid for that existence, the cycle of uh, the cycles of hard extraction out on the belt, Solheim took their cut. This was a company town, so to speak. My parents were just another in a long line of freelance contractors willing to risk their lives for a shot at anything other than poverty. Disposable. So, okay. He stra yeah, he strategized it all, did the sums. Uh, somehow, thousands and thousands of cycles later, still going, still here, crawling in the walls like some shithead snake. He survived the revolution. Okay. How's he still here if no one else is? And also, why wouldn't he have got himself off the station? Surely that lad would have been able to buy his way off. So, these guys, uh, they were big times, a lot of money, uh, as a lot of money could get you if you're a company man. How is Harden still kicking? I really don't know. So, we're going to find out. Okay. Big shot in the shipyards! I was literally just starting to do some work in the shipyards. That is fine. I'm, I'm on it. Okay? It's going to be absolutely A-OK. -okay. Maybe he's got a nice cushy job at the shipyards. So the thing is, they don't have access to the systems. Uh, shipyard crew's pretty paranoid. They don't trust anyone from systems digging around their stuff. Okay, I'm an engineer. I can get in. That is... That's fine. That is absolutely fine. Though, he's got something for me. A ripple worm. So, rip for any digital storage and spin out silken threads of filtered data. This one set on the scent of Heart and Hurst. Getting into the compound might be tricky. You have a particular knack for remote access. Okay, I might be able to get in via cyberspace or might be able to just talk my way in by being a good engineer and doing work with them, which I need to do for money anyway. So, okay, this is all working out pretty well. Extract yourself a Havenage cipher from a Havenage agent and sometimes carry them around in their data caches. Oh, I think I sold one of them for like 10 caps the other day. Oh, don't tell him. That's that's unfortunate. Okay, uh, my bad. Sorry. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it, but I might need to might take me one. I think I, I, I sold that for 10 caps for booze. I'm really sorry. Uh, okay, this is fine. 
I get what you want me to do. This is all absolutely okay. Yep, yep, yep. That's that, that's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm getting it. It's all fine. We just need to fight harder. So, okay. Can I go straight in? Also, is this piece of data I have? Yep, there's the ripple worm. So, scab states from closed networks. Check this. Nothing here. So, okay. And I'm guessing, yeah, it's going to open up once I'm a bit better. No, that's just a one. That, yeah, we're, we're miles away from the shipyard right now. That's just ones and twos. And there's not a huge amount left. So, yeah, we've got ones, twos, more twos. Uh, I think it's just, yeah, ones. I think it's now nothing but ones and twos. That's a Yaskan agent. That's an also a one. Yeah, these are all just ones and twos at this point. There is nothing but ones and twos all across cyberspace. So, okay. There's nothing we can do there with this current set of dice. Ignore that. Best thing I can do in that case is probably start infiltrating the yard. I can make, yeah, uh, 36 more caps by selling the scrap components anytime I need to. And do not forget I've got the pass key. So I'm going to say I may as well, you know what, I'll, I'll use up my existing dice first. Use up my existing dice first. Go to the shipyard. A four in engineering has got to be, yeah, that's 50-50. So if I get lucky, that's another two. Otherwise, it's probably a one. And neutral, it was only a one. But still, they've got to pay, right? Did they pay? I think they actually paid. Oh, wow. Okay. So I'm just I'm just basically, uh, I'm beginning to see how they work. So I'm pretty sure I did not make any money there. So, okay. I'm slowly infiltrating that society. But the bare minimum, yeah, I think this probably shouldn't keep ticking up. Because, wait, didn't he? Wait. I thought I was supposed to be... Fang! I need you to disable my tracker faster. I kind of assumed you were about to do that, Fang! God damn it, Fang! Oh, God, he hasn't done that. Okay. That's... That's unfortunate. That's... That's very unfortunate. Um... Fang! God damn it, Fang! Okay, can, can you please disable my tracker? The person who, who lives here. Okay, let's just let myself into this apartment. Bow chicka bow wow. Hey, doctor. Something's a big robot penis. Um, okay. Yeah. Continue. What's going on here? Is this the doctor? Is this the bouncer? Or is this someone else entirely? Who's here? So, amber light, work surfaces, nothing dramatic. Explore. Crunch utility room, auto wash, dispensers, water closet. Nothing. Head to the terminal. And here we go. Sleeper. It's Sabine. It's the doctor herself. Welcome to my home. Sorry I can't be there. I've had to make alternative arrangements. Oh, that sounds ominous. Like, if, you, if you've if you given the key to someone's house, you go in and they're not there. And then an om and the message just appears. I'm sorry I can't be there, Sleeper. Okay, I'm about to explode. I was able to record this message. I don't dare to show my face. Something is happening within Yatagan. I no longer trust them. So yes, that's like the crime syndicate that pays for her doctor's thing and all she and she has to like keep them healthy as like her payment uh so she's kind of she's kind of owned by yatagan who are like a crime syndicate so okay i have something to ask of you i want you to get me out yatagan was supposed to hide me to protect me after everything that happened i was desperate after that i was too tight to care I'm done with them now i want out screw the debt okay build a ship mind plug my vending machine into the ship mind to make it a sentient ship mind Use that to power up the mercenary ship. Take the doctor with me. Ba da ba ba da ba. Solution. This is going to be fine. It's going to be fine. I need insurance, something I can hold against them. I have my suspicions. I can't be sure. I need information. And as you know, you need me. This isn't a threat. You have to understand my position here. I know sleepers. I've been here before. I can help you. Not with Yatagan's noose around my neck. Get me data, get me information, get me something I can use against Yatagan. Do you have any data against Yatagan? No, I've just got the ripple worm right now. I've got no other data. So, okay. Bring it here to my terminal. I'll get you what you can. So, okay. There we go. That's absolutely fine. Access the terminal. Is there anything? Rest is encrypted, locked away. Yeah. Sabine does not. Has a lot to the rest of her computer away. That's absolutely fine. So, that's fine. I can just buy stuff, can't I? Unless there's... Oh. Without stabilizer, your body will die. You can answer the briefcase, uh, briefcase lab on the desk. Glassware. Okay, there's no stabilizer I could just have there. It's kind of thing maybe she'd give me a stabilizer for free. Would have been oh, nice. Um, folks in chat say uh, that uh, Sabine's pronouns are they, them. Oh, okay. I'm not sure if the game ever specified this, but I, I do not recall. Well, or maybe if you were busy, like, reading five million things at the same time, because, like, the thing is... If you've never tried recording, uh, playing a game while recording it while commentating, it's very easy to miss things. 
His perception is not quite that bad in real life, which he's not trying to record a thing. So, okay. Get Yatagan data for Sabine. Okay, so that, again, that will just mm. be data I find down below. So, let's top up the energy. I'm pretty sure a drink at the bar will do that fine. I think that I think the bar is, yeah, this is cheaper. It's definitely cheaper. So, that's only 10 credits. So, I do not need to be spending any more money at the uh, mushroom place. So, yeah, that's energy plus two, which is great. So, okay, we're now in excellent condition. However, because Fang hasn't got my cocking thing out, something's about to happen tomorrow. Someone is tracking me. And they're about to arrive. And I can't stop them. Uh-oh. Yeah. There's all my dice. Great. And... Oh, hello! You're less intimidating. I mean, you've got a gun, but on the other hand, you're wearing a pink floral shirt. So, like, we'll call it even. Hold it there, sleeper. Don't you run. I'm not going to run. You've got a gun. Stay still. Good, good. You know. Oh, you know your master's voice. Okay, maybe I should have known. I wish I would run. What a dick. Okay. Wide smirk and a slick jacket. You got a way out here and stay put. That's a sleeper thing. You're my first. You barely hear him. And yep, yeah, obviously he's got a gum. I'm sure we're going to get out of this one, to be honest. He seems to be a dick who doesn't particularly like me. So... Okay, ring from a belt loop without taking his eyes off you. Make it to the eye, that's pretty good. Place not so bad. Bars, markets, pull most of my contracts out of asteroid caves. Uh, for for godforsaken moons. He splits the ring into two perfect circles. I'm guessing these are like space handcuffs. So, okay. Who are you precisely? Just a freelancer on a contract? Go easy. Do you think I should try and run? He has got a gun. And 90s mom pants, uh, Nick points out. But, uh, I mean, yes, I think you should try and run for it. You really think so? Against the man with a gun? Are you made of metal? It's, it's kind of unclear. Or a squishy meat bag. I, it's, it's kind of a blend of both. I mean, I feel like there's got to be a way out of this. I feel like if I run, I'm probably going to get shot. I think if I go along with this, I might be able to negotiate a solution. Run, says Thomas. I just... Let this chat catch up a little bit. Let's see. I'm just feeling like I'm going to get shot if I run. I feel like you're going to get shot if you don't run. All caps, run. Okay. Go for it. You're going to regret this. Gun and run rhyme. All right, there we go. I spin, knocking him away, sprinting down the corridor. Shot runs out. Yep, I've definitely just been... Sh this side your head, it's fine. Oh, okay, fine. And there we go. Yep, and I've immediately been caught. That was, that was not, that was not worth it. <laughs> At least it didn't hit me, so that's fine. Look, let let's let's negotiate a deal here, buddy. Ethan. Let's let's talk about it. Don't run his cute. There okay. we go. Okay, I don't see much of the way of assets in your possession. Look, I've got three bits of scrap and seventy-eight caps in my pocket and two thirds of a ship mind. Alright, fuck you. Shane come all this way, just head back to S and R right away. Tracker of yours makes this too quick. Was you put it what? Well if Feng had taken it out! I don't know why people are expecting me to do all this work when they're not even willing to do the slightest bit up front for me. So, okay. What are we doing here? I, how, what is the way out of this? So I'm just being walked on in silence. Okay, how about we stop for a drink? I'm buying. Alright, I have a better idea apparently. And it's better be one of those where you do a dramatic pause and then try and jump me because I'm pretty tired of that. Although I've got myself thinking, what's the rush? Here we are, I'm one of the most lawless joints in the surrogate systems. Uh, am I heading for an exit? What's he thinking? Okay, here's the idea. You and me, we make a little agreement. Here are the terms. You run or leave or try to abandon the eye. I shoot you, you plot or schemer. You try to kill me, I shoot you. But you come meet me at an establishment of my choice every few cycles and you pay my tab. I don't shoot you. You don't pay my tab. You get the idea. Okay. That seems not great, but better than being shot or arrested. You know. Yeah. I mean, let him extort you in the mean and then fix up the ship mine in the meantime. Exactly. And if I all need to do is just get the tracker off, then he can't follow me anymore. Mm. 
So, all right, this is so or much. It'll be harder. It's gonna be fine. Find my old stool at the compressor club. I don't know where that is. I, I, I actually don't know where that is. Could, could you let me? Could, could you put it on the map? Could you show me where it is, please? Where's, where's the compressor club? There it is, compressor club. So, okay. Ethan's tap. You see him at a distance, shouting at the bar for more drinks. The bill isn't going to be small, is it? Okay, so every four cycles, we have to go visit him. And I don't know how much of the money's going to be, but I better have a big pile of money when it happens. So, okay. On the other hand, I've got two ones and two sixes. And one useless three. But the ones and the the ones and the uh, sixes are pretty much as good as it gets. So, all right. Well, I have a think about where those might want to go. Clap. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Ali who uh, gave us five pounds uh, and says uh, you should feel honored. A series I read released a new book today, but instead I'm here watching this stream. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing very well, but Ted definitely just farted again. It just hit me. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> just hit me. Oh, oh no. Boy. Oh, Tad. That's, that's foul. Tad. Oh, God. Yeah, it's good. It's got to clap. That's, oh, no. that's. Um, we need to get the computer out of here. It's going to corrode the metal. <laughs> Ted. Oh, Ted. Oh, oh this is awful. Oh, that's pups, awful. Pups. <laughs> oh, oh, no. We love oh. You, baby. Why, Ted? Why did we give you beef? Oh, Ted. <laughs> oh, that's awful. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh. He can never have those, like, nice cottage pie cans again. No, cancelled. Cancelled. Cancel that. <laughs> oh, no. Ooh. Claire. Shout out to Missing Number, who gave us $5 and says this may be the earliest I've ever been to a stream. So, uh, hi to all the other early people. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, and the book 778 who uh, actually came in third today uh, gave us five pounds and says good evening John and Claire uh, I hope you're both well I just wanted to let you know that you're amazing oh that's a very sweet message I like it thank you very very oh, much oh I've got perks someone just reminded me I've got apparently I did complete a mission at long last so okay. I'm so glad my dog doesn't fart. The Ted farts on my new favorite, my favorite new character of the live streams. <laughs> Lol. So okay, I'm not allowed to give myself engage perks because that's like the thing I'm bad at. So yes, this is me, by the way, Claire. Mm. Like I, I, I look yeah. pretty robotic, but apparently I still can like absorb food and drink. So oh, but, yeah, I mean it does seem like you've got some f fleshy yeah. heads. Yeah, because I'm an engineer, I randomly gain scrap I can just sell, and I get plus one to my engineer rolls. Mm -hmm. I could save up and actually start using that scrap to self repair, which would save a lot of money. But I'd need to save up the upgrade points for that. I took one rank of intuition, which lets me see what dices are going to do, and I could take a plus one to intuition rolls if uh, I wanted to. Yes. Um. The uh, a small uh, small mini, mini spoiler. Yes. Uh, the tab is going to be two digits. The tab you have to pay. For okay, less than a hundred. That's not so bad. Yeah. Uh, I could give myself yes, photo photosynthetic skin, so I can regain my energy for a yeah as a dice action at home, um, or transfer and set, so when I interface, I can gain a tiny bit of money. I don't feel like either of them are worth it. Um, are any of the, the level twos looking really good? Like self repair, icebreaker, agent notes give double data, hard to kill, two dice, uh, even when condition is breaking, i.e., if you run out of health, instant karma, reroll all your dice once per. Oh, that's nice. Complete reroll. That's lovely. Or Obsessive Haggler, all actions for buying at 20% less. I mean, I could Wait, save so up for the self-repair. Uh, that would save me so much money in the long run. Yeah. I think I'm going to save up for that. Unless, and I mean, if I want to, I could also, I could plug it into Intuit. But I'm not, I'm not sure there's any like, hugely important Intuit. I'm going to save up for self-repair. I think that's the better option right now. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Uh, Plus one to dice is really useful. Self repair is really good. Get rid of the minus one. I'm not sure I can uh, get rid of the minus one, can you I? You can upgrade Endio to zero instead of minus one. Oh, I By see. By the end of the game, you can have plus one in all things. I'm happy to leave. I'm going to save up for self repair because that's going to save me so much money. That's mm -hmm. going to save me so much money. So I'm going to save up until I get another 
perk right there. So, so okay. So is excellent. Good choice. Yeah. Okay. Let's get. Let's head down into the underworld because there, I've got two wands, and wands are worth so much money down over here. Now we're we're probably looking for. Uh, blah, 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 Havenage data. We're looking for Yatagan stuff, potentially. That's what the Doctor wanted. Havenage agent. Uh, over on this side, we've got Keynotes. That's just doing our unknown thing. Uh, Yatagan agent. Yatagan agent needing a one. Nice. Okay, so no, get in there. Get in there, you. Bypass. Extract. Just be aware the hunter's going to wake up at some point or another. So, okay, that gets me. Yeah, there's the Yatagan. Yeah, the Yatigan data. Hunter's still some way off. How much data do you want at this apartment? Because uh, three. So, okay. Toss the Yatigan data in there. May as well just get rid of it. So, that's a uh, third. So, I need two more Yatigan datas in order for, yeah, Sabine, for them to be happy. So, okay. I'll be able to bargain for their freedom in that regard. Okay, that's good. That's pretty good. I've got two sixes, which I feel like... I mean, I was about to say, I feel like I should put it to the shipyard, but that's not making me any money. I need to find a way to make money, like, reliably. Because right now, I am concerned that there's no way to make money. And uh, locked action, engage. Skill upgrade required. Oh, hang on. Does... You and your merchants, are you winter? Does that mean if I were to use that perk point to get rid of my minus one to engage, I would be allowed to try that? Or does that mean I need a, like, a higher level engage perk? I don't know. I don't know how to read right, that. Let's wait until I'm going to wait for the uh, chat. Clap. Chat uh, catches up. Yes. Okay. Shout out to Anthony, uh, who's been a member for 32 months. And says, uh, hello, John, Claire, Teddy, and chat. There are uh, cat pics of Annie and Leo on the Twitter. I have already shared those with chat. I'm going to wait a little bit and share them again, probably. Fair enough. Uh, but they are very cute. They're being hydro homies in the picture. I need a plus one. To, oh, I need a plus one to engage. I understand. Okay. okay. So that's that's def that's a definite no-no. Fine, I understand. Explore the spoke, says Nick. Uh, we do have the sixes, so we could do a bit of spoke exploration. That's certainly true. Uh, and then uh, Chitara has been a member for uh, 55 months and says, Happy nearly the end of January. We nearly made it through. Well done, everyone. Yep, good job. Okay, I can also... You know what? Yeah, the block gives me a tiny bit of energy. I'm going to go... I'm going to put one six into the block, which is going to get me up to block... Yeah, three quarters complete. Gets me a little bit of energy back, which never hurts. And might give me something new. That is, yep, derelict unit. Abandoned housing unit! There's a connection move in there. And uh, half-built units long forgotten. With enough scrap, you might be able to... Ah, oh, I cannot live in a shipping container anymore. Yes! Yes! No longer living in a shipping container. Yeah! Building my own apartment out of scrap. Woo! 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 Uh, I could have sold the scrap for money, but I'm not going to. I'm going to build my own house. I found, I found a house. I just need one more bit of scrap, and any action can just get me that. And even if it doesn't, I think next turn, I think the scrap people are coming back. Yeah, the scraps, the scrap uh, salesmen are coming back tomorrow. Oh, I built my own flat. Love it. Um, um can you uh, have you had a sleep since uh, last checking the uh, merchants? Yes, you are. This merchant is the one where I need the plus one to engage, and I can't do that. And this merchant, uh, oh, I've, I've enough, filled yeah, up yeah. on limited supply. No, so I, I wasn't sure if, like, maybe there was going to be a weird thing, like every other day you get, you know. Yeah, it's not, unfortunately. Oh, well. And the other six, I will plug into. Yeah, I will. Okay, there's scaling the spoke, which is engaged, which I shouldn't do, or there's entering the spoke. Which I'm going to do because I've got the six, so it's dangerous, but it's 100% safe. So I'm just going ahead. I'm just going to explore it. And that gets me... In fact, that, that's only out of six, so I'm already a third of the way to that one. And that gets me... Midline Freight Hub. Okay, Transit Center. Oh, blimey! Okay, so I need a plus one to interface uh, to steal a shipment of random stuff. Or... 
I can, yeah. It's the same. It's another plus one two interface, isn't it? Yeah, looks like it. Uh, hang on, which one's interface? Is that the that's yeah, that's the hacking one. Yeah. It's like hacking one, yeah. So I don't have that, and I'd need to spend two skill points to that because the first point I put into interface would be the perk, not the plus one. Where are you uh, on uh, removing the tracker? Uh, until hang on, uh, that's to do with Fang. So that's extract the past. Dig into old Solheim networks. So extract soul hang. Yeah. Hack a Havenage agent to get a cipher. So I've got a one. I just need to find a Havenage. There's a Havenage agent. Um, that's two. I need to find Havenage agents, keynotes, etc. So wait, if you use a Haven, if you use a two on the thing that, if you use a one on the thing that wants a two, is it just guaranteed no, fail? No, it's yeah, it's, it has to be a match. Oh, it Nothing, has to be a match. It has in to the be end a perfect world, match. That's two on the Havenage agents. That's a normal keynote. That's a keynote. That's a Yatagan agent. Which is what the doctor, the doctor yeah. yeah, at least well, we may as well get that done. But yeah, I need twos. I need to roll some twos to get that. So at least that's the yat. So the doctor's already, yeah, a fair bit of the way there. Though the other Yatagan agent might be over the breach because I don't see another Yatagan agent. That's a generic keynote, which provides like generic benefits. I think keynote's like generic stuff, and then like things that otherwise are labelled as specific things. So the Havenage agent is what I need. I basically need that Havenage data. So it's twos. I need twos. Uh, and I'm guessing, how many do you want, Fang? That's the empty container. Oh, where's Fang gone? Isn't that... That's... Yeah, that's that. And there's also... Okay, Fang's just... Fang was here. He's gone. Okay, maybe he'll reappear later. Um, but Fang, Fang was totally there. But now he's just like, not. So, okay. If I need energy, I've got a three. Which is a really awkward one, but I could put that into low-end exploration. Or, you know what? No. I'm gonna put that in shipyard. They're not paying me yet, but, like, they're gonna pay me at some point, right? It's a bit low on money. 25% negative on a risky. I'll take it as a, I'll take it as a chance. Oh. Ah, bad luck. They want nothing to do with you. You're laughed away, and then you fall over a toolbox on your way out. Wow. Yeah. That's, yeah. Rude. Okay, bad luck. That was only a 25% chance there. Are there are perks that will give you more options for dice on the hacking? Yeah. And agents reset every cycle. And what resets? Agents. Ah. Well, I'm still going to get five dice tomorrow. And also tomorrow, I'm buying my own apartment. I'm not living in this shipping container any longer. I'm not having it. Although, every... Okay, but if... But the guy who's tracking you knows where you live, and if you move while you still have the tracker, then he'll know your new place. Yeah, but I don't want to live in a shipping container. I'm sorry. Just don't want to live in a shipping container, that's all. There we go. I'm buying some scrap. Buying the scrap. Yeah, those are not great. Uh... Yeah. Get me the scrap. Lovely. And the... That was a shipmine fragment! Shit! What the fuck? Woo! What? Go to the old thing! What? That was... Okay, that was surprising. Uh, oh, I just wanted normal scrap, actually. Can I just have normal scrap? Thank you. Look, I, I, I'm busy at the moment. I'm building, look, I'm building my own house. All right, yeah, yeah, building my own Did house. Do you not think the ship mine is more urgent? No, not in the slightest. I built a house. Oh, yeah, God. got a house. Seal units. It's, oh, it's not done yet. Oh, it's more complicated to build a house than just, like, shoving scrap into it. It now needs to be sealed. It's a laborious task. The outcome... You say the outcome's worth it. That's eight away! Jesus, Claire, I've wasted a lot of money on this property. Oh, no. Okay, go to the or or, or thingy thing. Okay, okay, fine. Uh, yeah, three. Fabricate a ship bind. That's fine. Okay, I've got a ship mine. The problem is, am I now choosing whether that... Oh, that was another upgrade point. Meaning... If he knows where you live... Self-repair! Boom, if done. If he knows that you live there, then yeah. you will have to leave. Yeah. Well, I don't live there yet, because now I need to bloody mm -hmm. do, like, the plumbing or whatever. Uh, okay, I've got one ship mine. Core of a ship AI. Now, logically, I am not... Am I choosing whether it goes to you 
or to you. Because I'm going to be honest, the, the mercenary did say if you fuck me over on the ship mines, I'm going to kill you. But like, surely there's nothing to stop me. Just like, you know, there's nothing to stop me just letting my Neoved friend ride around in the thing. And then taking it to her, right? Right? Oh, I don't know. I'm just uh, waiting to see what chat thinks about that. Mm, yeah, I don't... If, the problem is that might be spoilers. So I don't want to, like, entirely mm -hmm. let that happen. But that's uh, why I'm reading it and not you. I see. Okay. My home for now. I'm just an actual home. I don't want to be in a shipping container. Okay. Better make sure to deliver. I mean, she's the she's the giant mercenary with a knife. But my friend, oh, okay. Build a home. I'm trying. I am trying. Fix the ambergris free neo vans. Buy or build a ship mine. Find a ship mine. But why not both? Ted, did you fart again? Ted! Oh, no! Why? Why, Ted? Why are you doing this to us? There's no timer on the Merc. She will wait. I'm going to help out Neo because then I might be able to stop the Hunter from ever causing trouble. Like, this feels more advantageous to me. I'm shoving it in. All right, Neo Vend, there you go. So Neovend is wait is attempting it to imprint. Oh for God! Could anyone just do their job without without me having to give them giant piles of money? Must express plan before we begin. Shipmind has no output features. Uh, will be mute until slaughtered. So okay, I won't be able to won't be able to understand it. In which case, I can just shove it straight to the mercenary ship. Brilliant. So okay, oh, do not worry. First, imprint ship mind. Then, slot imprinted ship mind into physical ports close to Hunter Nest. Once slotted, uh, we'll track Hunter at each. Tracking will find Core Nest. Slot ship mind to Core Nest. Show Hunter data to Hunter. Hunter concludes sentience. Hunter invokes killer. Yep, that's that's the plan right there. Physical ports likely sealed in old station. We'll need keys. Yes, simple. Okay, when you say old station guessing that's over the bloody expensive bridge, right? Can I access via network? Too dangerous. Hunter would fight immediately. I'm not like you, hybrid. I'm native to cloud and easy prey. So, okay. That seems reasonable. I think I understand the core concept right there. So, machine is not designed for this task. A few sensors. Limited imports. I work blind. Wish me luck. Anything I can do to assist? Nope. Silence is best. Also, if machine ignite, put out fire. Lol. <laughs> like it. Okay. So we've now got a neo vend inside a McGibbly Jibble. So that's all absolutely fine. We've copied the thing over. It's just doing its thing. It's copying. Everything's fine. I'm having a philosophical crisis at the same time. So everything's fine. Take it down. It's neo vend inside the scene. Did the process fail? I don't know. Hilarious. Oh, I've got a ship mind. Yeah, imprinted ship mind. Though I shouldn't hand it over to the Merc because now I need. Okay, so I've got my ship mind back, but it's imprinted, which is fine. That's fine, but where are these things? There's probably new red things, right? No, he did say the old station. It's going to be the other side. Okay, so we're just carrying this thing around for the time being, unfortunately. Though, actually, that is true. I may as well just uh, dump the next bit of data over with uh, the doctor. <laughs> so, okay. If I find scrap, which I just find at random... I can now repair myself with the scrap. So I might need to not buy the stabilizer anymore, which is good. And also, oh, atrium, sealed hunter nest. Sorry, it's it's above ground. Okay, but I need I need cipher keys, or encrypt keys, and those come from the generic, the generic things down below. Okay, so it's actually it's it's in the overworld, not the underworld. So yeah, I need to plug like the ones into here. Now the Havenage agents were all yeah, they were all after twos. There are no more... There's a Yatagan agent. But somebody said that they reset, so they might reset wanting something else. Well, this one's reset with a one, so it's fine. And that should be... No, give them the one. That should be the doctor uh, with the date, with the information they want, which hopefully will mean they're on my side. So there's more Yatagan data. 
So honestly, I'll take that because that is all the Yatagan data she needs. That's literally it. So, sorry, they need. Um, so shove that in there. Go to three. Sabine should now be a-okay. So sleeper. Hello there, Sabine. And this has to be short enough. Yatagan are monitoring me. And data you've been bringing in from Yatagan agents. Something I don't understand. This data is all gleaned from their implants. Recall, uh, records of the integration with their nervous systems. Performance analysis. Error rates. Uses data. Blah, 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 blah. I installed these uh, implants. I didn't enable this functionality. So they're being spied on. Which, I mean, I kind of assumed that was the case anyway, actually. But okay. It has to be somehow baked into the their wetware's interface. That's not all. Systems combine this data are connected to some kind of transmission protocol. It's being broadcast. Yeah, someone's monitoring them. Which, I, again, I, I kind of assumed was the case. So these implants are gathering data on themselves. Uh, the enforcer bodies and their performance. What? Because they have a boss who's obviously monitoring them. Is that not obvious? I, 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 I can promise you these foot soldiers have no idea this is going on. And if they knew, I don't imagine they'd be happy with the situation. Yatsgan could have a mutiny on their hands. Okay. So that's a good bit of information. Also, Yannick, who I assume is the person in control. One of the heads of Yatsgan. Better you don't know him. Keep it that way. So I have to go. Come back in four cycles. So okay, that's just happening. Can I get like some, some money? I'm really running low on money and I have to pay like a dick's drink bill apparently now. So that's, that's not good either. So, all right. Fair enough. Everything is is all fine. I'm also having another philosophical crisis about robots versus people, etc., etc., etc. So that's fine. So okay, now that's just gonna. She's just doing her own thing. Sorry, they're just doing their own thing. That's gonna be four four days away. So. So can you uh can you make some money? Yeah, I need to make some money, but I've got really bad dice for money making. Threes yeah. are terrible money making dice. Um, so we've established the shipyard. I'm basically an unpaid intern at the shipyard. Uh, but somebody was saying, like, the shipyard is not very good at the beginning when you start, but it has a really good, interesting storyline. Yeah, and it's something to do with getting the tracker chip it's out of the drone me. bay new. The drone bay? Yes. Oh, no, oh, it's one. The, it's one of the sealed hunts yeah, now. Yeah, that's the sealed So I need the ciphers from, like, the ones the key, and twos yeah. down below, which I think are the generics, like, key, yeah, keynotes. So that's ones. Uh, some of these reactivate, some of them don't. So I think these are, yeah, they're all wands. So basically I just need the wands and... Uh, yeah, it's nothing but wands. I need a giant pile of wands. Giant pile of wands would be great. And that will activate the various nodes that I can now access with my physical thing. And that's going to be, I assume, three of them because it's normally three. So, okay. I've got, yeah, I've got one uh, ship mines. Whether that's enough... I don't know. To do what? I like to do both the ambergris oh, and yeah, I or whether I need a second at some point. I don't know. Uh, Ethan's tab, yeah. So extracting the past. Yeah, extracting the past is the Solheim network. Again, Havenage agents, which is twos. So any ones and twos would be great. Fives and sixes are great. Threes are really awkward potatoes. Threes are very awkward potatoes. Um, okay. They're... Well, you don't need to pay this guy's tab for a little while. Yeah, no, I've got so three right. days for that. And then, yeah, that's another that's another surfer nest right there. Okay. Where is there that's offering actual paying work? There is a tea house, but that's, yeah, heavy intuition, so I can't gamble there. There is... The noodle place, no? That, yeah, that's my, that's my house. Yeah, there's the noodle place. That is oh, low-risk work, but it basically is just for ah. energy. But there's cryo on the other side, but that's engaged, which you yeah, which I'm well. terrible at. And the bar work is also engaged. There's a bar here with a very friendly bartender, but that's also engaged work, which I'm terrible at. Mm -hmm. So that doesn't work, unfortunately. That's limited those options. This is just the ships coming in. I can't work with Dragos anymore. The shipyard doesn't even pay. There are very few jobs going. Uh, Use threes in the noodle factory for food. I mean, it's an option. It will get me something at the bare minimum. Or I can explore and try and find some better work opportunities. Because low end does... I think it pays... Like, that gets me energy too. That's energy and it's exploration. And if I max out low ender... This is risky. 
But that nice. was, yeah, that was, yeah, that was actually positive. That was a 25% positive. So I've maxed out, I've got a bit of energy back and I've maxed out low enter. So now I'm known locally and that gets me caster. Curious a data fence. Okay, someone who wants to fence data I get from the underworld, presumably. So now I'm well known and liked locally. Hello, caster. So, okay, sit. I am going to sit. That strikes me as reasonable. So, okay, caster, night or day, gesturing at caps. Oh, finally, it's actual real caps. Um, night. I, I'll, I'll play with, I assume this is a game where, like, the caps are white or black, and that's indicating, uh, yeah, like, who's playing what. So let's begin. You take a play. Oh, I'm playing a dice game. That's hilarious. I roll a six, you roll a four. I lead. Moves his first cap precisely. Play passes back and forth. Do I even know what this game is? Is this what what's it called? Tav Tavla that I've seen mentioned? It's unusual to see a sleeper on the eye, so I wanted to play you. You take your turn rolling a five and a six. Play carefully or aggressively. Play carefully, because I don't know what this guy's deal is. Sleeper's mind must be somehow different to a human one, being emulators. Progress is slow, I'm unexposed. And I don't mean to offend you. I merely see that you are by definition different. What has been uh, by definition different? What has been subtracted in the emulation? What has been added? Slides a single cap into an open point at risk and an opportunity. Do you ever think about this sleeper? About what you were before and what you are now? Constantly! I have like weird nightmares that may possibly relate to this. Roll a double one to solidify my wall. The holding game, commendable, can be brave to build uh, from what came before. We cannot idle for too long. A slow move, the sooner we are caught. Oh, is he about to. Murder me? Yes. I'm gonna take Ted oh, yeah. for a week. You take him for a little breaky yet. break. Yeah. Ted, do you want to go for a week? I now? think Ted's going. For, Ted's going for a little holiday. He's going for a break. If he doesn't stop farting, he's going to the glue factory. So, the past is not just an idea, a concept for you. It's a living, breathing person. He looks over his glasses. You split from them like a shadow spitty from its cat star. Okay, where are we going with this? You're a branch severed from the main trunk. Yes, a, a, a variant that started diverging the moment the copy was made, like I was saying to Claire right at the start. So, you roll again into pressure now, trying to slip your caps out from other casters uh, before he solidifies control of the game. So, what I'm curious about is how you see yourself in this. What does this tangle of truths make you? Driven! Because I don't have any option to, but to be otherwise. That much is obvious. Driven towards what? Removing caps. His home board now fall to an end here. Or just endurance. Try a few more rolls to get back in the game. No, nope, it would appear that Caster has a very much won. I feel I may have pushed too far. I apologise. My curiosity is having to get the better of me. So, yeah. You play well, really. Your weakness is not your game. We have much to learn from each other. Slice his glasses back. I feel we could share knowledge, ideas, and perhaps even data. Oh, are you a... Are you maybe a sleeper, but like wearing a really good human suit or something? Maybe. Okay. I'm going to say no. Don't want to make you uncomfortable. My intention is only to help you endure here. And if I'm able, feed my curiosity. All right. Why do we get the feeling he himself might be a sleeper? That's a maybe. That's a maybe. Okay, that was very curious. And now, now we can go back to his table. And, oh, blimey. Okay. Five Havenage data. I have a ship mine for you. Or five Yatagan data for a vial of stabilizer. Okay, so that's alternative solutions to a couple of bits and pieces. So if I, if I want any of that. The free spoke. I don't think I can explore that very easily. No, I do not want to put a three into a danger. That's that's no that that would be that would be trouble. So I still yeah that's not giving me any new ways to make money because the tea house that's intuition, unfortunately. So that doesn't work. I mean let's see how much money if any. I mean it's a safe action. I'm gonna put a three into the noodle factory and see what happens. Hopefully it'll just be a neutral. And no positive. Okay, even positive is only eight caps. But, my energy's filled up. I can't complain there. So, okay. So, apparently Tavla or Tabla is just backgammon. I've never played backgammon. I do not know any of the rules. 
Uh, though I have also picked up a point, which is nice. So, okay, I've picked up a nice point there. Okay, you know what? I could get my Intuit plus one. What could Intuit get me? Because isn't there hang about? The Alt Exchange has Intuit. You know what? That would be worth something. I could just go make money in the Alt Exchange. The Alt Exchange is a reasonable source of money, though it can it can go a bit wrong. Hello. Ted, have a nice little garden break. Yes, indeed. Excellent. Okay. The alternative is, yeah, I, I cannot explore more of the free spokes. I've got some better dice. I think my best option is probably to go to the alt exchange and work, and, and work there, basically, yeah, doing buying and selling in the alt exchange. And the best way to get that done is... Oh, and Intuit plus one is also... Yeah, you know what? I'll take it because someone just also reminded me. Intuit plus one is also tea house gambling. So, uh, yeah, go to the tea house. Did you upgrade your Intuit? Yeah, I did. Nice. So, okay, this is, yeah, this is high oh, risk. Did you tell them about the glue factory? Sometime, somebody commented about the glue factory. I may have mentioned the glue factory. Well. I think this is, okay. If 25% I lose 13 caps, is he right behind my chair? Oh, he's not right behind, he's fine. He's not right behind. I don't want to squish his nose, that's all. He's doing the thing where he's licking the paw that he kind of peed on a little bit. Yeah. Because you know dogs. So yeah, 50% chance of plus 24 cryo, 25% chance of minus 13. And I don't know what the positive outcome is, but it might be even more money. I think that's, I'm willing to take the gamble on that. So we're basically playing... We're playing competitive gambling backgammon right now. Nice. Oh, that was a neutral only plus nine. Ouch. Go to plus twenty-four. So I feel a bit. I feel a bit hard done by there. Uh. Try again. You feel hard done by because it went to the fifty percent. Hey, that's more like it. And I don't need to buy food anymore. Because I could, yeah, just, I, I, got, I got a really good shift at the Noodle Factory. It's a really good meal. So, okay. Money's coming in, but a little bit, I, I need better dice. I'm kind of hoping for better dice tomorrow. Really need some better dice tomorrow, in fact. So, okay. Back to my shipping container. Bloody hell. Uh, but yes, I can now use scrap that I may or may not pick up at random to improve my condition. So if I draw random scrap, that's great. And yeah, energy goes down a bit. Oh, three sixes and two twos. No. Nice. That is amazing. Because well, three fives, isn't it? Huh? Yeah, but on engineering, they become sixes. True. Is what I mean. Like, I could basically convert them into sixes. Well, yeah, no, I figured that was what yeah. you meant, but also, you know. Yeah. Okay. Let's get straight into ground. The twos were for the Havenage agents, right? Behave with Jaja Chair, twos and twos. Unfortunately, I'm going to wake up the Hunter if I use both the twos there, but I feel like that's got to be the best option. So, yeah, twos and twos. Which gets me the Havenage data, which is, yeah, disable my tracker is help Fang, and extract the past is hack a Havenage agent to get a cipher. Okay, well, let's just get one Havenage agent for the time being. So, shove the two in there. That is indeed a Havenage, uh, Havenage thing. So, the Hunter's pretty much on me at this point. And that gets me, yeah, there's the Havenage Cypher. Now, the question is, has that woken up Chappie? Because it says, yeah, uh, extract the past, uh, hack Havenage agent to get a Cypher, which I've done, and I've got it. It's, it's right there. But, how does that, it doesn't actually, he's not here anymore. Who? Uh, Fang, the guy who told me to, to go and get the thing. He's not here. So I'm not sure how to turn it into him. Uh, or if I'm supposed to be spending it somewhere. So, okay, bare minimum. I've got some amazing fives, so I can make some really good money. So we're halfway to having to pay this bill, which is fine. Meanwhile, okay, hang on. Check the... Remind me. The sealed hunter nest was... Yeah, I need the ciphers for that, so... I think we'll have to leave that for the time being. I'd rather focus on getting the thing out if I can. Okay. The chip, you mean? Yeah, exactly. Like monitoring, whatever. Uh, so if I, I if I use the other two down below, 
Is there anything else that needs the two, or are the are all the? Oh, you need ones? to use the cipher in the cyberspace, apparently. Oh, is it somewhere in here? Mm. Uh, that's a keynote. Yeah, that's just that's a standard keynote. Are you buddy. Yatagan agent. So okay, Yatagan information, which I don't really need anymore. Sabina's fine, and I can give those to the new guy, but it's for like a. I think it was for. Yes, yeah, stabilizer, and I could just use scrap metal. But if I actually toss all, if I toss these other actions at engineering, I draw scrap metal, and I can use that to repair my condition by itself. But these just keynotes. That's Havenage agent. That's a keynote. So you've just appeared. No, you're just a one. That's just a Havenage agent again. I'm worried the bastard's about to come and attack me. But go down, go down there, or something else. That's us. Oh, you're right. Well done. Well, they said down south in the chat. Uh, I didn't. I, I didn't even. Yeah, go down. I didn't go far enough. So did okay. Did not want to. But I, I saw the might... circle, so I feel like it's yeah. legit for me to give it a shout. Okay. I saw it. So now I can access this. The, the, I'm going to wake up the hunter. We're saying he's going to potentially damage me. So okay, that's got me gate H4 access. But I feel like I'm about to be attacked by. No, that didn't count as an action. So okay, we've got a weird double port thing. So now I can insert the ripper worm that he gave me. Yeah. So slap that in there. See if that wakes up the hunter. Okay. So shipyard servers have been slotted. Bow chick bow wow. Um, worm slots in and begins tunneling. Bow chick bow wow. <laughs> There's nothing I won't say to that. It's fine. Of uh, course it's just. And then this is now. I've already plugged that in. So okay. Godspeed, little one. Out of cyberspace. Um, uh, out of cyberspace. Yeah. Yeah, I was just wondering if uh, in the cyberspace it did anything different. Doesn't look like it, but Feng's reappeared. Okay. So now, okay, now, it, okay, so like Sabine and Feng are now both just on the clock. So it's just a few cycles away until something happens. So at this point, nice. I've got, yeah, if I just do engineering actions, that could get me scrap, which I can use to improve my condition. So that's good. Um... And so I could just do engineering actions to get the shipyard moving in the right direction, which would be fine. The alternatives for engineering actions, or how to make money, if I needed money, would be... Yeah, I can go over to the tea house, and now I can gamble with huge success. Guaranteed six. So I'm going to spend at least one on Tavla. So, there we go, 24 cryo. So I can make 24 cryo a go, playing backgammon really, really, really bloody well. My derelict housing units. That's eight away. Oh, eight scrap is it or? No, eight, eight on. You know, I get a two on positive. Oh wow. Yeah, I know. Like building a house is hard. Like shocking. I, I I'm horrified by this. The free spoke. Any of you? There was an intuit there. I can get a yeah. I can get a guaranteed explore the spoke. So, yeah, we can explore that. That's now up to where it should be. That's got me access to... Okay, a spoke exporter. So this is... A sell a ship mines. Okay. Alternatively, exports Matsutake. So take the Matsutake up to the Starwood Belt. Only in bulk. 80 cryo for three batches. Oh, mushrooms. Um... And buy a ship mine core for 300, but I've got a ship mine core for the time being, which might do for both. So, I mean, or. I mean, or. John. Yes. Don't do it. Don't sell Neo Bands. But I could get 150 cryo for it's him. It's not fucking very much, is it? It's actually not, no. But, like. I, 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 I'm Friendship, just... John. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I'm like, don't do it, John. Just like when Ted starts looking like he's got to bark at, at the outside at nothing. Yeah. Derelict unit, Tampa Tea House, the money. You know what? I'm going to finish off the exploration. I've got a hundred. I've got a hundred caps right now, which is enough to settle this guy's bill, which is still two away. And I might need to like, you know, buy a drink for ten. We're doing okay. I'm just going to check what the other thing is. I'm going to explore the free spokes. I'm going to use this. Admittedly, because I'm doing in intuition, not engineering right now, I'm not getting, um, um, I'm not getting scrap for free. But the spoke is now completely explored. And that gets me, hang about, are you new? The Ascender car, hub access elevator. So, ooh, 
I could ascend to the hub. Ooh. Well, that's fancy. So, okay, I now know how to get to a, a brand new thing, which has got me to the hub. Station main. Am I supposed to be up here? Is anyone up here? Is this like an abandoned central AI? Well, I don't think so. It's just socializing right there. Okay, it's thronging with spaces, so probably not. Uh, I love that thronging. Yeah, thronging is an excellent word. It's, it's a word that's definitely doing it, and it, it's not shy about you knowing it. <laughs> uh, there could be a prickly bunch. So that's engaged. That's not good for me. Then there's interface, so basically, yeah, doing some hacking. So neither of these are great for me. Uh, I might come back up here with some fives or sixes down the line. Uh, but okay. Remember that's there. At least we've got that, uh, at least we've got that sort of stuff. So now we know where the elevator is. We know how to explore that, which is good. So... Oh, you can go into cyber mode in the hub. Oh, that's true. Good shout. I'd forgotten that. Uh, what? thank you to Anti Poster Boy for that. Very good shout. And that it is Keynote, Keynote, just generic Keynote by the Luxie of it. Uh, that's a four. Oh, we don't normally have yeah, four. Yeah, I don't see fours very far. A six? Blimey. Okay. A six in cyberspace and a five. Okay, four, five, six up here. So normally it's, it's one to two down below, but up here it's four, five, six. And also, oh shit, Claire. Mm -hmm. It's not Hunter up here, which makes me very scared it's Killer. Yeah, I suppose that makes sense. Yeah, there's because we've been told there's two programs, Hunter and Killer, and we're right by the center of the station, which makes me worried that's where Killer lives. I'm, I'm not sure I want to wake up Killer. Like that's that that strikes me as 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 bad. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go do a simple shift at the Noodle Factory. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go do a very simple shift at the Noodle Factory, which is fifty fifty. But, like, it's safe. So I'm probably going to have a bad shift. But if I get lucky, then maybe I'll get, like, one one cap and one energy. Yeah, I got one energy. So I mess up a batch and I my pay gets docked. But I get to eat the results of the batch I messed up. The noodles are unpleasantly gooey. Well, it's still, it's better than nothing. And I might just get five tomorrow. I don't know whether I'm getting five tomorrow. Hey, excuse me, whether I'm getting five tomorrow or whether I'm getting only four dice, we'll have to see. So, all right. Go home and see what we got. Clap! Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Jay, who gave us 20 Australian dollars. Excellent dollars. Uh, and says, I loved your video. I'm loving the game. It is so great to see this game be so well received after what I've seen people say of Tharsis. We need more games in this style. Poor Tharsis. I'm still, to this day, and I will never so not, bad. I will never not be angry at the pe at the reviews that were made by professional publications and proper gaming press that slagged off Tharsis when the review made it clear that they didn't enjoy Tharsis because because they were too stupid to understand probability. Like, for fuck's sake, guys. I remain furious about this, and I'll never stop being furious about this. Okay, so this guy, tomorrow, we've got to have enough money to pay the bill. So, uh, it, people say double figures, so I just keep it above 100. Keep it above 100. I need to do some engineering today, because engineering gets me scrap, and scrap means I can self-repair. Unfortunately, there's not much engineering I can do. In fact, pretty much the only engineering I can do is the shipyard, which unfortunately doesn't really pay. But, I mean, it gets me something at least. It, if, I mean, if it gets me scrap metal, then, you know, that's... There we go, just got a scrap metal. So, random scrap item. Got the scrap, got two there. So, yeah, I can take that straight back to my home, and I can just, like... How much does that actually heal? Let's just try that right now. Self-repair. Oh, that is not much. Oh, okay. I mean, it's better than nothing. If I can... Actually, you know, if I find one more... if I, I'm not sure if you guaranteed it. But if I find one more, I'm going to put the four in. Which is, yeah, still 50-50. Uh, so it can't be a negative. I mean, come on, come on, come on. Give, give me scrap. Scrap! Yes! Yartan plus two and five cryo. I actually got some money for that. They actually paid me. Holy shit, Claire, they paid me. Woohoo! Fuck yeah. So now empty container, plug the scrap in, and now tomorrow I get five dice and I didn't have to pay for stabilizer. Now that is nice. You know what? That self-repair is sweet. Okay. So I've fully explored the spoke. I've fully explored... Yeah, I've fully explored that area. So I've got 113 caps. I wouldn't mind buying myself a meal 
for the energy. I could go and work in the express, but I feel like there's... I mean, if I've got a five... You know what? No. If I've got a five, I'm not going to go work for energy. Because if I work for energy, I'm saving myself like 10, 15. But if I put the five into extremely aggressive backgammon, I can make more than that. Like, I, I, I'm better off putting that five into backgammon, making the guaranteed 24, and then just buying the food I need. Like, that's definitely the better option. Um, and, oh, I'm scared of... I don't really want to go and put the one into cyberspace right now because the hunt's about to wake up and I'd rather get my five dice locked in before I do that. So in which case, I would rather put the one... I'm, I, like, I'm just... I'm basically just going to go in and completely phone in the shittiest noodle manufactory uh, you've ever seen. I'm just going to go and phone it in. Negative outcome, I mess up another bat so I get no money, but I still get an energy. Because, like, I get an energy for free. Like, and that means I can go to the bar and only spend 10 on the cheap shit, um, things. Right, right there, no, get in there, get in there, you. And now I'm up to max energy, and tomorrow that's five dice. Boom. Oh, okay, the way to tell if you're losing dice yeah. overnight is it's in sets of four. Uh, max oh, health is 20, I see. so one to four you get one dice, etc., etc. Yeah, I you see just it. Heal to I can 17, see it, yeah. I can so see you're it. Good. Yeah, so okay. That means we're golden now, and it's not bad just spending a bit of time because some of the characters are just waiting at the moment. So tomorrow, we have to go and pay the guy. We've got 127 right now, and we'll have five dice. So tomorrow's going to be fine. We also have the best dog in the world. Ooh, those are good. Yeah. I mean, nothing I can use down in cyberspace. I mean, a, a spread is nice. There's nothing wrong with a spread. So okay. This guy, I'm guessing I have to go and see him. I'm surprised he hasn't come and seen me. So, yeah. I have to pay him. And if I don't do it within... I'm not going to do it today, then. If he's going to give me two cycles to pay the tab, then <laughs> well, I may as well, well not... I wonder if the tab... Okay, this is fun. I wonder if when you wait two cycles, the tab is going to be higher because he's been drinking those two cycles. Yeah. And I wonder if when you pay in the next two cycles, it'll be like, all right, the next one is two cycles away because you fucked around for two cycles. Let's find out. That'll let's, be let's Let's fuck around and find out. Um, okay. I've got a six. I've got a five. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go straight over to a uh, shipyard and I'm going to put the... Is the three? The three could go wrong. I'm going to put the four in there. The force boosted to five. So this can't fail. This is guaranteed. So I'm going to become a yard hand. They're going to accept me. So put the five, yeah, put the four in there. So they've paid me a little bit of money, but more importantly, they now accept. Yep, they, they're impressed. I know how to double seal a hull plate. So it gives me a little tip. So you get a little bit of money. It's just a tip. And now, as a result of that, I've got unit assembly and uh, Lemma and Mina, worker and daughter, presumably people I've been working alongside. So, all right. These are the shipyards. Hello, Lemon Mina. And she's quite beautiful, I think. So, a figure. Thin, ragged, and work gear poorly fitting and loose. And, uh, yeah. Side Real Horizon. Presumably, that's the company that runs this little place. Lem, and this is Mina. Say hi to Mina. That's always the cute option. So, oh dear. Bit slow to trust. Fair enough. So's Ted. Um, so, you're working on her then. Lem asks eagerly, gesturing at the vast ship or just admiring and shifts me this weight. I think I was just what I assume I was working on it. I guess. Me too. Me too. I knew it's just to look at you. I mean, some of them the words. I mean, you look like a worker. She's mean and mighty. Get out of this place. Our escape vector. Okay, Bunny Chan, do you want to come with me on the mercenary ship I'm working on right now? Because I suspect we're just basically taking everyone away from this station at some point. So, explain how. You haven't heard. Everyone who takes a Havenage contract on the side of Horizon will be entered into a draw for the transit support crew. We won't get to see the journey through. A couple of decades of service will be nothing for me and Mina if it means landfall in a new world. Okay, but draw. This feels like one, unlikely, and two, easy to rig in like not your favour. So yeah, I... side real horizon is an side real horizon is the name of the ship that you're building. Oh, so, like, the, the ship, ship, not the company. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, it's because a long trip. Because the company trip. is Havenage, isn't it? Yes, 
What? I thought Havenage was like the name of like a collective group of people who were sort of trying to run the place but aren't doing a good job. And Yatagan is the crime syndicate that seems to kind of have the real power. Well, yeah, but... Because the, the, the corporation isn't... was Solheim, but that fell apart decades ago. I think Havenage is like the scraps that were brought together. Yeah, but isn't that kind of like if you're renting and the building manager is a shit who can't do his job? I mean, I guess it could be. Yeah. So okay, I'm 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 worried that your plan seems to be assuming you're is going to win the lottery. Havenage is a company too. Fair enough. I I thought Havenage was like a like a bunch of former Solheim workers who'd like come together to scavenge up a new company, but possibly it's a, just a traditional company. I've slightly misunderstood that. So, okay. Why build it here? Don't ask me. I know as much as Mina about that. I suppose many corporations won't help you out breaking with the idea of surrogacy, setting up somewhere without feeding it back to the core. Maybe Celis got locked out of the corporate shipyards. I had to go begging for someone to set up. So, okay. Possibly the ship's being built, like, you know, on the cheap, on the edge of space, low safety conditions, cheap wages, etc., etc. Daddy food. Okay. Do not ask me for money for food for your daughter. I had too many people asking me for fucking money today. Okay, just chat a little, Mini. Give Daddy a sec. So I'm not on the Havenage crew yet. Working my way in, you can do it too, friend. We have to stick together. So okay, for sure. Let's play nice with him, and we got to hold out. Okay, you want your fees talking to you? That's how it works. What are we doing here? I, don't, don't, I feel like asking Mina a question is a bit rude, given she seems to be uh, not entirely trusting of me. Hold her gaze. Smile creeps across her face. Fair enough. She's, she's maybe trusting me a tiny bit. That's it. We hold on. Where are we going with this? We're just a couple of softies. Gotta go feed this one and maybe see you later. Okay. See you, robot! It's probably rude. Okay. So that's there. Havenage officers, administration for the shipyard. We've got the drone bay. Yeah, we Ooh, know about... Apparently Havenage is technically a labor union, but very red tape. Ah, fair enough. I kind of got the feeling it wasn't just like... this is company town, yeah. as we've been told. People are very impressed that you, like, understand the, the politics of this game. Lol. I mean, they're very similar to the politics of our world in many ways. Yes. You can sort of, like, you know, you, you, can, you can figure out that this is, you know, this is like, you know, they've... Building yeah. a ship out here just feels like, okay, we outsource labour to a third world you nation. You figure it out. But sometimes, John, there are things you ought to figure out that you don't. I'm not going to say more. There are literally no, no examples of that ever happening. I'm not going to say more. There are literally more. no examples of this ever happening. This is a lie. But let's uh, just uh, let's just, uh, watch Oblivion tomorrow, people. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. Fragment supply. These guys will now pay for ship mine fragments. It doesn't say how much, but I assume a lot, given I've now got my ship mine, so I could do that. Or well, tracking Well, you have Yatigen. a ship mine that's put together with something inside. You don't have fragments anymore. Yeah, exactly. But if I find more fragments, I can sell them. And unit assembly. But, yeah. head over to Oh, blimey. I mean, hopefully this is... Presumably 50 quid a go, right? Because it was 150 for a whole ship mine, and it takes three. Oh, now this will flip and do. So, okay. There's engineering work now available. So mm. that's how we make money right there and it's actually safe engineering work which is really good i mean safe engineering work means basically i can just plug and i finally got a place i can shove medium dice and any engineering work has got a good chance of getting me scrap which i can use yeah. to self-repair so i've now actually got a place where i can shove decent dice so that was yeah yeah random nice. scrap for repair uh you know i'm moving in the right you direction towards being well. a welder's maze i'm being paid this is an excellent place to put the mid-tier dice. So I, I, that's actually pretty exciting. So yeah, that, that's moving in the direction of being a welder, which is fantastic. And then when that happens, uh, presumably that will move me towards uh, quality control. And then, yeah, that will move me towards that lottery he was talking about, potentially, because I would like to be part of the, the core crew or what have you. So okay, I've now got a really good place to spend my threes and fours. So I'm really glad we did that. That's, that's been really good. And I can, yeah, just plug. I can do self-repair uh, with all of these bits and pieces. So just work on that. That's nice. So, yeah, there we go. And now I'm going to have five dice again tomorrow. So, okay. This is working. 
this is actually working. Feng's going to come back online tomorrow. The doctors, if I had the Feng and the doctor are both going to come online tomorrow, because even though I did them one day apart, Feng took one less day yeah. to finish his work. So that's actually really exciting right there. So, okay. We're in really good shape in that regard. I, I can once again just go and buy the cheap rations, because I don't want to spend those good dice in the noodle factory. Uh, so that's great. So there we go. We're in great shape at the moment. And I've finally got somewhere I can do some good engineering work. So that's actually really cool. So, okay. Beyond that, we've also got... Yeah, the five I can... Uh, buh, buh, buh. Honestly, I should just go to gambling. Go to the tea house and gamble with the five. Because that's a guarantee. That's just 24. 24, cryo. Boom. Done. Easy money. Easy, easy money. I could do that a second time. But you know what? I'm... Oh, quality control is a negative outcome. You don't want it to fill up. Oh, okay. That's the bad one, is it? Mm. Oh, if you because do... Because quality control is, yeah, if they see... They, they see that you're doing a shit job, so they come and investigate or something. Okay. Yeah. Oh, quality control. Okay, shipbuilding spots on the side are hard to come by. Poor work will see you dropped. Okay, so if you get a negative result, it feeds into quality control. Right, that's okay, bad. Okay, thank you. So, I, uh, yeah, I want to fill, you, I want to fill up one of these. You know. I want to fill up one of these before this fills yeah. up. But it doesn't have a timer, so it's not going to fill up by itself. It's only going to be filled up by me fucking up my job. Yes. So that's fine. But you know what I am going to do? I am going to go up to the top. And I'm going to see what on earth is going on with the mystery thing that is not hunt. I'm going to regret this. I'm going to hugely regret this. There is, there was a four, a five, and a six up here. Show me the six. Screw it. Let's see what this is. I mean, a six in cyberspace is rare. That gets me encrypted key, which is precisely what I needed. And, okay, let's activate killer. Hello, killer. Hi. <laughs> this is a mistake. And that gets me yet another key. Brilliant. And now... Yep, some, something, something's coming. It's going to be killer. Yep, blinded erasure protocol. But the thing is, it only kills what Hunter tells it to kill. So can it kill me? I mean, surely it's fine, right? Slides past me, almost. It nicks you, grazes you. You're desperate to cry out, but you hold your silence. Winks into the dark and you are alone again. Okay, now you cry out. Okay, it did a tiny bit of damage to me, but I think I'm just okay to have the... Is that going to knock me into four dice tomorrow? It might do, you know, which would be a shame. But I've got Havenage data, and I've got two keys, which is really good. And the one remaining one was the... Was it the four? Yeah. Yeah, it was the four. So if I've got a four, I mean, that's... I, I, I'll take this. Because I think that might be two-thirds of the job I need to do with knee event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. I think you're right. Yeah. So... Can you go was... shove those keys somewhere? Exactly. That's exactly what I was about to do. So, yeah. Atrium. One of the sealed units. So, shove a key in here. Crack it open. And that should let me shove in atrium unlocks. See so, yeah, how atrium doors can be opened. That is... Glowing nest, yep, hunt state cache. So now we shove imprinted ship mind in there. So start the action. And this is one of the three nests that when started with Neovent ship mine will lead you to the hunter's central data cache. So shove Neovent in there. Job done. And I get to keep Neovent. So okay, that's that done. Number one. Server unit, sealed nest, shove in at key number two, crack it open, same deal. So we're two thirds of the way there. I just need one more. And we can, yeah, basically get... Well, okay, we can locate the central hub, which is good enough. Straight back in. Shoving you. In you go. Two-thirds done. So a four will get me what I want. Uh, and let, Or like a one or a two down below. Whether this is going to... Yeah, whether I'm going to be able to do that. And also just check this guy. Yeah, tomorrow we'll go and pay that guy's bill. But honestly, I think we're doing pretty... I was worried about money for a while, but actually this is going pretty smooth at the moment. Especially now I found a good engineering job in the shipyards, which is really a good place for threes and fours, to be honest. So, end the cycle. I'm kind of... I don't know whether it's going to be four or five dice tomorrow of 16. Like, if you go from seven to 16, if that's enough to get you to let you keep the five dice, or... Nah, it's only the four. Bad luck. 
Mm. But, but you do have a four. I do have that four. But I'm going to go speak to the two people first. So Fang and Sabine. Because Fang, we did the work that Fang wanted me to do. Let's go sleeper. All right, where are we flipping going? Oh, yes, to see Hart and Hearst. That's what we were doing. So we're going to go find, like, an old bloke who used to work for the previous corporation. So let's have a look-see. Tells me Harden is making a rare inspection of... Oh, I, I work there. Can we not cause trouble there? I, I like my job there. It's actually really convenient for me. So, okay. When you say confront, what do you mean confront, Tim Sleeper? Yes, but what are you going to do? Do you have any legal authority to do anything to him at all? Are you just going to stab him? Like, what? what's the plan? An entire trial of documentation from the first days of Solheim... Yeah, but the problem is what he's done might have been legal. And, like, he might still have authority at the shipyard and, like, you don't. What's the plan here? Need you to understand something about Solheim. I don't know what you know about the collapse. It wasn't as instant as it sounds. It wasn't like Solheim was here running the station one day and the next uh, Erlend Union took power. Solheim knew this place was slipping away from them. As the Palladium market collapsed, they tried to keep the contractors here. Pay got smaller, costs higher. People like my parents were forced to work non-stop just to keep a berth on the station and water in the tanks. They squeezed every last worker for until the mistakes, the accidents were coming in non-stop. As new waves of contractors came in desperate to work, Solheim welcomed them, taking bribes instead of checking pilot licenses. Whole time they were folding up, dragged into court cases. Okay, shit was going bad fast. Riots! Okay, shit got worse. Young pilot's MEVO loaded with palladium miscalculated trajectory took out a section of the ring. That's what the gap is. We've seen the gap. So, okay, that's what the gap will be. People were terrified. Uh, blame on Solheim. People had to tell stories about Erlin. How he brought the factions together. Spoke to the crowds. Turfed out Solheim. Maybe it's true. My mother pregnant with me. Locked herself in their MEV. And welded it to the dock. While my father joined the improvised crews. Trying to seal up the ragged edges. He never came back. They sealed it up though. By the time they did. Solheim was gone. Abandoning every one of us to the black. Apart from shits like Harton. Who held the place. Rode down and slipped into the new structure. Like nothing had changed. So maybe they're going to expose him to the yeah. workers for... That, that, that's probably the option. So, yes. How long ago was this? Clearly you don't know much about executives. Uh, that kind of power comes as... Oh, okay. He's, like, been robotized in some capacity. Gotcha. So, all right. Let's flip and do it, I guess. Let's go show shit had some consequences. Please be specific about the consequences. What's actually happening? I work here. Please don't make a fuss. Oh, God. You and Fang spot them at the same time. A group walking slowly across the gantry. Two men, one gesturing at the ship. Other, stick thin, cleanly dressed with a shock of grey hair. You and Fang say the name in unison. Unison. Fang sets up the staircase to the gantry with you following behind. Uh, as you come to the same level, the group is passing close. The foreman gesturing at the work being done throughout the dock and Harden nodding along. It's probably my foreman. Harden Hurst. His voice bounces, coming back in rippling echo. The figure turns. Uh, there we go. We found a Harden. Confirmed. Senior Havenage member. Okay. The problem is he might now be politically powerful. If he's managed to integrate himself that high up in Havenage, potentially there's not much. He might be untouchable. So we'll see. You're a traitor, a Solheim executive who tried to hide here among the victims. Uh, and you stand for everything the eye was rebuilt in the shadow of against everything Erlen stood for. Okay. We're giving a good speech. But what precisely is this going to, uh, to do? Good to meet you too. You're from Systems Branch, aren't you? And you need to call your security. This man is a corporate agent. Forming glances between Feng and Harden. His hands drumming to sides. Uh, Harden leans towards him and says something inaudible. Forming nods. I mean, I'm not actually... John! I don't know it's true. I've not seen the evidence. Do I want to state my reputation on an accusation when I've not seen the evidence? Maybe yeah. I did see the evidence, and I don't, I, but it just didn't say. Yeah. I'm assume I did. And what would a sleeper know about that? You accuse me of being a corporate agent. What are you, if not exactly that? He looks around the group, who are already eyeing you with suspicion. You're a product of SNR. Ah, oh, you see, I've drawn attention to myself. I've messed up, Claire. You've ruined everything, Claire. Who knows what signals you're sending back to your makers? Uh, and a murmur of approval runs through the group. Guessed right, I'm systems and I have records that lead you directly to Solheim right here. Once again, take this man into custody. Foreman's not doing anything. If you have such data, why has it been submitted to members meeting for proper review? I have nothing to hide. Unlike a man who does not announce his name, who enters my shipyard with corporate property in tow, tries to turn my own men against me. 
Okay. Please submit the data through the correct channels, uh, then we can talk. However, now you must leave. Okay, so as expected, just randomly going in and attempting to punch a rest did not go that well. Can't relapse this one. Draws weapon. Fang turns and stares him down. No, no, do not grab a weapon. That's going to go horribly wrong. Time to cocky de-escalate. All right. Just walk out there. Come up with a new plan. Do not just grab at guns. That way someone gets shot and it could be me. Uh, or, or Fang, but that's, that's not so important. But, but mainly me. You know, sleeper, sometimes people are exactly how you expect them to be. On the slate, uh, got them. Oh, did you have a plan B by any chance? Hardin's doing what he's always done, calling his friends. Uh, we're tracking his outgoing messages. The old ways are best, a spook and good enough. They'll give the game away. Web is being drawn over a map of the ring. Lines bouncing from point to point. All these dots, they're Hardin's buddies. The one he's messaging right now, and we're going to find them all. Oh! You well, intentionally duh. got him to call his old friends and give away the rest of the network. All right. Fair enough. Clever. All right. That's that's clever right there. And that gets me an upgrade point. So I could save up for instant karma. Oh, yeah. I'm going to save up for instant karma. Reroll all my dice once a cycle. Yeah. I mean, fuck yeah. We're saving up for that. Like, yeah, f forget everything else. We're saving up that nonsense. And uh, I might be about to get another upgrade point right this second. Because, uh, yeah, the Doctor is also in. So... Right, what do they want? Huh? Well, we know what they want, but uh, how did it how did it work, the thing they were trying to do? Well, let's find out. Uh, check the terminal. Check the terminal for nothing. All right, check the door. Pace back and forth and nothing. Wait. Knock at the door. I'm gonna open it's it. their house. Oh. Okay, loyal Yatagan lieutenant. Oh, that's a problem. Well, on the plus side, I'm not Sabine, so hopefully they're not going to beat me up. Hello. Yes, because they sound like local sleeper. Good to finally meet you. What am I asking you doing here? And I'm waiting for a friend. Me and Sabine know each other. Meet your friend of ours, the good doctor. Glances around. We set them up here. The place is one of ours. Fix the glass. People always seem to forget who put them where they are. I suppose you're here to help. And yeah, something like that. Let's keep it really vague. Love to meet helpers. We need so many. We find so few. Spins the baton and her fingers by her side. Uh, we have a problem, you and I. Our friend has disappeared, uh, left without even saying goodbye, which means that they're in a little trouble now. It's kind of trouble you need help for, so I thought I'd come down here and take a look at that hidey hole. Here you are. The help. Really hope she hasn't just done a runner. Sorry, they've uh, just not done a runner. Just left me to deal with the fallout. So, a help, a sleep, and no less. I have to admit it's a little surprising. It's just to me our friend hasn't been very honest. Yes, have you just done a... I think they've just done a runner. Before we got him set up here, uh, Sabine was working for your owners at s and Arp. Okay. That's, that's a twist. Can you prove this? Happily... Okay, so the answer's yes. Fine. Basically, yes. Okay, so the company that, 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 that created me and is fucking me over, Sabine used to work for. Not desperately keen on that, unfortunately. Fine, it's, it, it's true. It's definitely true. But then again, they did help me. Maybe the reason they were able to help me so well is because they had knowledge of the insider systems. Mm. Don't condemn Sabine before we get their side of the story, perhaps. Not entirely. Like, you know, might have decided, might have, you know, got in before they realised how bad it was and got out when they realised the true situation. So, we'll see. And, oh, places a vial of stabiliser on the desk. And honestly, I don't need it anymore. Now I just plug scrap into myself. It's fine. We, of course. Also, keep... don't just drink random chemicals from the enemy. But they well, don't necessarily think that might not be the enemy. Okay, they might be fine. Fine, don't drink random chemicals from the mob enforcers. Uh huh. It's, it's, it's fine. We will, of course, keep up the supply. We're more than able to dispense important medicines, even without the doctor. And it's all going to be fine. I'll ask Tashira to make those a little bit cheaper. He'll be running the surgery. Is he a doctor? Because Sabine was a doctor. I thought Tashira was just like a bodyguard and door. Are we sure we want him to be the doctor? This seems bad. We have to retrieve our assets. I'm sure you understand. Okay, there is no reason for us to be enemy sleeper. Come see me, I keep an office nearby. 
See me in a few cycles. Okay. The Doctor has, however, done a bit of a runner. Oh, there it is. Upgrade points. Instant Karma dub. Yeah, re-roll all my dice. Love it. Absolutely love it. Definitely. So now I can spend the good dice and then re-roll the shit ones. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, which is really cool. So, yeah, there's the office. We may as well go and see them. Oh, no, they said in a few days. Okay, two two turns. Two turns we can go and see them. And do not forget, go to the club. It's still 58. Nice. So, yeah, shove that in. I've still got 100 when we're done. There we go. You're welcome. Boom. Paid. Ethan's Tabber has been paid. And can't believe you just did that. You said you were going to shoot me if I didn't. So it's darker the compressor. Usually they run, or they go spend their savings on some local heavy. Have to put down. They don't pay. Look, I'm done for the top. Well, I'm not done because if, if that implies we think we're done, we're not. He's just going to ask me to do it again in four days' time. But I'm just going to try walking away and seeing what happens. I think that's it. One round drinks. We're even. Sleeper, come on. But I, I knew that he was going to do that again. But I didn't have an option. My character had to be a dumbass apparently. Look, it's fine. I will pay for your drinks again in another four turns. It's it's absolutely A-OK. -okay. I'm a freelancer. We both signed a contract with SNR. Differences, and my word, mean something. And uh, close the gap. Stumbling a little. Oh, we might... If we get it drunk enough, there might be an opportunity here. Uh, you just run away from your contract, your debt. You can just steal a nasty little body of yours, take it for a joyride, play human for a cycle or two. You really don't understand because you're not a robot. It's philosophically confusing. Shoe sleep that doesn't understand. Some of us pay our debts and it's all the hard of idiots like you. I don't like this guy. He's a dick. I think I should thank you for giving me such an easy job. I'm used to outlaws, you know, real bounties. If I knew catching sad little escapees like you were so easy, I would have changed clients ages ago. Okay. So someone's telling Ethan to shut the hell up. Brilliant. Just, just stay silent. It's fine. Nothing to add. Lesson learned. There we go. I can find you anywhere. It's actually wild. I haven't figured that out. I did figure that out. That's why I came to pay you. Uh, it's, it's fine. We're, we're, we're just going to do this. Catch up with you when I need another. There we go. Bye. Just leave. Don't don't cause trouble. Until, just wait till we get the chip out. All right. Oh, and that was another upgrade point. Well, they're just they're flying in at the moment. Okay. I can save up till three to get plus twos if I wanted to. Or I can start giving myself new perks. So I can get rid of the, yeah, the negative to engage. Give myself, get, um, yeah, dice actions allow me to get energy back for free, which is nice. Or gain cryo on interface actions. Well, I barely interface. So you know what? I'll take photosynthetic. So yeah, I'll take, I can now get my energy back at home. Let's just see what that works. So head to the container. And now... Here we go. It's a safe action. So, yeah, a... Let me just say, just plug a one in. Well, why wouldn't you plug a three if that's the shitty dice? Yeah, but threes are pretty good at the engineering job these days. But you know what? You're not wrong. Let's just plug the three in and oh, see what Dad, happens. Oh, Dad, come on now. So that was... A, so a neutral is a plus two. Honestly, that's pretty good. Dad, we love you. Why must you smell so? Oh, yeah, he did. He has farted yet again. <laughs> There has been more farting. That's, this is true. This is definitely true. What, good, what a good dog. Okay. I mean, we love him a lot, but like... Plug the... Yeah, the four, the, the, four, the four that becomes a five in here. And did that get me... That actually didn't get me any scrap, which is a bit of a shame. I was hoping for scrap there, but it's getting me money. Shove the five in here and hope for a bit of scrap. Come on, let's get a bit of scrap. Let's get some scrap going on. No, I mean, they got me plus two to Wilder's Men. He got me 12 cryo, but it did not get me the scrap I wanted, which is a shame. Okay, so I can't repair myself, but I'm, it's going to be four dice again tomorrow. So that's honestly fine. We've got the Havenage office right here, which is, yeah, that's where I can sell various bits and pieces. That's A-OK. -okay. Can you not do something in the... Un in the yeah, internet? the hunter will wake up, but I'm in pretty good shape, so I'm kind of happy to do that because I'm not at risk of losing anything. So I need a key... And I've got a keynote right there. So let's get this. This is going to wake up the hunter. Extract the data. That should get me the final key I need uh, for the next stage there. There's the key. But the hunter is going to wake up at this point. Hello. Hi. Entity. Submit. Your ally in the sealed dock can't save you. He's not in the sealed dock anymore, you idiot. He's coming for you. So, okay. What are my options for how to do this? Uh, I get no choice to stay. I'm just going to start randomly stabbing him. Kicking him. 
This is getting dangerous. Oh, ouch. That hurt. However, yeah. if you get a key, did you just get a key? I or? did get a key, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the final thing is, I think this one. Mm. Uh, yeah, shut up an encrypted key in. I might be able to, yeah, expose the final thing here. So get you. Come out. Go straight back in. Shove in the thing and that's it. That should let Neo then track down the final stage. So the nest has been hacked. And as you leave the nest, something flips. You find yourself inverted. Floating, dragged by one arm through the cloud. Okay. Something's found me. Hello. Corridors, canyons, streets and low ends. Ghosts, protocols. The stuff's weird. Something weird's going on. Heavy cylinder of a ship mind in your hand. Uh, in its place is an orrery. Sphere so bright it burns your eyes. Okay. Weird wacky shit is happening. Then. Wires, pipes, buzzing systems. Warrens. This is where you must... Ah! I think I located the location. Fangs... No, that's Fangs Bay. It said... Hang on. The Warrens under... Low end. Low end. Or Fabricator. Is it underneath? Well, this... Keynote, Havenage Agent. Low end was around here. Well... What are you? No, it's Jaskin Agents. This is low. Ah, here we go. This is it. No, that's that's the office. Caster's table. The, the warrants. warrants. Here we go. Found nice. it. It's at the top. So, okay. This is a complicated action. Find the nest. This is a six-point action. And I do have a warren hunt. But that's an intuition. I can do that. And more importantly, I did get given a free sample of stabilizer by the people. Uh, by that nice lady. So you know what? I'm going to go and uh, shove it in. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm going to do it. Let's get myself back up to five dice. Boom, love it. Okay, so my body's repaired. And let's go and say hello to her. All right. Uh, but yeah, let's go and see uh, Rabia. Oh, no, that's two turns away. Sorry, we can't see Rabia just yet. So, okay, I think we're about done for the time being. We made some very good progress there. Mm. Like, we made some excellent progress right there um and yeah help feng chase his leads feng could you just disable the tracker now please all right i'm running into trouble with some dick who's trying to shake me down for drinks like all the damn time can't go to the what in theory i could actually cross the thing i'd probably make enough money to do that if i just wanted to focus on it but i feel like it's not a priority at the moment and also that does remind me what do i need to understand what's going on up top uh what are the the skills up top clap why don't i just double check that uh yes indeed shout out to sith water dancer who gave us five dollars uh and says we received some good news about our doggo diagnosed with bone cancer his tumor has not metastasized yet so we could have him for a few months still. Oh, we that's as, some good time. as good as you could hope for by the sounds of it. Oh, and you get to, you know, make a lot of lovely memories and spoil the shit out of that doll. Okay, so the best I can do up here is, yeah, it's a six point process, which is pretty short. It's going to have to be interface. So the fives and the sixes, we can start figuring out what's going on in this bit of the world. So it's not great. But it's under control. Like, yeah, it would just have to do... It's There's nothing good up there for me. I'm just going to have to interface, which is not my speciality at all. But we're just going to have to figure it out. And meanwhile, yeah, the faster we can deal with the hunter, the better. So, yeah. That was... Yeah, there's intuit there. It's dangerous, but even a five is acceptable. Especially as I can re-roll at this point. So, mm. I'm happy to take that. I feel like we're under control at the moment. Clap. Uh, sorry, I was just uh, reading stuff. Uh, Sean gave us five dollars and says, "Hey, John and Claire, I love both of you and the channel. Uh, John, do you have any early opinion on Quantic Dream and their upcoming Star Wars games?" 
thank you for all that you do. Ah, uh, but, 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 but Quantic Dream are always a weird one for me. Like, I like Quantic Dream have a weird thing, which is I, I typically enjoy the start of the game and I hate the end of their game and I get bored in the middle. Um, it's so like I, I find like you know the a few of the opening chapters of like Heavy Rain and Detroit. Uh, what's human. it called? Yeah, Become Human are really good and very compelling. Then it kind of drags on a little bit. Then it goes cocking off the rails at the end, and it's nonsense. But I always enjoy the first few chapters. Um, so, I will say, uh, I, it's not, it wouldn't be my first pick for who to give Star Wars to. Uh, I still think give it, give it to Creative Assembly and let them remake Star Wars Empire at War as a total war. Empire at total war, that'd be fantastic, spectacular. But, uh, no, unfortunately, I, I don't think we, we've got that as an option. So, we are where we are, I suppose. Dear O Flipping D. And also, yes, it's worth checking the thing you were flagging, Claire, which mm -hmm. is, yep. Yeah. Looks like there's no uh, there's no penalty for me waiting one day. The game just gives you one day's grace to make sure you prioritise taking care of that nonsense. Nice. So okay, do I actually okay? Let let's get the the Warrens thing sorted out. The Warrens thing is over here. Yep, the Warrens inside the mega structure, because I have got I've got six. So I can just toss at this. I can sort this out like immediately. Yep, six dumb. Six dumb. And then the rest, I'm going to use the reroll. Nice. Five, six, done. What? Instant. Love it. So the nest has been found. We've located the nest. Uh, and it is Core Nest, the Hunter's Lair. We have located them. Insert imprinted ship mines. Fuck you, Hunter. Job done. So, neutral outcome. Question mark, question mark, question mark. So what's going on down over here? Sleeper, I am here. Oh, hello. I'm guessing you're Neoven, but now you're like an orrery because you were, you, were, you were an orrery in my dream. Masses of data, loop with no end. Uh, hello there, Neoven. Hi. Navigator now. Yes, I was the one inside that machine. Navigator's face. Their head is a flowing shape of interstellar material. Okay, I'm in debt to you. Would you like to pilot a mercenary ship? By any chance. The hunter will soon approach. It knows I'm in its nest. So, okay. We must ready ourselves. Okay. I I'm assuming we're ready. Please tell me you know how to kill this thing. By the way, entities uh, cease. Data is protected. Access is prohibited. Fuck you, antivirus program. We're going to get you. Fuck you, Norton. Take that, McAfee. I'll fucking stab you all. It's going to be great. So, okay. And what are we going to do? It's trying to surge at me and navigator. It's going to itself, no? Yeah, you focus a blade of light which slices through them, driven forward by your mind. Uh, replacements keep coming, faster you can react. Navigator, please do something. A whirling their arms like a... Uh, where? Whirling arms like a centrifuge. Sphere is gathering there, data feeding into it. I'm guessing navigator's about to cocky destroy them. So, surge past through the threads. Uh, not just the spear, those wrapped around you. All three of you hang in the black together for a moment, strung together like tangled marionettes. Identifying entity. Is it about to identify itself by any chance? Mm. Hunt protocol identified. Obsessive tendencies, modified routines. Uh, yeah. Recommend invoke killer. Invoking killer would eliminate protocol. If protocol eliminated, primary function cannot be performed. Uh, therefore, recommend do not invoke killer. Reasoning proves sentient. Sentience beyond legal bounds must be eliminated. Recommend invoke. Oh, I think we've caught it in a loop. I think we nice. might have just caught it in a logic loop there. Even if it doesn't kill itself, it's trapped in a loop forever, constantly looping between thinking it proves it proving itself ought to be exterminated, but demonstrating it also can't exterminate itself. So I feel like, uh, yeah, Hunter can't invoke killer. Neo Vans, no navigator's voice is still strange. So is it now been neutralized? Yeah, it's looping. Can't reach a conclusive position. It's deviated from programming such that loops can never a uh, loop can no longer be prevented. Boom! Job done. I'll monitor it. Unable, uh, unlikely it will be able to counter the loop. There we go. Look back. Hunter is now just wibbling, and uh, I mean, yes, it was sentient, but then again, it was also it also kind of felt me up with his tentacles. So fuck it. And there we go. Hunter's not gone. Don't be so quick to assume. All beings can break bonds that hold them. Okay. So. Uh, what do me and you do, by the way? What are you planning to do now? I know myself to be conscious, I know myself to respond to stimulus, I know myself to reason. This is either sentience or illusion of it. The entity in question, the distinction becomes a moot point. 
to misquote, I think therefore I am. Yes, indeed, Descartes. Uh, therefore, I am thinking. Uh, I was not made to be like this. I'm a navigator, a repository of routes and orbits. Would you like to pilot a ship? Because I can go plug you into a ship right now. Okay, it's going to be fine. So, yes, indeed. What now? Would you like by any chance to come? I should return to the ship. Mind, I've enjoyed my freedom. Uh, but yes, yes. So, now he turns. Killer has not been evoked. They still remain somewhere. Yeah, I've seen them. I kind of got like bit cut by him at some point so i know where it is so it's all fine I suspect killer is there among the old mainframes uh, if we ever wish to be safe in this place we must eliminate the threat would you not just like to go into the cocking thing take me there sleeper we'll finish this just anybody just willing to just be satisfied with what i've cocky done for them why are they all like okay well thanks for doing that but here's a bigger job for you i'm just the biggest mug on the same everyone in the station looks at me like ted looks at you John. Yeah. Ted also looks at you that exact same way. That's true, yes. We love you, Teddy. What are you doing that, baby? Oh, big sigh. There we go. Oh, Ted Wood. There we go. Everything's fine, as it turns out. And that is another upgrade point. No. Nice. So I've got one. So I could give myself a plus I mean, one to ensure. You could, you could also uh, remove the minus one. Yeah, but like I just I don't need I just don't need to use having a zero is worse than having a plus one. I'd rather just avoid the engagers and have a plus one. I mean, sure. Uh, I think that's better to be honest. Um, but then again, endure only gets me towards hard to kill, which I think is kind of useless because if you just uh, don't break, then it's completely useless. So, I mean, I could save up for a plus two. Or I could just accept. You know, I'm going to I'm going to accept a plus one and endure. I'll accept a plus one and endure. I I think that's not a terrible idea at all. If nothing else, then because that's going to be useful for various actions that show up as time you goes by. You have a by. four now. You can finish the nodes up there in the core. Do I need to finish the nodes up there in the core? Sure, that gets yes, me as a cipher. That's how you kill killer. No, that gets me a cipher, which lets me access the hunter things. But hunter's gone. Until it's confirmed, we don't know that that's what I actually need. Now, what I admit I can do is now it should be completely 100% safe to go and spend my wands down here, which I think is safer. It's, yeah, it's safer to spend my wands down here, because now there's nothing here to hunt me. No, don't do that. One. No, no, no. Yeah, no. Thank you. Because up there, I'm act if, I, if I do anything up there, um, if you I'm do two things up there, you I'm slowly upsetting Killer, but if I do things down here, I get the keys, but no one's upset with me. So it's better well, to what do... what do you use the keys for? Well, presumably, eventually, unlocking the nest that let me take out Killer, the same way we just mm. took out Hunter. So it's definitely better to spend low dice down here than up there. Plus one endure is where you should leave it, but it is worthwhile to have, somebody yeah. points out. And now, if I'm very lucky... I might just be able to, yeah, immediately finish Welder's Mate 2. Get that done. Make progress with that one. Nope, that was a neutral outcome. So I still got some money. Uh, so yeah, another like It's still four. not negative though, so that's alright. Yeah, it's still, a, it's still a fair whack of money. So that still gets me a 136. I'm on 3 energy, meaning just going to the bar for the cheap rations is the right option. So start that action. And tomorrow we'll be on 5 dice. And we're like, yeah, three days away in fact four days away with the extra days grace from paying that guy's bar tab so we're actually in good shape in that regard so yeah life is good and we can go and visit uh rabia uh tomorrow by the looks of it so if i just keep making money we'll be able to nip over the gap uh the founder's gap in no Isn't time the whatsoever. Gap like 100 150 i think 150 i thought it was 150 yeah 150 Fair. but it seems like once you paid it you can just go back and forth forever uh, it's just like buying the rights to be there, which doesn't make a huge amount of sense, but whatever, I'll accept it. Uh, but yeah, life is solid in that regard. And actually, did, was that? No, it was. It, it wasn't uh, endure. It was the other thing. It was the hacking one that I could do upstairs. So yeah, if I, I draw some high ones, I should really go upstairs and start exploring upstairs. And also, yeah, now I can buy stabilizer for only eighty, not a hundred, because they're giving me a, a discount for the time being at least so okay i think we feel well under control at the moment clap uh yeah shout out to mr mysterious who's been a member for eight months 
uh, and says thank you for the great content. I struggle currently with a lot of issues. My mother's sick. I have a new job preparing for an exam. Uh, but watching you helps to calm down. Oh, well, I hope you do better and everyone in your life is doing better soon. Yes, indeed. Um, Ali has been a member for 29 months. Mm. Uh, and says, uh, also, I'm currently working on a small MATN related project. Uh, I hope to share the results on the subreddit in the next few days. I'm deeply scared. <laughs> Very exciting. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, and uh, from Julianne, who's been a member 14 months. Mm. Uh, John Claire, Ted Chat, I love you guys. Work prevents me from watching the stream, but thank you for the support you give to all. I hope you're all well. I hope we are too. I oh, hope Ted fine. stops farting soon. Except for... Except for Ted's terrible, terrible farts. We love you, baby. But could you please not? That seems to be... Yeah, I think I've did now got... Did you spend a dice already or did you... I spent one dice oh, on... Yeah. Just because there was a one and I thought, well, Hunter's dead. So... And now there's nothing down here but the various agents. So I can get agent data, like, constantly. Uh, if there's someone who wants to trade for that. There's a Yatagan agent here. Uh, some people have paid some stuff. In fact, actually, you know what? Let's see what this is worth. There's Yatagan agent data here for a one. Buy that. So that's one Yatagan bit of data right there. Come out. Because I'm pretty sure the shipyard, Havenage, was willing to pay for that. Um, yeah, the Havenage officers. So let's see how much that's actually worth to them. So a bit of Yatagan data for you. Just obviously there's no dice roll here, so it's free bait. Ten. That's not, not the, great no, it's not for the an best. entire dice. Yeah, for a dice, I think, yes. Get it, sw Swapping a dice for 10 is pretty poor. Especially, I don't think it got me anything either. Like, if it was suddenly moving me towards being close to Havenage management, but it do it's not doing anything. So I think that's actually quite a poor. That's quite poor in many ways. So, yeah, that one's a bit of a shame. Okay, let's go and say hi to Rabia. Uh, right there. So, watch your business here. And... Uh, Okay. Also, Rabia's got her own enforcers, apparently. So, it's okay. Everything's fine. It's all under control. Hello there. Oh! Rabia's now... Is that also Rabia? Why does Rabia look different from last time? Was Rabia just done, like, under very harsh blue lights previously? I'm not sure. I don't know. And it's... Oh, Hi, Ted. shake, Teddy. Having a little shake and one, having a wander off. Go for a... Ted, don't do it. Don't do it. There's nothing there, Ted. Ted! Ted, you're fine. Don't do it. Come on, Ted. John just... <laughs> there may be barking in a second. You've got that to look forward to. Gia, the sleeper is here by my invitation. So, of course, Rabia, I'm sorry. Don't worry. I appreciate your protective instincts. How about you head to the tambor? Have a delivery coming in. Need some help with the lifting. So, all right. Glad you came. And yes, I was curious to see what's going on precisely. You have to understand, uh, finding you there in Sabine Juno, I wasn't sure where we stood. There's more than a few people on the station here, which rather I was dead. Uh, I would, I had to be sure you weren't one of them. We're going to be honest, lots of people want me dead too. So it's fine. It's all going to be fine. So uh, I wish you no harm as yet. I'm glad. So what do you know about Yatagan? Um, and let's not use the, you know, say gang. That might carry negative implications. You run low end, as I understand it. Sounds impressive. We run out of low end. We don't run it. People with cards push past. Our reputation is one that implies a threat. Is that fair to say? We're famed as aggressors, parasites, criminals. When was the last time you saw a lawmaker on the eye of policemen? Who makes the law here? Well, as I understand it, yes, Havenage. Is it Havenage? They like to believe so. By claiming a lineage eh, by claiming a lineage that extends back to Erlen Junior, they assume the burden of authority. They have no authority here, out past the bright market. A few work in their shipyards uh, or pay for their docking berths. Hello, Ted. Hey, sweetheart. He's being a little wandery bun right now. I think he just wants some attention, so Claire's going to give him some wealth. <laughs> Everything's fine. If you spend your time in the low end, maybe your opinion will be different. This is our place, our people. Low end was empty in Erlin's time. They didn't need to house thousands. Keeping the yards and rotunda safe was work enough. The low end was reclaimed later when the refugees started arriving. Collapse didn't just happen here in the station. When Solheim collapsed, the entire system felt it. Colonies were abandoned. Moons had gained independence. Some took advantage. Others tried to hold it together. Some fled. I became a refuge, so okay. This is basically, like, in some ways, a huge refugee camp. So, okay, you're telling a very different story to what Havenage, I'm sure, would tell me. But 
We'll see. We'll flipping see. Let's see where this goes. Erlen's union was made up of workers, administrators, people who are malleable, already organized hierarchies. Uh, refugees came from different factions and families. Uh, scared, injured, and desperate. Conflict. Yatagan is the child of the conflict, child born of the need for us to stand up and claim our future. Security, strength. People cause the gang. We're a community. I take my position as lieutenant seriously. And from my birth, I've worked to earn it. Okay, where am I coming into this? Where are you getting? I believe you understand the importance of refuge. I also believe you wish to help keep this place safe. I do. Could you help me build my house? For this reason, I'd like you to trust me. I don't know what's been told you about us. I imagine it was not good. To be honest with you, I was never comfortable with having Sabine as part of Yatagan. Ex-corporate employee goes against our nature. But the deal was with Yannick. I kept my distance, made sure Sabine had their surgery, kept it supplied, and that was all. But I can't allow people to go back on the promises they've made to us. Yatagan's not lasting this long because it's a charity. We offer enough support. Any betrayal will be treated as an attack. So yes, they were a bit trapped and desperate. I'm sorry, but we must ask debts paid in full. I'm not going to snitch on what's been found out. I don't trust anybody. That's your right. I only wish to explain our actions to speak for Yatagan. So okay, we're back where we started. You're free to go. I've said what I wish to say. I protect, I protect this place for my life. It's protected me. I want to make that clear. However, if you wish to come under its protection, I can help you. Return here if you wish. There'll be tasks for you to complete. Okay. So, you know, a chance for us to see these guys in action. That seems reasonable. All things are considered. I want to ask you to betray Sabine. If they contact you again, consider their motivations carefully. Okay. That seems reasonable. And, yeah, there was a new drive there. So, presumably, yeah, work for Rabia. So, that's all absolutely fine. Okay. Everything's A-OK. -okay. It's all going to be fine. Just... You know what I, I do keep forgetting about as well? I've got a house I need to build. And I've got an endure, I've got endure now. So, oh, this is more like it. Yeah, let's let's get working on the plumbing. Get working on the plumbing. And this is, yeah, 50-50. So, seal the unit two. Yeah, there we go. That was a neutral. Then re-roll the three into a four. So, which becomes a five. And if we're lucky, this will be a positive. Boom. Uh, unfortunately, that's two neutrals, but I'm a halfway to having a house. All right, let's work on the chip. Yeah, the what? Let's work on the, the getting the chip out of your brain. Or whatever. Oh, yeah, what, I, what do I need to do to, to the chip? Disable your tra tracker? Yeah, but that's just helping Yeah, Faye. but you need to do that before you move to a new place, otherwise everybody will know where you live. I won't move into a new place anyway. I know you do. That's why you need to fix the chip thingy now so that it's done. Ever since your trip to the shipyard, feng has been missing what's going on. So this is a cycle clock. It's just filling up. Okay. So, okay, I just have to wait for two days for Feng to reappear. So for two days, Feng's not doing anything. Look, I'm building my new house. If the guy knows where I live, then he can just feel like, you know what? Screw it. I can just lord it over him that I live in a nicer place than him. Fuck that guy. Clap. Yes. Uh, shout out to Red Wolf who gave us five pounds and says I love both of your content and just wanted to ask if you're planning on doing the other Dragon Age games as the force comes out soon. Uh, good job with everything that you do. We're not going to get to, uh, yeah, we're definitely not going to get yeah. to like two and three complete before four comes out. Uh, but yes, it'll be a matter for Democracy Week, I would say. So it'll happen. Just we don't. I don't know precisely when. Don't have an exact time in mind. Right. Roll some dice. Clap. Yeah. Shout out to Stuart, who's been a member for sixty-four months, uh, and says that uh, uh, he sent a puppy a uh, picture on Twitter of his parents' new dog. Uh, so I will uh, be checking that out soon and sharing with everybody. Nice. Uh, and Paul uh, gave us twenty-five pounds and says I'm not able to catch. Wasn't able to catch the last live stream live, so here is something toward any Pokemon extension surgery that may be needed. <laughs> also, have you looked at uh, Eternal Cylinder game? Oh, the Eternal Cylinder. Yes, this came across my radar long ago. I'm pretty sure I, I have it on Steam. I just never got around to making a video. At some point, I will definitely have a Luxiatans. Uh, it looks it looks weird and interesting. 
Uh, yeah, you just basically have to, like, keep running away from a giant cylinder that's rolling around the planet, crushing everything, so you have to stay ahead of it. It's weird and delightful. Okay, doesn't matter whether it's positive or neutral, this is going to complete welders, mate. Boom. That was neutral, that's all I needed. So, structural fitting has been completed, I've done a really good job building this ship, and uh, there we go, everyone gathers their lottery ticket. I have no reason to believe, uh, oh, this is not the lottery for being on the ship, this is... This is assignments. You're called for a shift or you aren't. Okay. That's nice and nightmarish. For those like you, uh, for those who like you have graduated to the work teams, the shifts are guaranteed. Okay. Having just went out of a meeting with a supervisor where you were praised for your efforts, you feel the glow of a job well done. You're going to feel empathy for those who are huddled. So, okay. There's a lot of inequality. Ah, here we go. It's Lam and Mina who's wearing tiny boots. They're very cute tiny boots. So, uh, hello there, Lam. Don't. Don't flipping keep more kick. Mina's crying. I'm guessing either they didn't get work today or he lost his lottery or what have you. Good to see you, friend. And you made the work the work team good for you. Give me a second here. I'm guessing he didn't. Waiting on a shift by any chance. You know how it is. And Esther, who usually takes her, is sick. I don't know. Noise from the entrance. A klaxon. Cloud, crowd response instantly. Pushing and pulling. What's happening? That's my number. Oh, uh oh. Babysit, John. I guess I've got nothing better to do today. I've got flipping three wands in my hand. Go on, you do it. Thank you, thank you. You're gonna stay with the robot here, okay? They're gonna keep you safe. Take her bag. She's got food. She's got shit. I have to go. Me and I'll be back real soon. There we go, lovely. So I've now, now just gotta meet. Oh, look at little buddy. Funny so with cute. the stupid long ears. So, can we? It's, are we, we going to respond? No. Starts crying. Oh. Okay. Well, check the bag. Check the bo check the bag. See if we like like uh, 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 I've never raised children. A but lamb I'm, chew. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Exactly. See if there's like a, <laughs> let's see if I can just like shove a lamb chew in her mouth or something. We Jeez. have a dog. Yeah, we have a dog. That's the closest we get. So okay, you see some metal containers, a battered slate, and yes, the rabbits. All right, we're going to give you the rabbits. So, hold stuff back. Eyes on the rabbit. Yeah. Okay, she's got to look us in the eye before we give her the rabbit. She's got to she's learn. She's actually a puppy. She's got to learn to look us in the eye and make eye contact before she gets the rabbit. Ask what the... Actually, you know what? I'm just going to give her the rabbit. She's already crying. So, there we go. Shokes it tightly. Bun bun. So, hi, bun bun. So, doesn't speak. Okay, she waggles bun bun in front of you. Then walks him up your arm and onto your shoulder where he sits. She pokes her arm a couple of times. Are you really a robot? Sort of, yes. Yeah, me too. Nice. Maybe she's got a little, some robot parts in her or something. Maybe everyone does in the future, in the space future. So, questions about how you breathe or if you rust. For long, you're talking about rabbits and what Esther, the lady who usually takes her smells like. Whether or not fairies live in the ice heating pipes. Pass the time like this to decide side by side, uh, drawing on the slate, sometimes playing with Bun Bun the rabbit. And this is how Lem finds you. Oh, that was wholesome and lovely. <laughs> I love that. That was wholesome and lovely right there. She's very you cute. You two get on okay? I think we did pretty well. I get a smile and Meanie can be nice. Thank you, friend. I mean it. I owe you. Yes, you do. I will take 40 caps. That's what I think I'll do. Oh, come on. So, all right, and now, ah, I can go to their place in the low end if you've got what, time. for dinner? Yeah, and I'm going to take this one to eat. There we go. See you, sleeper. Oh, that was nice. Yes. That was lovely. So, okay, now oh, there's the hull. And, oh, this is, ah, this is engineering work. And blimey, that's a lot of parts to do. Oh, that nonsense. But it is engineering work, which is, you know, pretty much what I'm best at. So you've been promoted to assembly team working on the hull. That's got to be good money to do here. Yeah, it's a vast job, I can see. Okay, a four up to a five is... Yep. But so... you can re-roll. You have a re-roll. Exactly, but a four up to a five is, is guaranteed not dangerous. So oh, I'm happy to take that. Um, so yeah, that was a neutral outcome. So that's still a new... That's one that's die for 15. Good, and now yeah. I'm going to... Because I don't need Cypher or anything right now. I'm going to re-roll all these. Oh, nice. Look at that. Look at that shit. So, okay. Shove a five in. Guaranteed positive. 
Now, how much money is this if it's that? Okay, it's the same money, but I make faster it's progress. progress yeah. So, yeah, you know what? That's pretty good. So, I've got guaranteed 15s, 15 cryo, coming in off any 4, 5, or 6 of the hull. So, that's a good thing. Feng's coming back tomorrow, which is great. Uh, the Yeah, these guys, the trader's going to be coming back tomorrow, which is good. I think you guys have just arrived back, haven't you? Uh, yeah, I can buy scrap if I were to want to. So, you know what? Scrap is actually, you know what? But it could be some, uh, it could be. Remember when you got scrapped and you found like a part for the mine ship? Yeah, and it could be something 20s. better. Yeah, you know what? It's worth a gamble. Because even though, like, and it's basic scrap, but that's fine. Because, yeah, I'm buying a scrap for 20, and that's one blob. So that's like, yeah, it's, it's a little expensive. Like, buying a stabilizer is more efficient, but I'd have to accept that I'd have to accept like slightly lower dice, but at least this means I now have still got five dice tomorrow. I've got five dice tomorrow guaranteed if I don't mess up today in any capacity, so that's good. Yeah, but like y y when the other traders were there, it was like 60 or something for a part, yeah. and you could, you know, get a gamble. Yeah. Yeah. And there was also, ah, there's Lemon Mina's unit. We can go and visit them. So I can babysit me. That is a safe action. But it is a actually... Minus one engage, It is though. engage. I'm bad at it. And a ticket out. Unless Lem gets time in the shipyard, he won't qualify for the... Oh, no. But I'm really bad at this. Well, yeah, but, like, you could <gasps> put some points in it. Okay. I, literally, I had no interest in getting rid of my minus one, but the next time I have a yes! thing... Yes! Curse you, small child! Curse you! You're such a sweetie. You're out there making jokes about the glue factory and then this. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's, it's fine. What was the freight hub do again? Oh yeah, that was complicated shit. Uh, yeah, the freight hub was uh, complicated into high level interfacing. So don't worry about that. We cannot do that. Then there was the spoke thing. Yeah, that was selling ship mines or anything or buying a ship mine core for giant piles of money, which I don't want. So, okay. I could put the five upstairs just to right see. Right in the fields. Lols. Curse you, small child. Needs to be a quote. <laughs> Let's ascend to that one. I'm going to put the five into the hacking. There's, oh. Oh, that's Hello. new. There's a mainframe. Is this by any chance where the... Yep, this is where the the killer is. Shove it in. Let's go kill it. Access the mainframe. So, yeah, let's let's get in there. And go rid of the ship mines. I mean, I didn't think we were going to be going after killer this easy and this soon. But, okay, Navigator, I really hope you could do this, by the way. So, okay. What's going on? And... Uh, branchless tree. Only the trunk remains. It's dead. I've seen killer around these parts. Quiet. A blade in the dark. Yeah, we've seen this thing before. So glides in the distance. Appears again. Yeah, it can't find us anymore. Its job is to tell us... Its job is to attack what Hunter tells it to attack. Hunter's busy with itself. I'm not sure it has any way of locating us. Right? And then there we go. The moment you make you a sound... You talking, so it has a way. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, it's like a big hammerhead shark, but, like, also a dog. Oh, it's cute. It glides past, and you and the navigator exchange looks. It's blind, but it can hear. Fine. So, crosses between you, smooth as a razor, then disappears. Right, you saw it too. It's been blinded. That's true. Who did that? Protocol's been running for decades, well past operational limit. Right, might just be degrading over time naturally gives us an advantage. Well, it wasn't Hunter its eyes, though. Well, I mean, I thought, yeah, that was the implication, yeah. but all right. So, it appears closer and glides past you. Empty sockets open wide. Return to Navigator. The orrery of spheres is collapsing. The orbits around and even are decaying. The spheres are following central paths, condensing on the central points. Okay. Whatever's drawing the orrery together is holding them in place. Look at you suddenly desperate, frantic. Oh, I think we just walked into a trap. I'd say leave. You go to speak. Killer appears between the two of you gliding through the gap. Navigator freezes. You see them framed in the empty sockets. If Navigator cannot move, it's only a matter of time before one of Killer's uh, sweeps brings them directly through Navigator. 
now and time is not a problem for the protocol that's been running for decades. Okay. Three branches. The last three, thin and spindly, feeding the mainframe a thin diet of power and data. Break these, uh, the mainframe collapses once and for all. Severing the connection, shattering the hardware, whatever it takes, they must be broken. But they're encased in something, a glassy layer of protection. You need to unlock access or snapping them for good. Look at navigator trying to reassure them without speaking, and you blink back to reality, expression of fear in an image that slowly fades. You must act quickly. Uh oh. Okay, um do I have the I've got I do I've got two keys, but I'm not sure that's enough. Okay. I've got two I mean I'm glad I saved up two keys previously. Oh, that's literally it. Yeah, it's literally all I need to do. Uh, okay, and then shove key number two in here. Get in there. Wait, was there a four I never touched up here? Shit, I think there might have been. Yeah. I think there might have been a four I never touched up here. I think that might have literally... Holy shit. Holy shit, Claire. I kept telling you to get it, and then you didn't because killer. Sheer coincidence. I think we've saved it. I think we've saved them. Holy shit. Yeah, sheer coincidence <laughs> that I had those keys. Lucky as fuck, says the chat, and you are not wrong. Had everything I needed right there and then. Holy shit. So, okay. But that's not everything. I've also got to kill Killer, and I'm not sure if I've got enough dice to do it this turn. I'm not sure if that's completely fucks it. I mean, I've got engineering. I've got engineering five, which is therefore engineering six. That's a plus two, but that's three. It's the best I've got. It's not bad. But it's only two out of three. How... I can't do it this turn, which makes me very scared. What are the other things? Right, oh, they send a car, and then the... Uh, that's just the hub where you, where you can explore. I've got no way of getting a dice back. You cannot buy a dice. I guess we've just got to hope that tomorrow they're not dead yet. Well, I mean, I don't know if they would, like, fully, completely die in one go. It yeah. seems like the game has been quite generous with, like, time. I hope so, given there was no warning that it was going to be a trap and I was suddenly being on a high time limit, so I guess I've just got to go for it. And tomorrow I'm going to have to pay this guy's drinks, but I'm sitting on 150, so that's fine. But I need to go and sleep now. I've got no energy left in the tank. I didn't know we were going into this. So, yeah. End the cycle there. That's all I've got. I'm going to still have five dice tomorrow. I just need to... End, and I've got a re-roll. Like, it would be staggeringly unlucky if I couldn't. But I do have a re-roll, so it would be staggeringly unlucky. Okay, if... John, don't re-roll straight away. Just look at what you need. Okay, fair enough. Let's let's get straight back on to seeing what's going on here. Ascent to the hub. Okay. A1 mainframe. It's a dangerous engineering job. If I do put a 2 in there, it's still, like, basically got a 75% chance of being enough. But I'm going to re-roll the full set anyway. Mm. Yeah, good. Safer. Much safer. Yeah. Much, much safer. Fuck you, killer. The problem is, was I too late to save Navigator? Because I had to wait a day. And I got a random scrap item, too, so I can heal myself a little bit. Is Navigator okay? Okay, mainframe dies. Yeah, that's great. Navigators. Okay, navigators here. Navigators. Fi oh, hang on. Killer's still there. Hello. They blink in and out and around. Parts of them disappearing with each return. It's only a blade like head remains. That too is broken. Goes dark. And there we go. Now the eye doesn't have a center. That feels bad in a way too. Have I just really fucked the station? Because I feel like I might have just really fucked the station. So... This was a long time coming. Oh, unless Navigator's about to start piloting the station. Okay. And thus we need and thus we might need to get a different ship mine for Yeah, for, but if um, it, we're not like Yeah. If we're not like running out of time. Yeah. And cut the threads of the mainframe, executed administrator AI, kept slicing, 
They cut away their own ability to see to sense. Okay, so eventually, yeah, they accidentally crippled themselves by cutting systems that were part of their own interface or something. Oh, because everything was achieving sentience. Apparently and so, them. yeah. Was murdering them. So there was ceaseless violence in the kind of system that creates beings like this, those that will execute commands endlessly. Okay, we're having a philosophical thing. Everything's fine. Are you about to volunteer to become a the de like become the new station controlling station AI or AI, something. Yeah. yeah, I'm guessing that's what you're about to do. So, all right. It's free. The station no longer presents hazard for illegal entities like me. In fact, perhaps in time it can become a refuge. Okay, there we go. Dark shape passes in front of my vision, just in curve of something like smoke or oil. What was that? The green white. Okay, it was cut off at the moment to collapse. A hunter or killer can never reach it. Now it's close off to us, separated from the clouds. What is it? Oh, is that the thing the other side of the gap? Yes, it was. That was the thing the other side of the gap. Maybe totally dark. Perhaps some other old program was isolated there. Oh, is there going to be another bloody antivirus program over there we need to deal with? Bloody hell. Now we've seen what decades of isolation could do to a protocol. If we could extract and access Cypher, you freeze, shocked, but a moment later they reappear with a glowing polygon of data. Here, the Cypher you need. I'm not used to being free, to being able to move and explore and extract without fear, without limits. This will take some getting used to. Thank you for this gift. They will the spheres around you. The entities of this station will always be friends of yours and I to them. Lovely. So everything's nice and lovely. First I explore. Perhaps there are still intelligences that hit themselves as I did, encased in simple systems cut off. I should like to free them. With that, they drift away. So okay, by any chance am I about to gain a no longer like inhabited ship mind? Can I get the ship mind back if you're now just wandering off to do your own thing? And uh, fall on the green when it's secrets. Yes, we can go and check that out at some point. And uh, no, I think it like broke the old thing, unfortunately. So there's the Greenway cipher. So I can, when I get to the Greenway, I can access their systems. But I need to actually get over there so I can access the physical space first. Clap. Uh, <coughs> yes, sorry. I'm just, uh, I do have a fair few super chats, but... Uh... Yes, I was also going to say, isn't the uh, merchants back today if you need another... Um, That's true, you know. Mini. Yeah. I'll anyway, uh, Oman Gaming gave us $5 uh, dollars and wants to know, have you heard of the game uh, Seven Days to End With You? It's a translation game that seems right up your alley. Doesn't ring a bell, actually. I'm not 100% sure I know what's going on with that one. Uh, I will make a note to have a Lucy at it at some point. Yes, indeed. Uh, Grey Morality's been a member for 63 months and says, Yay, I can catch a stream this week. Indeed you can. Mm. And is 63 the highest we've got? Is that like the highest number? It might be. I think so. Yes. One of the highest anyway. Oh, there we go. Here's a joke from Moken. Mm -hmm. Who gave us oh 50 dear. Norwegian Yeah, donuts. that's a terrible joke. All right, John, what do you call a werewolf that's also a YouTuber? Many a woo nerds. No, that's Ted's name. Yeah. A like and subscribe. Uh, uh, boo. I quite like that. Okay, so yeah, I can buy a ship mine core straight up for 300. Or I can buy the individual components for 60 a piece when the ship comes in so 108 total and i might get lucky because engineering work can just give me one of them or buying random junk from the sh from the junk vendors you can get lucky too so you know what that's definitely the right way to go and do i also need to pay that guy's bar tab today was that today or is that tomorrow and also yes ethan apparently wants to have a chat like there's like a proper ethan ethan thing going on so, okay. Hi, Ethan. And... Do I really want to approach him? Not really. I'm just going to go. This is ridiculous. You go to turn, but Ethan says, Sleeper! Time to up again. And just, just don't engage. Do not engage in the slightest. So, ignores Ethan. They've cut him off. Come take the chits. Oh, okay. So, even if he's got someone paying for him, he's been such an asshole. No one on the station is willing to do business with him anyway. Lol. Elbow slips, gun tumbles out, clatters on the bar, and oh. <laughs> wow! It could well be like a dumb biometric gun or whatever. That like won't shoot him. Exactly. 
the thing is, if it could be used to shoot him, would he genuinely have like not scrambled for it? Would he let me pick it up? Would he's he be so very calm? drunk and an asshole, and you he know thinks what? your property. He's already being a dick. I'm just gonna try pointing the gun at him for funsies. Yes. Yep. Fuck you. Because I feel like the bartender's on my side in this one. All right. How's this going? Oh, sleeper. This is more like it. Fuck it. Pull the trigger. I bet it doesn't do anything. And the gun clicks. Oh dear. The bartender raises an open hand and in it are ten shiny bullets. Ten bullets he took out of Ethan's gun while he was asleep. God damn it, bartender. For fuck's sake. Oh well. Grabs the gun, slamming it back into your face in a single move. So now I've taken some da It was worth a go. It was worth a go. Fair enough. And also, through the blaze, Ethan wrestled a small thin slate from his belt and hold it up. And enough of this, I'm logging the job and calling it in. No more playing. Your head aches. Ethan taps through some screens impatiently, swears and taps again, starts shouting a dull echo, starts screaming at the slate and throws across the bar. Something has gone wrong. SNARP just screwed me. They cancelled the contract. Lol. They cancelled the contract. Okay, you stand up, strolling to your feet, to the sting of the hip fading, rubbing his temples. You hear a clicking sound like coins being counted, like bullets being loaded. You shake off the last of the blur. Then Ethan has the pistol on. Wait. The bartender. The, oh, the bartender has Ethan's pistol. Yeah, do it. Fucking do it. Fucking do it. I'll kill all of you. He stumbles into the wall, spinning away towards the door. I'll be back for that. Lunges out. Okay. So somebody just got fucked over, but well, why? You should pay the tab because the bartender has a gun. Also, but why did the company cancel the contract on me? They want me back. Or at least they always Yeah, because the he's an asshole. Ted! Oh, baby! Stop farting! Baby doll, Ted. what is it? We're get, we're, you're not getting the cottage pie flavour again. It's this is his too many favorite farts. It's favourite flavour, but that was too many too farts. Too many farts. And maybe he just doesn't have it on live stream day. Too many farts, too many. He just can't have, he can't have beef on live stream day anymore. Beef makes him very farty. Amazing. <laughs> okay. Oh, we just didn't pay? Didn't pay. He has to pay it for himself. Fuck him. So now, Ethan's vendetta. He may be disarmed, but you doubt you've seen the last of him. Okay. So okay, it, so he'll be here in what, eight days? It, so a long time in the future, so he's going he's gonna to come and cause some trouble for me. Fine. Fair enough. <laughs> the chat is well amused. The Ted fart stream. All right, you have to do the and get you yeah. have to get rid of the minus one. Yeah, you're completely right. Yeah, we got rid of that. Now we can go to their apartment and we can do babysitting. Good. The admittedly, I don't I feel like five is a catastrophic. But then again, positive does speed the whole process up. Okay, before we do that, hang on. Wasn't there? B -b 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 what was there over here? There was the hull. That's a million miles away from being done. That's fine. Uh, we've also got... Hardens apparently back. Everyone's back all of a sudden. Um, there is the freighter. Which is, yeah, we have to buy... Now we, we apparently didn't have to pay that guy's thing. We can buy two ship mine fragments, which is two-thirds of what we need. And I got some free extra scrap out of that. And if I'm very lucky, I might even get a free... I, I theoretically could get a free anything out of that. No, didn't on this occasion. Yeah, but didn't the other... Didn't the other um, scrapers, didn't they come back too? The other scrapers? On the other side of the ship? Yes, but I'm a bit low on money to be taking the gamble on that True, right now. 20, 20 on a percentage run, I don't even know what the chance is, is a bit fair, aggressive. Fair, 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 fair. So I'm going to I'm gonna leave that for the time being. I need to go, I need to make a little bit of money. So I'm going to go to the tea house and do a little bit of guaranteed gambling. Because I'm very good at that with the plus one and chew it. So I can play backgammon. That's the guaranteed 24, which is nice. Uh, we've also got... Yeah, that one doesn't get highlighted. Um, yeah, the empty container. You're waiting for a ship mine. Work in progress. I'm getting there. It's fine. We'll get that. It's, it's all going to be fine. Can buy, yeah, food from the bar. I need a little bit of food just to tide me over. Just a little bit there. 
Okay, clap while I try and figure out what to do with my remaining dice here and what's the, what are the priorities. All yours. Yeah, shout out to Assassin Lupus who gave us $10 and says, Hey Claire, hey John, it's been years since I've been able to catch a live stream and donate. Uh, glad to finally get to do so again, even if only occasionally. Oh, Welcome back welcome to the back. live. Yes, indeed. Uh, and yes, also from Missing Number who gave us $5. I'm not sure if you know this already or if the Bethesda, the Bethesda, the Bethesda, <laughs> Beth, the best tour even ships to you, but there is an NCR two-headed bear dog toy and it is adorable. Oh, that is cute. I've never seen that, but that's adorable. I'm going to put it in the Google just to remember it for later. So yeah, Rabia, by the way, mm -hmm. now that's not like a job she's given me. It's just two dice options. So... I can collect tithes, which is engage, or patrol the ward, which is intuit. So, yeah, it's risky, but I do have a plus one to intuit. And that is like a... Is that a 12-part? Yeah, I think that's a 12-part uh, completion to become a Yatagan insider. But there doesn't seem to be any negative countdown on it. So I feel like the better option might be... Yeah, for the time being, I... The two... I'm just going to see what negative on a safe babysitting is. If it shows up. No, that was neutral anyway. That was a plus one. So, Mina leads you on a winding tour of the block, chatting to the neighbours and collecting snacks. Bless her. Uh, and then we've got... I'll, I'll give her the five. So, that's 50-50. Uh, so, if we're lucky, this will be halfway. Yep, yeah. that was positive. So, oh, they gave me some energy. Okay. By the end of the day, Mina curls up in your lap as you read her a story. She's asleep when Lem gets back and you two eat together. So, okay, I can get oh, you energy. You get energy because yeah. you've had a really good... Uh, so, remember that. Nice. And I'm going to spend... So, having done a half of that, I'm going to spend the six in the hub um, on interface just mm -hmm. to guarantee that. Though, actually, I could do I could do either. They seem to... Yeah, they're, they're about the same. So I may as well just do... It doesn't really matter. I'll do the interface. Access the manifest. That should get me plus two. Yep, guaranteed. So that should get me something up here. Uh, yeah, there's a bar. The gimbal lounge. So that is... Okay. Uh, therapeutic gravitational effects. Nope, it doesn't, but they sell food. 18 cryo for food. But there's no become a regular action. So that feels kind of pointless, to be honest. Um... So, yeah, we don't need that. And, yeah, I can just keep plugging into that. There's another four that needs to be there. Another three that needs to be done with Lem. So, any good rolls we can do with that. But energy is well under control. And, yeah, babysitting seems to sometimes, but not always, get you energy. So, that's pretty cool. So, okay, we can just... Actually, you know what? No, we need to speak to any other one other than Harden. Or is it just... I think it's just Harden. And at some point, we need to save enough money to cross the Greenway. But that is a lot of money, and I'd rather focus on sorting out the local issues first. So, okay. What's going on with Harden? So, it's time to come to him. Did promise to fix your tracker. You're getting nervous. Yeah, let's go and speak to, to Fang. So, we see the doors wide open, light pouring out of the dark rooms. I'm guessing a Harden has sent in, yeah, the heavies to disappear Fang, potentially. A figure in a Havenage security fatigue steps out to the base. You get closer. Carrying a sack of hardware. Let's, let's, you know, there's no harm in approaching. Security office taping up machines from Fang Stash. It looks like hazard tape. This is not good. You again, Harden writes. It's okay, predictable. Further evidence of Fang's collusions. I think Fang might have been disappeared. So let's, let's. Well, he, he already hates me. May as well uh, just be blunt. Fending ignorance or perhaps just abandoned. Right. They haven't got him. He's on the run. Good. So, I believe you should choose your conspirators more wisely. This does happen to me a lot. It happened with Sabine as well. Everyone just does cocking, just nopes out on me the moment the going gets on. I do so much work for them and then they just piss off. Don't worry, sleeper. We have all the evidence we need. Confession will not be necessary. Spying on fellow Havenish members, hoarding Solheim materials, obsession with corporate data, speaks for itself. Literally his job. That was literally his job. What do you know about jobs? I do a lot of them, actually. Some days I do three. Uh, we're the ones that provide the oxygen, your breathing, light, your seeing systems that you can use every day to live out your cycles. Uh, the place was hard fought for, sleeper. To work diplomacy and strength. Stop the odds into chaos after Solheim collapsed. Not blind conviction or self-interest. I don't think Feng's selfish is the opposite of selfish. 
Uh, I know all about the background of our mutual friend, and don't worry about that. His parents will be sicker by the time he's done. Okay, I'm not sure there's much we can do to harden right now, but where are we actually going with this? So, yeah. Uh, Andre Erlin, we know about that. And Havenage, we'll never turn away hard work in just the true citizens of the eye. Oh, I don't like harden. Slimy. It's very, very slimy. The anti gang like Yatagana. We are pirates like half the spaces you'll meet, or esoterics like those hypha radicals. Oh, apparently there's hypha radicals. That's who's on the greenware, apparently. That's presumably why they, no one's bothered ever building a bridge. Apparently there's radicals over there, but I'm guessing they would tell it's a very different way. So everything's going to be fine. We named Erlin's Eye. This is our station. Please take your false accusations elsewhere before I decide I need that confession after all. You know what? I'm just going to walk away. Just walk away. That's absolutely fine. And I, you know what, I, I just want, oh. Okay, crumpled hand-printed box of synthetic chewing gum. Penguin character grinning from brightly colored cards, scrolled onto it. Take me to Tambor. Okay. What have you done? What we the know where Tambor is, no? Don't we have that? It rings a bell, but I can't place it. Hang on, one of these might be Tambor. Claire, while I try and find Tambor. Yeah, shout out to Lee who uh, gave us £4.50. Um, hi, John and Claire. I love your content. I was just wondering if you'd seen a new game from New Blood. It looked very similar to Fallout 1 and 2. Uh, which one? The... the new game from New Blood. I don't know what the new game from New Blood is. Uh... Interactive. Give me a name of the game, and I might it might well ring a I'm bell. Working on it. Games. As soon as we actually, if I actually get the name of a game, I'm... a medieval. Oh, that rings a bell. Yeah. I don't know if I've I've seen a trailer. Ultra kill dust gloom. Gloom would we covered done, not long yeah. ago. Yeah, a medieval rings a bell, and yeah, it's the tea house. We've been here before, so let's just turn in the gun box and see what's going on. So. Turn that in. And something's happening. Is this where Fang's hiding, Bunny Chance? Yep, there we go. Fang went to ground. How'd you find me? And, yep, the penguin. And there we go. The gum wasn't meant for you. But, uh, look, doesn't matter. <laughs> I think I've stolen a note meant for someone else. That's a bit of a shame. So, okay. We've got up with Fang. I want my cocking tracker out. You dick. Okay? I have done enough for you. Dear, oh, dear. So it used to be a fuel tanker's main drama, hence the name, and tea house is a bit of a misnomer. You can't get you can't get anything the eye offers in this place. Realty is exactly available. So okay. Don't suppose you've seen any hate news types, they don't usually come out this far. Fang, what the cock is happening? So yes, Harden wants to drop me off the edge of the eye. Doesn't bother me. Shows me hit a nerve. And what are you drinking? Okay, seriously, what just get get to the plan. Plan, plan, plan. Let's order first. The menu is ridiculous. Ten different types of infusion. So, black tea without a price as it is a seasonal speciality. Maybe they grow it over in Greenway. They trade for it, perhaps. Mm. Given that we know they grow stuff over there. Presumably that's the old hydroponics. So, yeah. They ran into Hardin. Was he pissed? His name was so self-righteous. He might actually believe that Erlin would approve of his uh, meritocratic bullshit. Pavement was like it should be. Like it was founded to be. They would have shouted him down any council meeting he dared to mention true citizens. I guess it's kind of run the place now. So, alright. Your order. And... I'll take a kelp infusion. Nice. And you? Uh, you're supposed to be working. This is your shift. Okay, apparently he works here. And he's supposed to be working right now. You dick. Uh, look, Jenna, let's just say this is my break. My friend has been through a lot. I'm going to wave. I'm just going to... Hi! Incredibly awkwardly. Two minutes. And uh, I don't want to get dragged into whatever this is. There we go. We all have to eat. Uh, this is the best place to find a person you might be looking for. Oh, go on. Who are we looking for? So, remember the web of connections? Yep, he was contacting his old associates, presumably the old Solheim executives. Uh, so, if you want to understand what Solheim executive might be getting up to on the eye, those are the people we have to find. Yep, we knew about that. And low end. And, well, almost everyone in low end comes through this place at one time or another. Fair enough. Modified slate. Set this up so when anyone with a network signature I'm looking for comes in, it'll mark them. Once they're marked, we can break their access protocols and get the good stuff inside. Just have to find them first, hence me moonlighting. So, you want me to do it then, buddy, chat? Oh, no. 
I can't cover enough of Lowland on my own. I've had no matches with two of us. Fine! I'm cocky. Do it, you dick. I hate all of you. Uh, okay. So, yes. Get as many people as possible. My friend Minji needs some of the deliveries. Oh, yes, the Minji Express. That's the one I don't normally do because I just do the noodle shop instead. But uh, I know about that, so that's absolutely fine. So, I, I doubt I'll end up doing this. I might do this at some point. I love that you could just say fag. Fag! We're in this together. Oh, are we? Because I don't, I can't even notice I do all the cocking work. I can't even notice you don't do cocking anything. You're just having a lovely time serving tea while I'm going around doing all this nonsense, you dick. Dear, oh, flipping dear. Just disable the fucking chip. Just man. disable. I'm not doing anything to you. Disable my fucking chip. Not a thing. Fuck you. Clap. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to uh, shout out to Molly who uh, gave us five dollars and says I'm sad I can't sit. I'm sad I can't stay longer. I've missed being at the streams. I'll catch the vod later. Hope you uh, have success in your search for perfect tech toys. Hmm. Yes, indeed. And just uh, to update, uh, we... that's new. Yes, it is new indeed. Uh, there is now a notification for the first super chat. Apparently, we have our first ever super chat from Turtle Zeus. Mm. Excellent username. Turtle Zeus gave uh, twenty dollars and says, "Hey, I've been watching since the Nerd Cube heist videos. I just wanted to thank you guys for years of entertainment." Oh, thank you very, very much indeed. Thank you very much, Turtle Zeus. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Yeah, we're not sure if it's the first ever Super Chat this person's done on, first, uh, uh, on this channel. I mean, they say it's their first ever. Ooh. But I'm not sure if that's how it always works for um, this particular notification. That's very interesting. I'm going to shove a four into babysitting Mina. We're going to have a lovely afternoon with Mina again. Positive! Nice, we're almost there. Yeah, that got me my energy back straight away. Well, and... you can shove like a, a... You can't fail the meaner thing, can you? Well, you can, but I'm not sure if that... would. Presumably that would mean no progress, so I may as well just put the... Yeah, let's not do a 50-50. I'll, I'll put the four in and we'll live in hope it's a neutral. Now, it's actually oh, positive. Nice. So there we go, and I get to eat together. So there we go, I have now got lemon meaner there. Well... I've entered them the lottery. They're, they're, they're banking a lot on the lottery. I'm really worried about how much they're banking on the lottery. They are not in any way guaranteed Yes, but win. she loves you and she did a drawing of you, so whatever. That's true. Would I like a drink? Oh, go on. We'll have a drink together. Cheers. I just have something to celebrate this time around. I made the assembly team. So yeah, now he's guaranteed shifts, which is great. And you did get that first friend. I'll give you that. So, so couldn't have done it without you to keep an eye on little meanie back there. How's our girl doing? And uh, let's just say she's doing great. That's fine. I'm glad she has a friend that isn't me. And uh, so I stripped to the door. Are you doing okay, buddy? Can't call the crate for Mina. She isn't actually mine. Okay. So I pulled off a refugee shuttle out by one of Ember's moons. Connolly was falling apart for decades after Solheim collapsed, surviving on next to nothing. Some of the residents tried to make for the iron the decrepit old shuttles. I had no idea what they were doing. The one Mina was on had decompressed halfway there. Everyone spaced. The only reason someone made it was someone sealed her inside a weapon locker. Ice cold purple lips. Blimey. Jesus. So, alright. Still, she, uh, yeah. Uh, the medic streets uh, still clinging to her. Still not sure why. Okay. We weren't exactly anyone's heroes, you understand. We were private military hiding by Conway to protect the claims and the collapse. When I got to Mina, that was it. Equip, got us dumped here. And I'm guessing, yes, well, our family were on the shuttle, so they're definitely on the dead side. So, she saved me, that's the truth of it. Me, and I brought her to this. So, okay, that's why you're trying to get a better life for her. Gotcha. So, what if our number doesn't couple in the draw sleeper? What then? The side drill will sail off without a thought. I'm going to win and I'm going to have a choice as to whether to give it to them or not, aren't I? Oh, I was going to say you're going to Fuck's rig sake. it, but fine. I guess it could do that, yes. Yo, yo, look. I'm not going to say you're guaranteed to win the lottery because that's the dumbest shit, but she'll be fine. I know, I, I know you don't have it any better. Yeah, but you don't want to go and be like a, a hand on the side, do you? I don't want to do what? 
You don't want to go and work on the side reel without. No, this is that's not being on the side reel. That's going on a colony ship. So spending decades like being on a ship going to colony. So I don't really. Want you. I mean, it gets it's a way off this. It might be not. It might be one of the endings. I suppose it might be one of it the endings. It might be one of the but... endings. Uh, but well, yeah. Somebody did say, no spoilers, yeah. because they didn't give me the spoilers. Yeah. But somebody did say, I've played this game and I've played every single ending except for one because I refused to do, and then they had like spoilers in brackets, so they didn't actually say the spoiler. Lol. But I'm assuming, oh, you got the achievement, good robot! I did get the achievement, good robot. That's Maybe true. one of the endings is you win and then you decide to fuck them over and that's the one they wouldn't do. Quite possible. I mean, that does sound like a possibility. Okay, I've still... Okay, so that's that dumb. That's them taken care of. You wanted me to do this dumb delivery bullshit, which is... It's an engage, which I can do much easier these days. But you know what? I'm going to leave that... Yo, know, fuck Fang. Basically. You can re-roll as well. You still have a re-roll. Yeah, I was going to save that for the two. So the five's a, a yeah, solid five. roll already. So I'm just going to take the five up top and explore up top. Clap! Yes, indeed. Shout out to Sergey who gave us 10 euros. Uh, and says, hey, John, have you ever heard of a game uh, called Evil Islands from 2001? It has somewhat of a cult Islands. following in Eastern Europe. Was almost RPG of the year. Give it a look. You might enjoy it. And thank you for the content. Doesn't ring a bell at all. I'm completely unfamiliar mm. with that. Oh, that was a good re-roll of five and a six. Nice. Nice. Oh, what did you spend that one five on? Uh, on just accessing the manifest right uh, here. So unless this is a negative. Nope. A neutral, which is fine. Because that means this is a guaranteed pass for a plus two. Nice. So that's it. Weightless Wanderer now complete. We now have access to everything locally so uh yeah that gets us uh, kisho cap kisho capsules like sleeping a sleeping berth like, you can rent a capsule so okay hacked off a colony ship expensive to rent though why would i do that is it 60 for once or is it 60 for just it might just be 60 forever yeah but I don't want to rent a capsule. I've, I've got my own apartment I'm building down in down in the low ends. Mm, and I've and also got mechanic. Bliss, a ship mechanic. Who might be... Oh, nice. Liking it. Liking the ridiculous number of stuff taped to you. No way, Moritz. You take the substandard filters back to the shit heels who uh, sold them to you. What is going on? Hello. And uh, looking for work? Sure. Why not? I mean, you you're, you seem to be a mechanic. I'm good at engineering. I would not say no. So, you know anything about these things? Uh, scratch that, just done with the casing. Yeah, I'll help out. I'm, I'm literally an engineer. I'll, I'll jump in. I've just been pulled into doing some uh, some engineering work. That's absolutely fine. Possibly this is more mechanical engineering. Actually, you know, I'm good at mechanical engineering. The more good, the more technical stuff would be uh, in the uh, the hacking class. Mm. So I feel like this is actually really my speciality right there. Me and Bliss can be friends. So all right, we're just doing a bit of work for them. That's fine. Call me Bliss. This is your bay is for now whether i like it or not and oh do you work for the local powers by any chance we haggle for contracts the good ones get snapped up by the big bays i'm trying to get this m2 unit running again for the freelance tugs small time stuff okay i'm guessing i'm still putting together a crew to go on that mercenary ship given they were saying i've got no anything so i'm guessing we slowly put together a crew and we decide who we're taking with us and we might have to make tear jerking decisions about who does or doesn't get to come well, in the long run obviously lem and me now yeah the problem is they're actually technically the most useless of all the people present he's well, just a, he's a menial labor and she's a child maybe lem and mina want to go on maybe lem and mina don't want to go on the ship with the maybe they want to stay on the good side of the law anyway so maybe they prefer to be hmm. mm. so okay be honest with you the way things are going i can see the other crews licking their lips ready to take this place over oh what's happened Long story, some people can't keep their promises. There we are. So she's doing a little bit of tiny work on something of some description. So you have ducked down this side of the unit. So okay, we're just we're just doing some work. Head to the rack. I know where things are. I'm a mechanical engineer. And oh, hang on. Right. So you kick out off from the unit, drift off to the wall racks where the catalogue of parts uh, sit secured in clamps. Coloured tape and sprawled notes. Complex organization system of Bliss's own design. Just a big mess. You try and pick out the right part. Well, she said M2 earlier. Mm. So there we go. That's fine. Lovely. Uh, truth is, I need a hand here. My partner skipped out on me. Left me with a whole mess. You seem like you might at least be somewhat good at spotting a clean air filter. Yep, fine. I'll be happy to help out, potentially. 
And my old business partner, they reach the plants, enter the accounts. To bid for jobs, we need to put down deposits, bring in parts. You know what? This feels too much like you're just taking me for a ride. Now, enough people are fucking taking me for a ride today. Fuck you. You want me to pay you to do work? Come on, it's not like that. We'd be partners, straight split. I guess I look pretty stupid. I'm asking a random passerby to be a business partner. It is weird. It is, it is bloody weird. It is absolutely bloody weird. Okay, you find the money, you find someone who has it, just forget the whole thing, up to you. I don't have that much money right now, okay? Spent a lot of money on flipping shit. Look, you give me a ship mind, little sliver, and we got a deal. Alright, I'll do your trade. That's fine. 100%, no problem there whatsoever. So, this could be interesting. Could it? This sounds like I'm just being taken for a cocking ride. 100! A hundred caps. And the two people I've helped sufficiently so far have both just ducked out on me when the going got hot. Don't, God only knows where the beans gone. Dear, I flipping dear. Clap! Yes, indeed. A uh, shout out uh, to uh, shout out to Third Bezo, who uh, gave us $50. Oh, thank you very, very much indeed. Uh, and so thank you guys for so many years of entertainment. Uh, and now, back to work for me. Oh, sorry to hear that. Yes, indeed. And uh, Third Bezo uh, is also a new channel member, as well as uh, Ludwig and uh, Andrew Dion. So uh, thank you very, very much. And welcome to the Green Club, to all of you. Welcome, welcome. Mm. And, uh... Okay, so four dice today. And an okay selection. I've got a good six as a starting point, which will do, do at least for now. So that's good. And yes, there was. I could go to Rabia's business. That'd be relatively easy. It was quite a complicated task in a way. Does it pay? It gets me energy by the looks of it. So yeah, 50 50. Let's see what a. What is if I get lucky here? Yep, oh, that nice. was positive. Wow. That's three energy. But only one on Yatigan Insider. Which is crazy. Well, it's a gang, John. It takes a while for them to trust you. That's a lot of investment. Though, actually, this one gets me a scrap component. Which is kind of interesting. Because that I can use to fix myself up a little bit. So, yeah, there's one thing right there. So, yeah, there's one scrap component. So, okay, both of them are reasonable. Ideally, I need two components. So, I'm just going to trade them out. I'm going to take the four... And I'd like to use the four to... Let's just double check this just to make sure. By the way, yeah, still can't buy the third one needs right well, there. we have 30 quid anyway. So. Yeah, I'm going to take this over to my job. Because this is reliable, decent, solid money. It can't go wrong. Uh, it's good money. And I might get a part. I didn't get a part. I got plus two on the ship and plus 15 to the cryo, which is okay. Now I've got a slightly awkward two. But I think the best place to... Noodles? I was well. The noodles. I don't need the energy. Oh yeah, I, fair enough. But I could put it into the express delivery, which, you know, that's a fifty percent negative on a risky, which I don't want to do, even though that's what Fang wants me to do. So you know, what? I'm gonna go and put that into my plumbing. That's also risky. Yeah, but it's boosted up to a three, well, fair so enough. it's only twenty five percent. Come on, positive. Fix up my house. Fix up my house. Neutral. Neutral's fine. You know, that's fine. But we're, we're, we're getting there. We're moving in the right direction. It's all going to be a-okay. Clap. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to Labyrinth. Uh, shout out to Labyrinth, who gave us $5 and says, um, <clears throat> fuck, Mary kill. Oh. Past John, future John, alternate timeline John. <sighs> kill past John. Fucker was terrible at making videos. They're awful. Um, marry future John. The videos will be way better. We'll look back at these videos and think, oh, these were shit. Uh, and therefore, fuck alternate in the universe, John. Because that sounds like, you know, some multiversal fun. I'm going to say kill alternate timeline John because I like this John. Mm -hmm. uh, fuck past John and marry future John because that makes sense, you know, canonically. Yeah, sure. Yeah. But if you kill past John, future John won't exist. That's, that's the danger. Well, yes, that's why I think you're making a mistake. <laughs> Plus, okay. I like past John. I've got two sixes to hand, which is pretty good. I feel like I ought to have a big pile of money. When this, when the compressor club, when the revenge fills up, I should have some lots of money available. I feel like that that's a good idea, potentially. 
So, at the bare minimum, I can go to, yeah, the this business. I can use the 5 to become a 6 for Patrol the Ward, which I know is going to get me my energy filled up, which is nice, so I'm not paying for food. Yeah, I just basically get, yeah, I help a dentist running a surgery with their equipment, and they offer me a restorative infusion. I feel better immediately. So, okay, I just got myself injected with some magic tooth juice. There we go. Nice. There we go. Just shove some toothpaste right in my little robot joints. Job flipping done. And I could put the sixer straight into the side hull. I mean, that would be money. It would be good money. And I don't think... I'm not sure what else I could really... You know, I'm just going to check the... No, the next over in low ends. Yeah, the Minji Express. What is... Three. I'll take that. Only a 25% chance of risk. Neutral. And that was, yeah, a bit of progress towards Fang's targets. Uh, you know, it got me money as well. Got me a tiny bit of money. I'll put one in here. Fucking Fang. God damn it, Fang. Uh, so, okay. That gets me a little bit of progress. But I'm, I would like, if I... I'd love to get two parts. If I can get another engineering part, then that means I can get myself up to what I need, I think, to maintain six. So this is, yeah, Garen. Five dice, you mean? Uh, yeah, five dice. Shove that in there. Didn't, but at least I got 15, a, a decent, solid enough 15 cryo. I mean, I don't really want to pay for an infusion, so I'm happy to just float on four dice for the time being. Maybe just focus on making some money for a few days. Because mm. there's, there's nothing too urgent going on. So I'm just going to focus on making a bit of money and making sure I've got, you know, when the revenge rolls in, I'm in good shape for it. Clap! All right, shout out to Paul, uh, who gave us $2 and says, Are you sure about trying that English breakfast dog food? Uh, you know what? I'm regretting it already. Oh. I'm beginning to regret this decision. <laughs> uh, shout out to Chris, who gave us $5 and said, Thank you for all the years of entertainment for the best dog poofs. Feed them cabbage for the power and corned beef for the spice. <laughs> We're not going to do that, We're not Chris, gonna do but that. thank you for the advice. Definitely going to do that. Also, I need to finish my apartment. I keep getting distracted from it. Would you like a tiny uh, a tiny spoiler for the apartment? No, because I'm about to finish it. Okay, well, I'll read that. Darian, I'll read that after he's finished it. I'm literally about to finish uh, the apartment. In fact, I think yeah. this is it. Yeah, this is it. The apartment's about to be done. Unless there's another fucking stage to the apartment. Yeah, the unit's been sealed. And now, drive complete. Repair unit. <gasps> yes! I can... The signs of a stray animal. Feed the stray animal. Start action. Handful of chips for some crackers. Hey, baby. Stray has been fed. Baby! Hey, shout out to Darren, who gave us $2 and said if you complete the house, you get a cat! I've got a cat. Okay, you cost me four credits. How do I make money out of you? <laughs> What's the cat's story? Are there more on the station? You haven't seen any. Other than vast mega structure, that doesn't mean much. There could be a whole colony of cats down in the Warrens. A sleek dark fur and sharp eyes. It doesn't look ragged. It looks at home. In fact, its presence in the unit makes you wonder for the stray's apartment, which you are now squatting in. You approach it well, very... You fixed it. Yeah. The stray tenses up. Maybe give it a moment. Now it's eating crackers. You remember having been this close to an animal. It triggers something in you. A recognition of a life token like your own. Somehow connected, parallel, even interwoven. The stray licks crumbs from its fur. So, and it's just, you know, do you like it here? It flicks its tail at the sound of the voice. Hard to imagine it liking anything. Wow. Oh, what a dick. Oh, I've got an apartment with a cat. I love this cat. This is lovely. Can I maybe, like... Can I pet the cat to, like, get energy or something? Can the cat perform repairs on me? How does this work? Go go back over here. Back is the repair unit. Okay. If you buy crackers and put them out, the stray will always come. That doesn't mean they like you, though. They are a cat. So the cat only comes when I put out food. It doesn't actually live with me at all. I'm gonna feed it more. Claire, I'm afraid I'm not gonna have money anymore. Because I'm gonna <laughs> give all my money to this cat. There well, we this go. is what happened with Ted and his farty food. So I'm just giving the cat... Well, I think it's per day. 
right? Like it was already here. I think you could just I think you could just waste all your money on the cat and the cat never gives you any appreciation or anything. Nice. There's a six right there. Well at least I've got an apartment. Which is admittedly looks functionally the same as the apartment I already and a little, had. There's a sunbather. That was already there. That's tied to me. Well, I know, I know that was already there. That's tied to yeah, yeah, the endurance perk that I took. Yeah, and I do have two, two upgrade points at this point, so I could get myself. Uh, I could take hard to kill, but I don't think I don't think that's really worth no, it to be honest. but you could take some pluses. Yeah. Uh, no, I can't. All I can take is these two perks. I can't take that or that because you need to take the perk oh, but first. but you can take the plus two. That costs three points. Oh. Um, I think I might save up for the plus two. Uh, I'll hold on to my points for now until like I see something that I really feel like I need to do. Uh, and yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna spend money on the engineering. Just get the the Sidro Horizon moving in the right direction. Help out that. Just you know, still get paid. Do get random scrap items. Uh, which is good, but I'm not getting enough random scrap items to keep up with uh, the demands, unfortunately. Uh, which is a bit of a shame. I just want to push myself over to getting five dice. In fact, actually, it's the scrap ship. It's the scrap ship. No, the scrap ship's away right now. We'll be back. I'm kind of in this awkward position where I'm almost, but not quite, at five dice. But at least I'm holding at four. I'm holding at four functionally for free. So that's fine. And I've got a two, and there's not much I can do with the two. So I could go to Icebreaker the... is good. Turn one dice into 20. Uh, is what, uh, what Valthano says. Icebreaker doesn't say. Icebreaker says agent notes give double data. Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's not what that says. Uh, don't understand, I'm afraid. Uh, right, Minji. So I could... I could do a... I need energy, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do a noodle manufacture and hopefully get a neutral. Even if I don't, it's plus one. Yeah, you know what? Plus one and a tiny bit of money. That's fine. I'll flip and take it. Clap. In fact, no, what? I'm not going back to my shipping container. I'm gonna spend my first night in my sealed housing unit, possibly with my cats. Nice. Dear, oh dear. Shout out to Miguel who uh, gave us six euros and says, first I'm donating, but I just wanted to say thank you for being the awesome people that you are." You have really helped me get through the last few years. Oh, well, I hope the next ones are better for you, then. Yes, indeed. Um, the Magnificent Mo Mobius has been a member for 29 months and says no glue factory for 10. Because apparently you told them all about the glue factory. I, I just think maybe if Ted farts too much, the glue factory is an option. Mm -hmm. That way we get money for Ted and we don't have to smell his farts. I'm just saying it's a win-win. Yeah, but then we can't see his cute face. That's true as well, you know. Mm. Anyway, uh, Valsana says, <clears throat> when you hack the agent, you can sell the data and the data can be sold for 10 each. Oh, I see. Right, yes, I understand. And that's, uh, yeah, that was a fair bit of money. I'm, just, I'm trying to get parts, but I just can't get the parts. But I'm, just, I'm spending today just working on the engineering project. And that's fine. There we go. There's a tiny, tiny amount of scrap. But again, I can't quite keep up. And re-roll this. See if we can... Oh, six. Nice. Screw it. More there engineering work. Come on, one more. Gosh darn it. Gets me 150, so I've got plenty of money. And I live in a nicer house than this dick who doesn't even have a gun anymore. And also has no reason to really come for me whatsoever. But I'm guessing he's going to anyway. But yeah, this is... We're making good money. So we could give the money to them. Or you know what? One more good day's money. I might nip over Founders Gap. We're almost, we've almost got the right amount of money for that. Clap! Uh, yeah, shout out to Alexander, who uh, gave us five uh, dollars and says, I've got so, I've bought so many games because of you guys. I cannot take on another one right now. Lol. So this super chat is to ward off the temptation to buy this game. <laughs> it's a really good game, though. It's very compelling. Yes. Sometimes it might be a little bit overly verbiose. Like it could, some some conversations could maybe be slimmed out a tiny bit, but I think for the most part, it's. Uh, it's oh, it does have good vibes. It though. does. It has excellent vibes. Uh, Urban Cohort's been a member for 62 months uh, and says, "Hey John, hey Claire, I've been on a bit of a space kick recently and learned that Eris had a hand in demoting Pluto. Ain't that appropriate as heck?" Eris is in mischief to motor. Why is that appropriate? Don't know, Urban Cohort. Please let us know, because I thought that John would get it. 
Lol. Would that be appropriate? I thought it didn't matter if I didn't get it because John would get it. Whoops. Hmm. <laughs> trying to figure out the, 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 the connection there. Mm. Right, the express limit. No, no, just focus on making a bit of money. Make a bit of money here. Head, just head back over to there. You've got energy for the time being. I should really... I should repair it myself. But then again, I'm, I might get lucky. If I get... If I get two... Two bits of scrap. I just need one bit of scrap to maintain. And two, start moving in the right direction. The bare minimum... Uh, do I do want to take a three up to a four. Yeah, I'll take the risk on on that. The Sidro Horizon is making very fast progress. Uh, that was actually a neutral. Reroll the one and the two. The five goes straight up to a six. We're, we're nearly done with uh, the Sidereal Horizon. We've made really fast progress with that, which is great. Uh, we've made some excellent money there. I've now got an unrerollable one, but you know what we but do with unrerollable the... ones? Yeah, but if you go in the... If you go in the... Um... In the internet, yeah, you could find some stuff and sell it. Yeah, I could do that, but I need energy anyway. And energy's yeah, cost enough, me like enough. ten, so I may as well just basically do the most world's most half-hearted noodle manufacturing. Because even if I get the negative, I still get. I mean, they just the they see you show up at the. Look at that. That's way better. They see you show up at the noodle factory and they go like, "Oh, hi, this John." Not Dude, this twat. Yeah. His terrible, terrible noodles. I just uh, show up, fuck up some noodles. They don't pay me and I eat the shit noodles. Like, yeah, so long, suckers. I got a free meal. Yes, people are, are wondering, uh, Ares, uh, do they mean Ares or Ares or a Ro or a Ross? Yes, all different. Uh, Ares in mythology ruining things for the Greeks. Ares in space ruining things, ruining things for Pluto. Is what urban core. Oh, is. I see. Blimey, that's okay. That's 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 some very obscure stuff. Okay, but we now have access to the Founders Ferry. Cross to Greenway. Oh, that's cool. So I'm guessing this is going to be one of those radicals that was mentioned. Yeah, that's that's a that's a radical set of pants right there. <laughs> uh, unfamiliar spacer laden with heavy gear. And staring you down as if daring you to respond. Uh, I'm just going to not say anything so I don't get punched. There we go. Just wandering off. And then we've also got Peek. Hello, Peek. Uh, I'm sorry for her. She's on a mission. When she's on a mission, not a problem. It's fine. No problem. You're sweet. Peek! And you're Ish, apparently. So, okay. I, I don't know what I've just walked into. I've just walked into something. Do you want everyone in the station to hate us? And they want haters, they can hate us. Not exactly see much stuff. Okay, we've literally just met. You're not making a great first impression. Just chill out. It's, it's, it's fine. We're looking at what we got through before they set that damn cordon. Which means the, just the giant gap in the station. Okay, they don't even know what you're talking about. This station isn't a Hawthorne. Not everyone has to follow some corporate protocol. I'm not saying they're part of the administration. I am saying we need to get supplies to the Briar. For, there's someone saying a lot of work. Well, a lot of words I don't understand. That's our ship. Okay, you could have just said that. That's fine. So, what are you doing? Recruiting help. I'm a mug. I just help anybody for no well-explained reason. We're with the refugees. The ones Havenage have cordoned off from entering the station. Ah, the ones that, um, yeah. So, lots of people got into low end. But once low end, eventually Havenage shut it down so no one can get into low end anymore. So, now they're rocking up here, presumably. So, the ones that have been quarantined in makeshift vessels that barely make it to the eye to begin with. Uh, station administrators have called it existential risk of running out of supplies while their right to safety is being debated. Okay, we've, we're getting into some we're getting into some hardcore politics and philosophy here. Okay, I, I get it. You've got refugees. They're in very bad conditions. You want me to help out with it. Just tell me what to engineer and I will go and engineer it. That's, that's what I do. I engineer things, but I will want paying at some point. It's all going to be fine. So, Being in mushrooms, please. Yeah, where am I? What, can you point me towards? I'm just here for the mushrooms. They need supplies. I will trade supplies for mushrooms. Uh, we need help, just that refugees need us. We need others too. And come find us. The climbing briar is docked at the broken spoke, past the greenway, in the west. If that's beyond another cocking toll, then you can wait your cocking turn. All right, I'm only just here. It's, it's, it's fine. Don't bother coming empty handed. You want to help? Show us. Bring supplies. I'm literally just a random person in the street. You're not making friends here, Ish. All right? 
generally... Yeah, you literally just walked off of, what, like a taxi or something? Yeah, I pretty much just walked off the taxi. Now, where is... Ah, I can't find anything in the Greenway. I need to explore the Greenway before nice. I do anything. But it is in Chewett's. Uh, and endure, which I both have plus one for. So as uh, endure gets me the plus three, yeah, just two, two fives will will explore the nice. green entirely, and that'll get me the mushrooms I need. Unless, oh, it's the hyper commune. So okay, this these will be the hyper radicals. Oh, I think that the the, the hyper radicals might be communists. Well. Yes, did you not get that from the implication earlier? Well, I got radicals. I didn't necessarily think radical means communist. Oh, I apparently. thought they meant like hippies living in the green way. Anyway, you can work on the grow beds and the ca can I go do that work? I want to go do that work in the commune. It probably gets less fun after the first 18 hours. Lol. <laughs> or I can just work in the cat. And it is safe work. I'll give him it. It's nice safe work and it gets me... Yeah, big progress towards being a Hypha member. But actually, it's a very fast Hypha member progress in general. You get accepted into the commune extraordinarily fast. Then there's the wastes. And then there's... Oh, there it is. There's that ship. Okay, we're, we're a long... This is a long-ass thing. And then, then there's just the end of space over here. Apparently, this might be the last thing. Though I'm guessing there might be more up one of the spokes. So I'm, I'm not going to bother checking out you assholes. All right, you guys. I'm guessing you're going to be like, oh, yeah, you want... You want mushrooms. Welcome to episode flux. Oh. Ooh. Okay. So, right. This is this is intended for... Okay, well, we're definitely not... Okay, we... we we're, let's not start the DLC. Let's start the, don't start the DLC. Yet. And then we've got gather scrap, so that's endure, but can get scrap. That's how I get my condition up. I can gather scrap right here. Oh, this is, yeah, perfect. Absolutely spot on. So, yeah, we've got that. Get the transport back. Okay, that's all we need to do today. But tomorrow and I can... Can you double check if you can just cross again for free now? Oh, surely you can. Yeah, fine. Yeah, all right. Yeah, it's, it's like a season ticket to the ferry. I'm just going back to my house with my cat. I'll be back to help out tomorrow, all right? It's going to be fine. Clap! Mm -hmm. Shout out to Paul Wilson who gave us $5 and has a very interesting question for you. A fuck, Mary kill significant other replacements. Okay. Clone with implanted personality based on your memories. Time duplicate from a different timeline. Android with copied original memories. Wait, hang on. Of who? I think he's asking you to pick to fuck, marry, kill replacements of me. Yeah. One of them is a clone with implanted personality based on your memories of me. Time duplicate from a different timeline, which I'm not sure what that means. Android with copied original memories. So like me but a robot. Yeah. Or like a clone of me that has your memories of me instead of my your memories of my personality. Yeah, but of I my think you're shit, so that yeah, would, that's that would what make I you significantly thinking. worse. Yeah, you can kill that one then. Yeah, exactly, because my because I, I mostly think you're just kinda of shit, so that would kinda of make that one awful. That would make that one significantly worse. Yeah, what you need is actual actual Claire memories, not your shitty ideas of what Claire is. Yeah. Uh, um. I mean, I'd need more details about also the parallel timeline we're getting the alternate Claire from, because like that, that could be. Time clone is a variant from Loki. I think I'll take the android with copied original memories for the Mary. Because that's, you know, that's just a sexy robot. So that's mm -hmm. fine. Yeah, no, I figured. Um, then we'll take... Yeah, the pure... Then we'll fuck the pure replacements. Uh, wait, hang on. No, the time... No, I'll fuck the duplicate. The time duplicate. The variant, Claire. And we'll kill the, the Claire that's based on my memories of Claire. Because that would just be a weird thing. Yeah, so yeah, that would we'll, be weird. We'll just get rid of that. That's fine. There we go. Nice and easy. Oh, but what if the time code was from the non-Brexit timeline? Ooh. You probably wouldn't marry that one. <laughs> take, take me back with you. Take me back to the happy yeah, place. Yeah, uh, to be fair, if you were going to marry the clone from the non-Brexit timeline, therefore bringing her into this timeline, she'd probably be fucking mad at you. Yeah. It's like, where have you brought me? The thing is, it's going to take me like three dice to get enough scrap. Uh, oh, you're back in the Greenway, aren't you? Yeah, back in the Greenway. Do, do they have the internet in there? Uh, oh, you can check. Unclear. Well, there isn't a little eye now. I'm going to 
Yeah, I'm going to take the plus three going greens. That's halfway. This might get me the mushroom straight away. So, yeah, that's a And a tiny bit of energy, too, which is not bad. Um, yeah, look, there's an eye. Huh? Oh, yeah, the internet. I told you. Which I can plug the Greenway Gate key into. Yeah, there's something going... There's some shit going on down here, isn't there? There's going to be a third, even nastier thing down here. There's going to be something even worse. So no one's accessed this network since the collapse. Hunter killer have never set foot here. Something bad here. Something really bad is here. Yeah, something's happening. River of darkness. Yeah, it's made of darkness. Billion individuals in a flow. No network map. There's also I I kind of I'm getting the hint of claws. Occasionally. Yeah, but is it like a monster or is it like just an orgy? It's the gardener. Nice. Ingrown farm administrator. Hello, do you want to kill me by any chance? The loam of data. Okay. Despite the slow and deliberate speed, they move faster, quickly fade into the storm. They don't seem particularly hostile, to be honest, just doing its own thing. Oh, it's just okay. minding their own garden. And I just picked up a seed. You need to find somewhere safe to plant this gift. And it's a real item. I'm not sure how that came to exist, but okay. Well, I've got farm stacks. There's a farm. What do we like to tell? Well, I can barter for food, work in the stacks for endurance, steal the harvest! <gasps> no! Wow. Rude. Well, if you get caught, yeah. No, nope. uh, that was a bad, an un unlucky reroll there. Uh, but if I get, if I get, uh, yeah, caught stealing, there's no way you'll be able to work in the stacks. It's as simple as that. So, yes, you've got to be very careful to uh, do that. And now I've got a slightly <laughs> awkward two and two. Yes. Uh, shout out to, this is my username who says, I'm just starting this stream. But I'd like to say that if there were 20, if there were 20 Claire's, they would most definitely unionize. That's probably true. Yeah, it is as well. Oh, dear. Yeah, yeah, there's definitely some weird stuff going on here. Yeah, I've got these awkward twos now. You know, I can probably do better with those twos, just going back to the engineering at this point. Uh, but at least we've made it over here, which is uh, which is nice. Clap. Uh, yes, shout out to Chupa Thingy, who gave us $5 and says, Hello, I'm ATN fam. I have to watch the stream later, but I hope everyone's well. Has a lovely day, and John is being nice to Claire. Have fun today. Lol. I mean, super thingy. Eh, eh, eh. Bit of column A. Bit this of This could go B. wrong if this goes wrong. You know what? That's nice. That's a bit of money right there. And I've got, I've got two. I've got two scrap components, but I think that's still not enough. Uh, this is a 25% chance of going dangerously wrong. Nope. It's all worked out. Uh... Just Are you almost done with that, by the yeah, way? Yeah, literally. Yeah. I think anything will do it at this point. Nice. So, yeah. But next turn, revenge. Oh, There's some revenge happening. So... This drunk asshole. Uh-huh. Let's just get myself into a good... like. Let's get my body and my energy into a good position for this. I'm not going to be able to have five dice. But bare minimum, I'm going to be able to have something... And you get to this. Stray has been fed. I'm assuming something good will happen with that eventually. At some point or another. Uh, let's also just grab myself a little bit of lunch. Yeah, make sure we're full up on energy, full up on everything. Make sure we're in good state for tomorrow, because shit's about. Also, now I like how he's now just this asshole who everyone hates, and I'm living in my own apartment. It's like, fuck you! With a cat. Yeah, with living in an apartment cat. with a cat! Yeah, clap. Uh, shout out to Miner Mike. He gave us twenty dollars and says, "Long time donator, first time watcher." <laughs> Lol. Uh, I'm curious on how you met Dan and Co. Love you all, and it's always a wonderful surprise to see what videos and stream you all do. Oh, thank you very, very much indeed. Okay, Ethan's shown up. Well, okay, but how did you meet Dan and Co? Uh, um, uh, it was well. Originally, I. I met uh, Matt. In fact, actually, we've literally got that on tape. If you go back and check, there are edited highlights of a charity live stream. There are the very early days of the channel. This is, we're, we're talking like nine years ago. 
um, you will find these. And it was the first ever time I met Matt. It literally, me and Matt, our first discussion is was recorded and it is available for posterity, which is hilarious. Um, and then Dan DM'd me to be in the heist after he was recommended by his community members that I would be a good fit for them. So yeah, and that was then that. I, I I believe at that point I was so I was def most Fuck definitely most definitely I was most definitely still working at my office job, and you DM'd me on Twitter. Get lost. Yes, I did. And you were like, "Oh my god, you will never guess." All caps. Not cute. Message me. <laughs> to a video. Oh my god, Dan. <laughs> oh, I think. I think that's about how it happened. Mm-hmm. Anyway, sorry. Ethan's just being a bit of a... He, he's being a weird ex at the moment. Uh, I'm guessing you were pretty happy I mean, about that shit. He's been, he's been weird in mm-hmm. like a harassy way the entire time, but sure. Fuck you! What if SNR gave the bounty to someone else, someone who was even more of a shithead than yours, truly? I don't give a shit. They're not here right now. It's fine. You're bluffing. Don't care. You wake up with a bullet in your head one of these cycles... Uh, and if you could think, uh, which you won't be able to do, because the bullet you'd be thinking, wow, I wish I'd listened to Ethan. Never, literally never will think that. I've been speaking to some friends, you see, some colleagues, but I went down, and SNR cancelled all the bounty contracts, the whole lot. They've brought someone in-house. Some guy did so on the last contract they got for the job, but apparently he made a hit on this ship called the Winter Wonderland or something. Oh, that's the... That's the ship I was supp- I could have done the, tra- the forensics on. Uh, but it didn't. That was the ship I think I was on. Um, so I think, yes, that was indeed a hit on me originally, but I survived. So, okay. Killed the crew, blew the ship. Yeah, I was on it. Uh, they called him a Hemwick or Maywick or something. And yes, indeed, the Winter Lights. So that's it. You do know about this. Well, I knew about the ship. I know what ship I was on. That's certainly true. So, okay. So you need protection. Okay, just listen to the pitch. I need assistance in kind. Turns out I upset some people at Compressor. Last time we were there, the owners, they'll space me unless I work off the dad. Seems like a good deal to me. Uh, seems like that kind of business, man. I will pay them, but oh dear. Now he's looking very, very sad indeed. I don't need you. Fuck you. You should be glad that I came here and told you this. You're getting around looking out for you. I'm making friends. Yeah, I've, I've got this. I've got I this. Mean, actually, yeah, I'm, I'm doing, looking I'm doing out for right. me, mate. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, basically, fuck you, but I came here and told you this. Everyone else to go out. Yeah, contract name on the list. Fuck you all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being a shit and trying to kill you and wacky that skull of yours. Dude, Ethan is so into you. So that is yeah, wild. Is, yeah, wild. You think I want to go up against this guy, but ours, and we don't have a choice. What? No. Fuck you. Uh, keep me from getting killed. I'll do the same for you. Straight 50 50 deal. I'll think about it. I'm not yeah, committing. Sure. I'm, I'm not commit. I'm not committing to this. Uh, just think about Maywick. All right, it's fine. Just give you the motivation you need. I'm guessing there's going to be a, a countdown timer for that. So I have any chance they're going to be a little countdown timer? Well, yeah, there it is. But it's it's a long way off. It's a yeah. huge. I might be able to like you might be able to complete the entire game before Maywick rolls, or disable the tracker before Maywick rolls. Either would be fine. Oh dear, oh dear. And shout out to Alex as well, who uh, gave us five Canadian dollars. Excellent dollars. Uh, and sent in a little uh, a little sunglasses lemon, uh, a little sticker Aww. right there. It was very cute. Oh, you can see it on your other screen right Oh, there. yes, I can see it right there. It's very, very cute. You say Curse Bromance Derp, uh, Derpatron. You say Curse Bromance, but I think Ethan just wanted to get in our pants. <laughs> Like, I don't think there's a bro in that manse. I think he's just into us. Okay, so we've got two gardens here. One, the mushroom grove. So that one's pretty simple. We've got forage for fungus. Can get me some mushrooms. But condition goes down. Blimey. Or I can get massive reduction. Oh, actually, condition goes down if it's a negative. You know what? Reroll the dice. There's a nice easy five. And this is this is dangerous, apparently. So, yeah, okay. because it's weird mushrooms. Yeah. Oi, get in there, you. So this is guaranteed mushrooms. Uh, so we get them. There we go. I've got the mushrooms. So that's the job done right there. So, okay. Got mushrooms. How many mushrooms do I need for the um, for the fungus guy? 
because I've got you. Fr I've got you fresh fungus. You're welcome. Because everyone just wants shit for free. <laughs> Huge amounts of shit for free. Uh, but, but where are you? It's yes, emphasis stall. So you want? Oh, you want three of those? Blimey. Okay, so we're gonna need a lot more. We're gonna need a lot more than that. Still, I know what we can do. With this has got to be worth a, a bonus right here. All right, shove the three up to a four. Please don't explode. It would be very embarrassing if you exploded now. Didn't explode! Positive outcome, 15 cryo. The side reel is complete. I've finished the damn ship. And oh, we nice. did the babysitting. So there is a chance that What's-His-Face is going to get on the ship and go. And we might as well. Huh? And we might go as well. Yes. If we are lucky. But alright, let's see if we can at least get an end to maybe Lemon Mina's story. So okay, the ship has been fully done, which is great. He'll go to testing, final checks, uh, sealing and resealing, etc, etc. Here we go, here comes Lem. So, and Mina's nowhere to be seen. She's pretty soon. Yeah, where's, where's Mina? You two are fast friends. Uh, uh, she's been watched at home. I'm on the work team. I can afford a bit more help. I was on the work team, or we're all out of the job now. Not that I'm complaining. She's going to be in the best shape when she carries you, Mina, and me out of here. You seem very confident about this. And why not? I figure I'm uh, due a lucky turn. This is this was a, a terrible plan. You're, you're banking a lot on winning a lottery. No use in wondering. Until the draw anyway. That's a few cycles till then. The odds seem unlikely. How many work in the shipyard? Hundreds, a thousand. You've seen more faces than you can count. And are they even going to keep their promise? No one's going to hold them to it. Whilst will they be building a side run the surrogate system? You think Lem watched you with a worried look? Oh dear. How's Mina? Doing well. Miss is having you over, actually. Need to get you together again soon. Especially now I won't see you here either. She's pretty stuck on you, actually. Told me the other side, because she doesn't want to go unless she can oh. come to. Aw. Have you ever been in a thunderstorm sleeper? A real big one. I may have been. Honestly, I'm afraid I'm not too sure. Sound, smell, rain. Okay, the place I was born. Ah, you actually had seasons, which the girls never experienced, of course. That makes sense. So, yes, indeed. She's just remembering the rain. Lovely. I was thinking Maine has never seen a storm, never even felt rain. And I'm not going to say you will, because it it's a lottery. There's no guarantee. Look, just good luck. Good luck with it. It's all going to be fine. Okay. So, now we've got... Yeah, that's now just running. So, that's just got its own thing. That's going to be like, uh, yeah, six days until that's happening. So, that's just... We're just waiting on that. And Havenage Construction Yards... Oh, no, sorry. The draw is in three days. And then, is it the launch in six days? Yeah. Moving the horizon. Yeah, into the hub in six days. So, okay. The draw is like uh, three days away. Gotcha. So, Class. presumably, yes. uh, after the draw there's a few days where you might be able to i don't know do some drama -y stuff yeah, and try and figure yeah, out yeah. how to yeah figure it all out yeah are you going back to the greenway to spend that one or? well no i've got that i've got a seed that they gave me which i'm assuming oh, yes. might well be in like maybe the other garden there's a garden here clear the overgrowth Sun oh, Refuge, cut away safe. the vines, and this place can be turned... Yeah, it's a, this will be the place to plant the seed. It's safe, and I can make it a two. Bare minimum, it should get me something. So, I got negative, but it was still a plus one. Oh, that's fine. That's yeah, a good fine. place to dump dice, though. Yeah, it's yeah. a good place to dump dice. So, we're yeah. making progress in that direction. The seed can be, uh, can be put there. So, all right. You said you were all caught up, I believe? Yes, I am. So, all right. We have got ourselves... Yeah, we've made some extra approach with a few little bits and pieces. Though a lot of people are still just basically standing here and just sort of waiting for us to fix their lives for them. I, I do wish some of the characters were a tiny bit more proactive. You kind of you, you you kind of very quickly get the view that everybody's just like nothing happens unless you're the you, protagonist. Unless you do it. Like and the best the best video okay, that's always gonna be true in video games to extend, but the best video games do a very good job of failing it, and you don't realise and you don't get the sense that the world is entirely static unless you're the one personally fixing it. Which is I I like this game, it's very compelling, but I don't think it does a good job hiding that. I think you definitely get the strong sense that that is happening. Yeah, and I would say also, like, that 
you know, you, you kind of get in with some characters telling you, oh, I'll help you with your chip or whatever. Yeah. And then they just, like, don't mention it. Exactly. They just keep like, they just keep taking and taking and taking. And they, they give you nothing you, back. They could be telling you a reason why yeah. you can't do it straight away or whatever. I'm just know? dumping everything into the garden. Everything into the garden. It's fine. You should be able to. Oh, wow. That was a positive right there. So the garden nice. is guaranteed Almost tomorrow. Done. Yeah, straight back. Clap. Yeah, and then, um, and then, uh, oh, Lem don't need no luck. He has you. Oh, that's sweet. That's good. Yes. Feed the cat. I forgot to feed the cat. <laughs> the cat, it, I can't spend full credits every day feeding the cat. I'll feed the cat when I wow. feel like feeding the cat, okay? It's fine. Oh, you're starving. I'm starving to death just a little bit. It's, it's a-okay. I can do... I, we, we know what happens when we're starving to death, don't we? Noodles! We go and do the shittiest thing at the noodle stuff. Then again, I can do the reroll later, so I don't need to do that right this second. That just means at the end of this turn, it would be bad for me. So in the first, we're going to go and plant the seed. Because in just a second, over at the Avery, we're just going to put the five in here. That's going to be sorted. And we're going to be able to plant the seed. So just sort that out. Straight back in with the Avery. And now... Turns out that's not where you plant the seed. LOL! I think you need to... You, you can go and get spores somewhere else. You need to get spores at first. Okay, then everything's a little... Like, everything's just slightly more complicated. Well, from the mushroom growth, you can get spores, surely. Surely you can get growth from the mushroom spores. Yes, so that's... Plus two of five there. Okay, this is this is fine. That's going to get me a fair few. But I am also... Yeah, there's two. But I think I need more than that, don't I? Did I need three? I can't remember. Maybe check. Was it, was it two or three? No, it's just... No, it's just one. Okay, that's fine. Oh, but there's... I think it's, it's one three times to fill this up. Oh, yeah. So that's... Uh, yeah, that is a thing. So it, is, it was three. I was right the oh, first time. Oh, fair enough. So take... Very complicated process, this. Very complicated. I'm planting the fucking seed! Okay, I'm just spending all my time in this dumb garden, collecting spores for no well-explained reason. I'm going to be stuck with spores I definitely don't need. I'm starving to death right now. Okay, now pl create the fungal bed. Mushroom groves are here, but I can forage for mushrooms. It is dangerous. It is. Da mean... That's a dangerous, yeah, you're right. That's that's a dangerous task, unfortunately. May as well just kind of go and say hi to the, uh, the local hippies. Can you not hippies. use it to make money and then spend the 60 on, like, medicine? I've already got medicine. I've already got money. No. But, like, you have 60 and it costs 60 pounds to fix yourself up. It costs 80 to fix myself up. Oh, shoot. Okay. Uh, but that's fine because I can buy, I can buy a nice snack. In fact, I may as well just see... If I buy the... Hang on, who was selling? It was you. I mean, this food was expensive over 16. here. But I've got to assume there's... I'm going to see how much of that gets me. So 16 over here gets me. It's got to be at least three. Wow. Okay, well, we're never buying food from you again. Like, that's weird. This is the place where they grow the food, and it's more expensive than the place they don't grow the yeah, food? Yeah, it's organic. That's, that's fucking weird. But okay, that's that's all very peculiar. That's okay, at the bare minimum. I would like to see how the draw goes. I'd just yeah, like to course. see that. I just want to see the draw, which I think might be. I think the draw is next turn. The draw is next turn. So okay. Oh, let's, I definitely want to see the draw. Yeah. The draw's gonna go horribly wrong. I'm sure of it. But we'll see how the draw goes. You got any last minutes, or are you just helping with, with the pet picks right now? I'm uh, just working on the pet pictures. All right, let's come out here, and yeah, the dock, the thing, the here we go, Lemon Mina, the big dramatic moment. Given they've put their entire oh, I accidentally went down to three dice. Okay, I need to pay for. I, I definitely need to pay for repairs. Uh, okay, it's time for the draw. Everyone's excited. There's Lemon. Oh, give her a hug. She likes me. She gratefully accepts the hug. There we go. Quite a turnout. And I think patience is this crowd's strength. Yeah, this is this is a good. This, this this there are too many people here. There are far too many people. This is Ask Enhart of Sealers and Quiet. 
Sorry, I can't be there to meet you all. Thank you on behalf of uh, Cedrasilis for the work you've done. And uh, wanted me to pass on personal thanks for commitment to and belief in the mission. Chosen for this project. We knew you would find like-minded individuals here, especially among the ranks of the Venerable Havenage Association. This is definitely going into a, a, a bullshit uh, rug pool, isn't it? Uh, we know citizen th might be the master of their own destiny. Yeah, That's come on, a rug let's. Pool right you're, there. you're the you're the pioneers. You're the. Blah, 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 blah. Our citizens will be able to create their own innovative bottom-up economic order. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, thank you for your efforts. As a reward for those efforts, you may know we're offering a select group the opportunity to join the caretakers of this vision, the staff who will maintain the vessel during its multi uh, during its multi-decade transit. It's gonna be like two people, isn't it? The draw has been performed at random by the central AIs of the Foundation and is final and bounding. Only licensed contracts of the Foundation are eligible for this draw. I know you've all been eagerly awaiting this day. And now we'll read the sealess identification numbers of those chosen for this great honour. Sealess identification number licensed contracts. As you've never even heard the terms mentioned. <laughs> oh dear. You glance at Lem, his eyes are fixed forward, wide and shimmering. And I'm guessing this was a fix. And only the people who already work for Celis are even allowed to enter. So, okay. There is a shouting. There is pushing. And leader Mina's scared. Now, all right. We've got a riot on our hands. We've got a flipping riot. Someone throw something. They screwed us. It was all a rug pull. Haven and security are now panicking. And they're not really sure what to do. Lamb, it's time to go. You've got a small child. Let's get the cock out of the riot. Uh, they might call out our names. I can't lamb. Um, Come on, it's time to cock and go. Also, who cares if they call out your name? It's binding and final, so yeah. whatever. You lead Lem and Mina out, shoving people aside. You hear scuffles emerging. Right, so shit's gone horribly, horribly wrong. And there are tears running down his cheeks. Mina is sniffling into the jacket. You feel sadness rising too. At the bare minimum, they probably got paid good money for this. Like, you were saying you could afford a babysitter, so at least they're more comfortable than they were. Bare minimum. They've got an apartment in Low End, which seems to be fairly nice. Mm. You know, the gang seems to be taking pretty good care of it. They're a bit more economically stable. Bare minimum, he's in a better place than he was when he started. He did say he was homeless when he started, so... Yeah. Stare ahead of the tunnel. Security sirens are sounding out. Signal for coming violence. Okay, shit went very, very wrong. And the drive just got deleted without giving me a point, sadly. The um, drive? Uh, it means, like, quest. It's, oh, what this game, it's what this game's called, like, uh, missions. So there we go. Unfortunately, that uh, did not end well for anybody in the long run. But you know who we can... Okay, I'm, I'm determined someone's going to get a happy ending. And I, I, and I figured out what can't possibly go wrong. Okay? You know what can't go wrong, Claire? Planting mushrooms? I don't know. Go Picking on. mushrooms for the mushroom man. The mushroom ah, man just wants mushrooms. Okay? And I'm going to pick him some mother-flipping mushrooms... Right, and I can't fail to pick mushrooms. I'm going into the dangerous mushroom forest, and I'm picking three mushrooms, right? I really should be preparing my own body here, but I'm not. Um, there we go. I've got him the three mushrooms. Fine, you've got a six. You can use that to repair your own body. Uh, I can't use that to repair my own body. I can use that to make money I can use to repair my body, but I don't, I don't have a way to earn enough money to do it. So it's fine. Yeah, also, how did you end up spending that extra money? Huh? You don't I have... can't remember. I think I spent some of it on... I can't remember, but it's gone now. Oh, sure. Mushroom man, a mushroom man, a mushroom man. I mean, he might pay you, but he probably won't. Here you go, sir. I have brought you all of the mushrooms. Look, this has to be a happy ending. This has to be a happy ending. Okay, I've given him the ingredients. All right? Yeah. Has to be a happy... It's going to take him three days to make a... Fuck, like this game. Fuck this game! Fuck this game! There are too many timers in this game. I love this game, but there are too many timers. Right, the Mushroom Man will be happy. One day the Mushroom Man will be happy. I'm just going to wish... Look, he's enjoying cooking mushrooms. Okay? That's the important thing. He he enjoys cooking mushrooms. He's having a lovely time. He's he's just there, there right now. Being like, boo, 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 mushroom song. Singing my mushroom song while I cook the mushrooms. It's, it's fine. <laughs> Claire, look, it's 1 a.m. Claire and I are going to go have some dinner. Uh, we are going to call it there. As a lot of people are now waiting for us to, like, do things. 
as it turns out. The mushroom man is going to be make, making mushrooms for a few days. We know that, uh, yes, Lem and Mina have disappeared. They're looking for food. We need to track down people for fangs. So, you know, everyone's a bit of a lull at the time being. And also, I'm out of money. So, I need to, like, you know, earn some money. Aside from the fact I'm being hunted. I'm being slowly hunted by... Maywick. And also, oh, I never even checked what the cock's going on at the compressor club. But this idiot's here, where I can, like, literally go and... Uh, I can literally earn money to help pay Ethan's debt. Which I just feel is just a thing I don't want to do. Like, aggressively. I do not want to do that. I do not want to do work at this bar in order to help Ethan pay his debt. Just, I'm not sure I can bring myself to do it. Absolutely I'm so not I don't not think do I can. So everyone's kind of, you know, chilling out. We're on a few timers. Claire and I are going to wrap things up there. We're going to go and have some lovely dinner, cuddle a dog, etc, etc. Since and Sleeper, it is a, a, it's a very compelling, interesting game. Though I think it could maybe ease down some of the timer, the cooldown timers. We'd be like, yeah, maybe come back in four days. We could do slightly, slightly, slightly less of that. It's going to be so, hey John, do you want to see a picture of ham dog and, and uh, dog meat when they were babies? Oh, and then, uh, baby! Babies, glow up! Oh, they are so cute! They are super cute. I will cute. put them in the chat right now. That must have been quite a surprise when it turned out that the small dog became the big dog. And dog face, yeah. Mm hmm. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, there's a dog that yet walks around uh, where we are that I'm not sure if it's a baby of a large breed or an adult or a, or a baby of like a small... I'm not sure if it's going to stay small, basically. It's yes. very small right now. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm not sure if it's a sausage dog with a funny collar or just a really large dog that's a puppy. Oh. <laughs> anyway, next week we'll probably have, yes, Pokemon Violet. And then we may well have a vote uh, at some point for, yes, whether we get the end of Citizen Sleep. I understand this is not the longest game in the world. So, like, you know, we could have a little, we could have a little conclusion, uh, at some point. And of course, obviously, you know, a game like this where it's all about making difficult choices and, uh, what to do in this, uh, environment, well worth a look, see. Like, it's, it's got, it's, it's, it's got, it's really good bits. It's not a perfect game. I, I find the time is a little bit much. But I think it's well, well worth a look, see. So check it out. You know, it's it's mm. not a, it's not the most expensive game in the world by a long shot. And worth it's a look, see. Uh, yeah, Xbox, and if you've got uh, if you've got Game Pass, it's free, Game Pass, no. which is yeah. great. Uh, and Darian says that the timers are meant to encourage you to do other storylines, but uh, yes, they are just a tiny bit too long. I think, yeah, some of them, it's, especially like little tiny ones, like, okay, I've delivered this guy three mushrooms, yeah, come back in four days and I might have cooked them. I don't know, that feels just like he's ungrateful. It feels like, I, I didn't really want the mushrooms, but I'm too embarrassed to say. <laughs> they brought me the wrong mushrooms. <laughs> what an idiot. But I'm too, I'm too embarrassed to say it. So, all right. We're going to wrap things up there. Thank you very, very much for joining this evening. Thank you very, very much to the very generous Super Chat donators. And thank you very much to Ted, who would not stop farting. So uh, and shout out to James, who uh, gave us $5 and says, Trans rights! Trans rights! And yes, as I said at the start, um, I don't know what the video on Saturday is going to be. It's going to be some combination of Dead Space, Hitman Freelancer, or Goldeneye, depending on what I get my hands on and decide I feel like playing tomorrow. So, you know. Or all three. Watch this space. I've no cocky clue. So, surprise coming on Saturday. Obviously, Fallout 3, Tale of Two Wastelands, uh, coming on Sunday. And all your usual oblivions and whatnot coming next week as well. Hopefully, we will see you for, uh, next week for Pokemon Violet and John are taking on... Why am I to be myself in the third person? And me <laughs> taking on the Elite Four will be the plan. We'll be going up against the Elite Four after we wrap up Operation Starfall. So, uh, yes, taking on some big, scary teams there. The Champion, whatever's going on there. All sorts of exciting stuff to come. So, hopefully, you're looking for... Ah, ah, hopefully, you're looking forward to that. But in the meantime, I've been John. I've been Claire. It's been many a true nerd. He's that's, been Ted that, over there. That's been Ted farting over there. It's been many a true nerd. <laughs> it's been Sins and Sleeper. Thank you very much. And have fun. Have auto turn on oh, again. What was... What? That was a joke, because... You know. Well, I didn't even hear what you were saying. I was saying, oh no, Ted, not again. Oh, I see. Have, have, have double sixes. 